You're jamming with the hottest disc jockey. Disc jockey. DJ Dork Genius. Please send your records to that dorky review show at gmail.com or get ready to die. Ha 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 ha. You want more? Bet you want more? As soon as I kick in the door, put your head down on the floor. Bet you want more? I do this shit cause I'm raw. That's why they ask for more. Bet you want more? Look how I'm killing the game. So lay with me as a go. Bet you want more? My little shooter got aim. Here she's right in your throat. Bet you want more? As soon as I kick in the door, put your head down on the floor. Bet you want more? I do this shit cause I'm raw. That's why they ask for more. Bet you want more? Look how I'm killing the game. So lay with me as a go. Let's try one more. My little shooter got aim. Here she's right in your throat. They were sleeping on me, now I'm creeping on them. I can't walk myself, keep the heat on me. Had to run through the mud with the Jesus on me. In the summer, I fuck with the beaters on me. Heard you talking that shit when you see me, show me I ain't with the Sinai shit. My killers don't talk on the phone, cause my hitters is near me. I hope that you hear me, can't make it no clearer. So she getting very, so he getting very, the devil he fair me. Mm, light up a flame when I go in the booth. Spitting that shit like I'm missing a tooth. Working so hard like a slave, I'm in roots. Drake up so real to tear off your roof. Tell you 100, will show me the proof. Bitch, you a 99 cent short. Now you wanna talk, I don't wanna talk. Suck a nigga all, break a nigga jaw, fuck it, kill him all. Better call the law, nigga, we the mob. Fuck a nigga talk, move like a boss, never take a law. Cause I get the feeling ahead of time. I don't go to my track, when you take a mind. Don't let me order the hit that I clear your mind. One more, soon as I kick in the door, put your head down on the floor. One more, I do this shit cause I'm raw. That's why they ask for more, bitch. One more, look how I'm killing the game. So let me as a go, let's show one more. My little shooter got aim, hit you right in your throat. One more, soon as I kick in the door, put your head down on the floor. One more, I do this shit cause I'm raw. That's why they ask for more, 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 more. Right to it, never had a lot of options Trying to deal with all the bullshit that be weighing on my conscience I can keep it no less than a hundred How I'm rocking If I'm with you, then I'm with you This the funny thing about it They gon' say they all into nothing when you deposit Just consider paying attention who around you when you ain't got it Grinding all my life and it brought me here to this moment Every soul I keep around me, the rich just can't do the phony, nah Fuck a bitch, I want the money, I don't talk back Love is overrated, my relationships about that Thumbing through the hundreds, get me horny when I count that Down for a minute, but you know I'ma bounce back I never needed your love, never needed your love. let alone someone to hold. I'm just trying to make me a profit. They want to play with my soul. I keep applying the pressure, waiting on niggas to fold. If you stay down, that's a blessing. Let me know just what you want. Headed to the moon, it ain't no stopping it. Take my bitch out of town and be on some shopping shit. I got it, I got it, don't trip, I got it, yeah. I got it, I got it, don't trip, I got it, yeah. I never needed your love, yeah. let alone someone to hold. I'm just trying to make me a profit. They want to play with my soul. I keep applying the pressure, waiting on niggas to fall. If you stay down, it's a blessing. Let me know just what you want. Yeah. Running through the red lights, red lights, red lights I'm out of here, yeah And I ain't looking back no more, more. And I ain't looking back no more, more Running through the red lights, red lights, red lights I'm out of here, yeah And I ain't looking back no more, more. And I ain't looking back no more, more. Uh, I need my pie, and the bitch look like Peach Cobbler. Georgia on my mind, can't see problems. I'm finna take a bitch like Ray Charles. Even if I'm far like Twin Towers, at least I land in Bush back straight for hours. With a hot meal from a nigga body. Putting all my dreams in a bitch body. Hoping that my offsprings make it out of all of that bullshit. Who gon' be as true as this? Exclusive maneuvering a light beam. Philosophy, catastrophe, a prophecy. No mockery, monogamy. I need at least two bitches. Preferably, I need a business on the loot. And it running, moving it, make a move. And it college ruling it, killing on my own shit. For the Google shit. I'm not new to this. Can't hold me back. I'ma brew some shit. Keep it ludicrous. I done looted it. Got a rule again. That's my mood again. My shit too legit. Huh. Can't see myself going back. Running through the red lights, red lights, red lights. I'm out of here, yeah. And I ain't looking back no more, more. And I ain't looking back no more, more. I need 
this on my mind Twisted up a blunt and put my seat up on recline Said I'm giving up and I relax and I rewind Twisted up another blunt, relax it, then it climb Call me, you might sell a bit, smoking for the hell of it Have a shit, smoking, maybe spunkies on the element She can make you hella rich, dream she be selling it She can turn your problems into nothing, that's irrelevant Time to go slow, got me headed for the dope Slept on the low, straight to the liquor store Can I get a blueberry blood and box of 24? Then pull up to the trash house and get another blow You know Merry Mrs. Motherfucking J Explain to the morning why my vision in the day What's an AK-47? I was rocky purple haze Damn, I swear to God this motherfucking shit was laced Just know I'ma pray for you niggas I'm a man down on you niggas Got skip town on you niggas Just know if you get in my way You can't drown in my way by down for a stick I came from the struggle I ain't no mother I ain't finna wait on you niggas I stepped out the gutter Yo bitch she a sucker Just know I'ma pray for you niggas I'm a man down on you niggas Got skip town on you niggas Just know if you get in my way You can't drown in my way by down for a stick They didn't wanna see me They didn't wanna see me get money And bend all the rules these hoes wanna beat me, these hoes wanna cheat me, confronted and now they confused. What? My, my, my feelings been feeling me shoes, my, my, my temper been feeling abused. You might know my size, you might hear my cries, but never get tired of my shoes. I've been on the streets, I've been on my feet, but none of you hoes would feed me. I've been hurt the teeth, I've been left the team, don't call me until y'all would need me. I cried, I just made it look easy, my family would never believe me. But when it could change, I'm still in my lane, you bitches just really that cheesy. I told y'all just follow my lead. I, I, I I told y'all just follow my dream. I told y'all if something was ever to get in the way, I was popping the beam. But y'all never listened to me. Y'all treated me like I was fiend. So now when I ride, I dive on my own. I promise I'm reaching the feet. I came from the struggle. I ain't no mother. I ain't finna wait on you niggas. I stepped out the gutter. Yo, bitch, she a sucker. Just know I'ma pray for you niggas. I'm a man down on you niggas. Got skip town on you niggas. Just know if you get in my way, you can't drown in my way by down for a Arsenal Beat Chef there up there in Canada. When I'm riding on Mooseback, I like to listen to that dorky review show. Dork Squad, eh? Please send your records to that dorky review show at gmail.com or get ready to die. Ha 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 ha. Autobots, share the stream. <laughs> Yeah, I already know what it is. We are freaking back with another episode of That Dorky Review Show, man. I'm your host, Nonsense, a.k.a. Dork Genius, a.k.a. Chris Nonsense, a.k.a. Your Mama's Favorite Dork, a.k.a. Your Dork for Hire, a.k.a. El Dorky Corbon, a.k.a. Your Mama's Favorite Dork, a.k.a. Your Dork... Ah! Whatever, man. Uh, pretty much, we are a live music reaction and review show for indie artists and producers all around the freaking globe. So if you got music, if you make music, if you make beats, if you are in a band, whatever you freaking got, you can send it into our email. That's that dorky review show at gmail.com. Hold on, let me get the other thing on. Where did it go? Seriously? Uh, did you disappear? Let me see what happens. What the freak, man? It wants to act like it just disappeared from existence and so like that. Hold on. Yeah, what the? <laughs> what the freak, man? My my precious boy thing. Now let me see if I got. It. Anyways, send it to that dorky review show at gmail.com until I figure out where the hell this freaking button went. It like, I feel like I might have accidentally. Let me see that dorky stream deck. No, I should be. Yep, that didn't do it. I have to see what this is. 
and see what it does. Everything's kind of like working on a little bit freaking wonky today. But anyways, uh, you'll see everything that you need to see as, you know, things freaking come. You know what I'm saying? Again, send to that dorky review show at gmail.com. I'll just freaking have to freaking tell you throughout. And it is free to submit. You can also skip that line if you want to get played quicker or get more than one of your records played in a back-to-back -back fashion. Nice, nice, sir, Mike, this song's going to burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes. Birdman will talk to an actual bird like I'm going to chew through this beat like a termite. Don't make me put you where actual worms lie. Don't like my old shit. I'm thinking. Thinking you were high like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool better act like you surprised head to McDonald's I'm about to steal your fries standing out and when I get my thing back figuring on and stuff like that we usually have a giveaway that we'll do on uh, each freaking episode hold on I think I got it right freaking here okay yeah so if we happen to reach a uh, hundred by the end of any <laughs> Bro, you are freaking a piece of shit right freaking now, man. So like that. Hold on. Oh, that's because it didn't freaking load back up. Man. Well, yeah, we do giveaways by the end of... I'm just not even going to freaking rely on, you know what I'm saying, half of these other things. Uh, we do a giveaway by the end of, you know what I'm saying, each episode. If we happen to reach at least freaking 100 in terms of, you know, artists freaking coming through, skipping that freaking line, all that freaking good stuff. It is free to submit. We are streaming live on all platforms at the same time from Twitch to YouTube to Facebook to BandLab. Uh, TikTok will be with us uh, live tomorrow and stuff like that. Don't call right now. Not, I didn't say we were going to do it now. Now I have to make sure that we are, uh, hold on, you're gonna make me, I can't, I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing it now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it will be, uh, you know what I'm saying, a little later. I gotta make sure that, the, again, stream will be running smoothly throughout and uh, all that good stuff. Let me see, SSJ, uh, Stunt, what's freaking good? You know what I'm saying? Dirty B, a freaking chorus, bars lightlier. You already know what it is, man. Yeah, W, man, what freaking good, man? Hold on, hold on. Band Lab, what's good? Lofty was freaking popping. He said, never mind, it's not. Uh, what were you asking? Let me see. Wait, hold on. You said, I just submitted. That's what's up. Bro, it's free. Yeah, it's free to submit, but you can skip the line if you do not want to wait in that line, pretty much. That's it. Um, and let me see. Happy Friday, of course, man. Epic AI voice and shit like that. Of course, of course, you know what I'm saying, man? Listen, listen. Shout out to freaking Gladys once again. Please send your records to that dorky review show at gmail.com or get ready to die. Ha, 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 ha. Get your freaking shit in. We're going to go ahead and get started, of course. Right. Oh, wait. You know what? I can hit the buttons now. I was looking for the... Never mind. Every time I freaking say that. It decides to not freaking work. How about we just go back to the intro and then start off right, with it, right in the free line? Bro, it's two in the morning, fell asleep and I'm yawning, waking up on the lawn, I'm seeing blue and orange. People follow me to school and copy me until I stopped and put my music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, gnawing on a Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been warned. My brain is so like a used All right, let's see what we got. We're going to start right in the uh, free line and move up. As we proceed, as always, man, let me see, Tr Tyler Triss, we got you freaking up. Let's go ahead and load you in the thing, dear. And we read everything on a 1 to 10 scale. All feedback is welcome. You say you send a skip and stuff like that. I'll see what's up. I'm going to get started in the, uh, the free line. <laughs> And yo, and yo, uh, uh, diamond and rough while I'm in the cuffs in the cup, possession of what punch between sections of sidewalk. We talking our mothers with short attention span, so now we talking about breaking stamps. That means rolling the trees and light to a certain degree. Heavy hemp that's heaven sent into a budget that puts a pretty dent. Half of what we say, evil, we Harvey Dent. Live long enough, a die a hero among chickens and hens. Armando's polish, our lowest rank is a kingpin. Treat the block like it's a regular, let's get this thing spin. Like Dax before he rapped, we got the mob, J. Cole before. No role models collecting bills, signatures to cop. Bout to reach eight figures, the IRS might turn red, tell us to stop. Rx Wallace addicted to dumb money, like teens addicted to dumb pills. In other words, we cook the dough, wearing aprons in a deli shop. Vigilantes, how we solve crimes without any cop. Shot on Robert, there's that white chalk in the shape of a body, about as tall as a young corn stalk. Talk without proceeding to walk and snipe the chop and slice with a sharp knife, but you're bought. Using abuse of black and blue in an alley like the mob. You try to run like it's a drag race, we count down for three before we cut you off till you're taking up empty space. Money in the briefcase via key. And whatnot, voila. Swear the cop was a bot, like each one picked from the bot. 
thought And he, she be built like them actors and rob cars Romance the size of the commas to fit the green outside the crib and eat a long lawn Think just we but people like you, we eat your long john Take a bite, then you're long gone Take a flight to the Bahamas, we still be making real songs So we annotate a life back home Where we make movies and might use you as a pawn All we do is collect best bonds, we'll still be collecting seeing us well in the pen And if I might be making it even then Inherit it to our kids and then so they can play like we don't And have them carry the lineage Cause there's always another hit to invest If they can't find them, tell them here's a hand, they're in the trench Big freaking salute. What'd you guys think about that right there? One to ten. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so in terms of, you know what I'm saying, the overall aesthetic, the sound and everything, like straight freaking hip hop, I love the production. That's the thing that had me, you know, immediately, as I usually freaking tell you guys, man, I love a good, you know, almost Griselda, you know what I'm saying, type beat, anything that sounds you know, like some alchemist freaking shit. That'll always, uh, you know what I'm saying, sort of like reel, reel, reel me in almost, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, immediately. Uh, mix is fairly freaking decent, you know what I'm saying? You can hear some of the freaking clarity, but there's still work that needs to be done. Uh, and in terms of your, you know, like your style, your energy, what I always end up saying is there are a few artists that, you know, have slight similar freaking styles or, you know, things that you might can hear them taking that inspiration from. I think somebody said Immortal Technique, right? SSJ, you know what I'm saying? Right on freaking point. Uh, I'd say a little bit of RZA, a little bit of, um... Uh, you know certain artists where again it 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 almost will seem like you know they're not necessarily writing the beat they're not worried about that but they are you know to a certain extent rushing themselves it's, it's less about writing the beat and more about the sort of like lyricism and shit and when you get into that when you sort of you know listen to that kind of freaking technique there will be um you know i think a certain amount of uh you know what i'm saying skill within that uh, but I also see it as something that not everyone will rock with. You know what I'm saying? Those within the uh, the freaking culture will find way more, you know, appreciation. Outside of that, though, again, you always have to think about how those that, uh, you know, th those that don't necessarily take the full time to learn, you know, the, the full songs and stuff like that. Um, they mainly will gravitate towards the choruses of your records. Um, and you know, there is that sort of push and pull with like whether or not you should be more complicated and complex or, you know, more ABC and standard so that, you know, more people will be able to gravitate and, you know, actually mouth the words that you're saying, you know, while you're rapping them and all that freaking good stuff. We did have a 10 out of freaking 10 though, you know what I'm saying? Test 65 over there, you know what I'm saying? Lofty also with a 10 out of 10. And DJ Big Smoke with a freaking 10 out of 10. All on the uh, Ben Lab side rocking in. Uh, love that. Test 50, 65 also said that was freaking epic. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And Test 65, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Uh, let me see. And then what were you saying? I said freaking J. was like, oof, you know what I'm saying? Six point freaking three from uh, Dirty uh, B. He said, that's my serious assessment. He said, it reminds me of Asher Roth and Chino XL. That's a good, uh, you know what I'm saying, sort of like crossover right there. Uh, let me see. He said, I don't know about the sim the, the simple, you know, piano, uh, but for show, uh, could have been in the vault. Um, oh, because I was I was telling him it sounded like a beat that he also, you know, would have made him and, and maybe like be ill, you know, um, can tend to get on and either rap to or make some of those kind of freaking beats and stuff like that. So I would appreciate. Let me see. Seven uh, from SSJ. So I could have. Um, also seems like you're trying uh, to stuff too much in uh, one bar. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Again, that's one of those freaking things, man. It's always a balance to see where we are going to freaking go. Let's go ahead and run back in. Real quick, I'm gonna hook y'all up with one more before we jump back into the into the free. I got freaking Lalo up, and then I got the skip uh, coming up from Dirty B. He has a two song back to back. He might be joining us, of course, uh, later on in the stream to you know what I'm saying be be a little bit of a guest reviewer and get some freaking stuff. So if y'all rock with, with with his stuff, you will value his opinion. All right, hold on, let's get. <laughs> Get your ass. Two piano Mama joints. giving me the sweetest hangover. Every time you come over. Yeah. Lay low with. All over your body. Sweetie.
sweetest sweet thing over. Because your love's intoxicating. The sweetest hangover. Hangover. Every time you come over, yeah. Baby, don't keep me. Happy waiting. Friday, y'all. Because your love's intoxicating. Oh, shit. I'm hungover like a motherfucker. Okay. Maybe it's because of what I was drinking when I'm undercover. Undercovers. But I'm good, so you can bring another and another. But can you make sure it's a double, huh? All night flight, so I'm right there and I'm needing me some pie and I'm feening for a slice, yeah. For her plumbing, I'm that pipe, yeah. Pussy is my dish and I'm hungry, can I get a bite, yeah. Ooh, I mean a soft nibble, baby bad. Thought I had to trick a little, but it didn't cost a nickel. Sweat trickle on her neck is my initials, cause the nigga is a fistle like a G with a pistol, yeah. The stick is magic, pussy out of here. Okay. Let me stop and stare, neighbors hear it loud and clear. Loud and Swirl clear. my tongue in her mouth while I'm down there. Don't you run, I'm loving all them sounds. Mama yeah. giving me the sweetest hangover. Every time you come over, yeah. All the way your body, I'm tasting sweet. Because your love's in Hit that like button, y'all. Appreciate y'all for being here. Mm-hmm. I wasn't certain, think about but this song. what I found. I flipped that buddy like that, then I dismount. I lost count on how many times I let go. Yummy petrol, extra special. Yeah, it's fire. It had me stop dropping, now I'm tumbling. Feeling clumsy from all this five muff consumption. The mama calling me, so I'm coming. I know it's all me, so it ain't no need to run it. You ain't gotta take your panties off. Just pull them to the side. Tank full. Let the low ride. Okay. Derry on jeans down, they slide. I ain't sipping lean, cause this stream tasting like crown and spry. Ain't no need to sneak the link for me to pound them thighs. It's going down tonight, and I'll be there by nine, huh? And she gave me the go ahead, but I know she's scared. I know she's scared. Yeah. Sweet, sweetest hangover. Over and over and over. Over and over. Over and over. It feels so good. So this was freaking proper, man. I love the overall, you know what I'm saying, performance and, you know, the the, the track, the beat, man. Again, when y'all have a good, uh, you know what I'm saying, sort of instrumental behind you, um, you know, it, it can take, you know, the, the record to, you know, so many different freaking levels. I always think about the piano samples as something that you can take and also do the, those extra other kind of records, right? Like you can literally just have just the piano and him rapping uh, essentially over over that all in its own and it will be a dope ass you know performance and shit like that like you know especially if it's a live you know sort of you know tiny desk kind of freaking situation uh yes it does need a mix so we're still in that you know what i'm saying territory and you know wanting it to be more you know prominent i want your vocals to be you know what i'm saying up front and really honestly i'm just waiting to hear that that sort of like boosting clarity, which I have heard on certain songs of yours, so I know that um, you know, it can freaking get there. But this is definitely one that I want you to, you know, continue to work on and get to that professional uh freaking state. It's just about two minutes and fifty seven seconds. Uh, you know what I'm saying, time wise, nothing freaking too crazy, uh freaking there, and you know, like three seconds, um short of that freaking three minutes. So I appreciate that. Uh, I think a female artist um, or something like like some kind of backing vocals uh, on top of you like that's that's something I tend to recommend for some of your records a lot because you do tend to get on the the choruses and do little singing things but then sometimes your energy is very low you need something to sort of you know add a an extra layer of atmosphere and you know either you be the background vocals and then the, somebody else be like the main artist and or you know vice versa just see like what works 
Appreciate you for that. The sub, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Dog Squad. Dog Squad. Yeah, smoke. What up, dog? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Uh, what did Mug say? He said I have to sit and you know what I'm saying, wait in the free line and stuff like that. He sits, sits and waits in the free line. Uh, let me see. SSJ said, uh, we all gotta uh, take into uh, recognition that most of the people dropping uh, these songs, you know what I'm saying, mix themselves and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Agreed, agreed. You know what I mean? But we always, the reason why we always want to talk about it when we, when we're hearing it, because sometimes they get a decent mix going on. Thank you for the sub as well. Um, sometimes you guys do get a decent mix, something that sounds and feels professional. Other times, like you may think you have gotten there, but it'll still feel like, you know, it's at a mixtape level or we can tell you, you might've recorded with your phone or something like that. So you wanna know when whatever combination that you guys have used on any record, right? You may go to a new studio, you may get a new mic and you wanna know when those elements are either better or worse for your overall, you know, projects and songs that you are, are releasing or whatnot. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, if, if uh, what I usually tell you guys is if we can listen to an artist song and almost forget we are in a review show that we're looking for the flaws and things that we want to make better. Basically, we're just enjoying the, the record and we, you know, go through the, the full freaking thing just like with no nothing that we change because everything is, just, is sort of like perfect like you know that you have something that you can now put some time put some money into do a music video get everything ready to uh sort of like market in that way uh and all that freaking good stuff let me see uh what do you think of the subs uh is that freaking too what were you asking is that on youtube yeah, what were you asking and stuff like that? You said when you get uh, the subs, where is that to and shit like that? I need to be, you need to be more specific or whatnot. Um, if you're asking the submissions and stuff like that, everything comes to my email. Like when you guys sent in, when you guys send in, even if you send through, through the website, that link or whatever will also come through uh, to my email. Uh, it's that dorky review show at gmail.com. That is the only way to really get yourselves in line. On the band lab side, I know some of you guys will like to post your links in the chat and stuff like that. I'll, I will ask you guys to refrain from doing that unless your song is currently playing and or you're sending a skip and you're trying to get me to take your link from the uh, the chat, you know, and that way. Uh, I know that some of you guys may send via like school emails and they'll, they'll disable you from, you know, doing such a freaking thing. Uh, but, you know, no links in the chat unless it is your song playing and, and all that good stuff. Uh, outside of that, everybody must send through my email and or the website, which comes to the same place. Let me go ahead and hit up Dirty B real quick. What did, uh, wait, real quick. What did Dirty B say? He said, take your music serious and it will return uh, the favor. There are people that uh, will work with you, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have the means and stuff like that, exactly. Let me see, Test 65, by the way, you know what I'm saying? Clap, 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 hold up. Tell at the ads solo. Like you said, um, I record on my Apple earbuds and stuff like that. Look, if again, if you do a decent job and we can't freaking tell, then you know, by by all freaking means, you know what I'm saying? But if there's something that just, you know, feels like, you know, there's there's still a level of quality that can, you know, be better, we'll we'll let you know pretty much. Do know that you can get, you know, a decent mic. I I just, you know, uh was talking about the Samsung uh, the Samsung G-Track, this was the first sort of like, uh, uh, well, this was one of my, the second mics that I actually freaking had that I love to freaking death. I can still freaking use this today, uh, both to record or to like do podcasts and stuff like that. Uh, it's USB mic. The, this one that I'm using right now on the stream is the pro version of that. Um, I think they have a few more newer versions, maybe like a mini kind of version of, of, of these, but these by far, for me at least, have been the uh, a godsend you know especially from the previous mic that i had i had like you know almost a three three hundred five hundred dollar freaking mic in a like a sure xlr you know what i'm saying kind of mic that i had to plug into an interface at first did not like it a i couldn't monitor things properly uh and it would just introduce like static into like the recording for some reason so eventually i was like let me find a new freaking mic 
Uh, these ones were about, you know, 250 to, you know, 100 something, you know what I'm saying, give or take. Today, you can find it for a little bit freaking cheaper as well. So just look those up. Samsung G Track. If you're looking for that. And then on top of that, because I'm specifically talking about someone who might want to record from their phone, you can literally plug that into a different interface that is used to like plug into your iPhone or Android and connect that USB mic to that. You'll get all the, you know, monitoring directly from the freaking mic. Uh, and you'll be able to hear the quality almost like right away and that's just with simply recording it like I, don't, I haven't added any kind of like effects to what I'm doing right now as I'm talking to you guys no kind of like you know filters or nothing it just is just how you know it sounds you know outright then when you get into recording adding the right amount of compression reverb you know and stuff like that it's just gonna be that much freaking better depending on what you freaking do um so there, there's there's ways, but you always want to make sure you're doing the best possible, you know, thing to get your stuff in there. I just need you to Can you please just go? We all eat pizza, so I make weird music. I got pizza if you need them, PayPal me. You see me on the playground, just Yeah, I'm a dog, but I stay grounded. All right, so we got a two song back to back coming in right now from Dirty Money. No, not Dirty Money. Dirty B. <laughs> Why do I almost do that from time to time? Almost every time and shit like that. You guys need to hurry up and make a record together somehow so I can already... Separate the two. Dirty B and Dirty Money. Two separate freaking people. One's a rapper producer. The other one's a rapper producer. So that should tell you guys the immediate difference. <laughs> that you guys are the same. Then I see that instant skip. I'll put that in Rodney, right after this two song. Because we did activate such a freaking thing real quick. Hold on. Let me see. Dirty Money, Dirty Money. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Dirty B from scratch is the first one. It said Dirty B sent you some dirty money, man. Yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got y'all. I don't know how long it's been, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm cooking up, you know what I'm saying, with Dirky. Uh, since he was making, you know what I'm saying? Uh, was just making beats. So, um, I've been pretty much doing the show for about like five years and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's literally been, been five years. Um, you know, and like, yeah, he, he literally was, as I was just like making beats on the, on the live, uh, playing Fortnite or, you know, different games and shit like that. Every time I die, I would, you know, make a beat theme to how I died and all this kind of shit. I would let people in the chat name the beats and, you know what I mean? It, it, it was fun, you know what I'm saying? But I think everything, you know, came together once I, you know, made this an actual review show and shit like that. Like, I love that you guys are fully a part of it. It's not like a, you know, like the difference between us as review shows and I'll say like this, the straight up like gamer community, right? When it, when there's a game, a gamer or a streamer in that way, you're there specifically for the gamer, you know what I'm saying? Or the game they're playing and, and shit like that. Outside of that, you yourself aren't inputting much into the show as, you know, just the person watching and shit like that. Maybe you'll come in and, you know, uh, add something that they may freaking talk about. But, like, in terms of, you know, people outside remembering you guys and then, you know, like, what I love about what we do is you are a part of the show. There is no show without you guys coming to and uh, sending the songs that you guys have. So, Dirty B, no, yeah, Dirty B <laughs> went from scratch. Here's the first song of freaking two. Let's go ahead and get you in. See what we got. Keto back in the cuss. Ronnie in the freaking cuss. You already know what it is. Chat activities was freaking good. Mugs money. You already freaking know what it is, man. Hold up. Let me call over freaking here. You already know. Tess, you already know what it is. AZ was freaking popular. Music is my life. I used to listen with my mom. When I was 11, I had a friend named Devon. Uh -huh. Every day, he would play the keyboard and drums. And I would just listen to try to see how it was done. Nice. Back then, I used to think I was a poet. Music was my calling. At the time, I didn't know it. One day, I was just reciting some poems. Devon said, hey, you ever thought of writing? 
writing a song, uh -huh. Joe Blow, he was my boy, he knew the ropes and he taught me how to translate music out of poetry, fast forward, we had the dopest of schemes, a piano, two mics and karaoke machines, uh -huh. as a young artist I was eager to grow into the battle scene, became an eater of souls, the money came and I was eager to see where it goes, my connections were deeper and you can see in my soul, That's right. in those times I was addicted to rap, I spent hours in the room just to listen to tracks, an unhealthy addiction to the techniques and mechanisms, studying the greats adapting to how the legends did it every blank page is just another canvas for me every single word i wrote added to brandon's story truthfully being the best is only mandatory i won't stop until the whole world is asking for me i blast the bust of rhymes until my speakers smoke and bump that g unit record until the cd broke Come i love eminem's precision and luda's cadences i was spent i was trying to discern how they made this shit yeah. it all clicked when i finally heard the rhyme patterns still to this day i listen to music and time travel later on i formed a group with a couple of the friends that it up as mortal enemies and not brothers instead wow. too many egos in the mix causing turmoil they took our dreams and buried it in the firm soil me and bars burgundy we kept in touch though too much history between us to let the stuff grow some years later with my music in sight i bought equipment i was living a studio life a sterling audio mic outdated interface been awake several days leveling up all the instrumental plays Hello. i spent hours crafting schemes in the dead of night multiple megabytes of music you could never write i've been in fights over who was the best rapper breathing like a religion that everyone to rap believe in I can't describe that feeling when I hear a verse Beats come secondary, I value the lyrics first A well-crafted simile or a double entendre Let the music wash over me, puffing the ganja It's the first of the month that was the song playing All day in the studio till the dawn breaking Biggie taught me how to keep him hypnotized Pac taught me how to live a thug life and make it to the finish line My first tech show was doper than telekinesis It felt religious like I was in the presence of Jesus In 99, Big L met his death day as soon as I bought the Slim Shady LP cassette tape ah, I still remember that shit like it was sorry. yesterday So I copped that big pun shit and I was pressing play Fast forward to the present day, never changed Instead I'm just reflecting on every lesson gained Nelly knew it was too hot in here Had to get rich or die trying That's how I was climbing to my career Popping like it's hot, lean back, watch a boss do it Oz told me one mic is all we need for raw music Sticky fingers taught me when girls are cheating on you Snoop said fuck the police, keep the reefer on you I took these lessons to heart, they helped guide me through now I'm with the tribe out doing whatever rivals do We improving the art, staying immaculate I really miss the hip-hop era, I'm going back to it Like fuck the politics, just get on the track and spit If you got the ball, step up, we go to bat for this ah, Bro, you are jamming with the hottest disc jockey Disc jockey, Fork G To a corner, my back was against the mortar. Fought my way out, I was left for dead and shorter. Breath with nothing left, not even a fucking quarter. Now I'm booking flights overseas and crossing borders. Making shit in a trap, wearing a surgical mask. A surgical on the face, bagging up paint, avoiding the task. Working the nine to five, I'm pushing the two to ten. I'm certain these verses could serve as motivation to win. One of the realest, realistically, you should feel it. But everybody won't, I accept it, cause I'm a realist. Based my moves off of logic, irrational's not an option. Level headed and humble. First of all, man, 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 man. Such a freaking storyteller within there. You know what I'm saying? All the way freaking through, uh, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much just told the story of how he, you know what I'm saying, first got into it and 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 his love for, you know what I'm saying, hip hop and the freaking culture, you know what I'm saying, as everything, you know, got freaking started or whatnot. Like I I always appreciate these kind of freaking records or whatnot because we were often taught to continue to you know uplift and bring up you know that 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 or or you know to just always have appreciation for like the past and everybody who came before and and to remember that freaking time you know what i'm saying like it, it does mean a lot a lot of you guys might have not you know what i'm saying been around at the the you know the golden era of you know rap and and everything that was really able to come out of that there's 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 just so much right you have to be original completely there could be no two artists who sounded a freaking like otherwise you know one of them will get blackballed um and this was across camps too literally you'd have a whole label of completely different artists all in the same you know what i'm saying roster uh, uh even if they had a lot like when we think about you know wu-tang and people they sign when we think about no limit you know cash money 
uh, you know, so so Def Rockefeller, uh, uh, you know, it was uh, R- Rough Riders, um, you know, it was just always, you know, something dope. And, uh, you know, I, I'm always loving to be reminded about that. I appreciate you uh, within there. I was trying to re- think about something specific that you had uh, said within there, man. And I forgot, but, you know, it reminded me of, of you know, uh, myself freaking too. I remember the whole, you know, karaoke machine phase and just trying to get your voice on, you know, tape or anything to see what you sounded like, making demos, rapping on instrumentals um you know and and you know hope hoping to get a record deal from you know all the different you know labels and stuff like that that were out there right um but honestly i wasn't ready i was definitely not ready and i'm glad i didn't get signed at an early age um you know and and have such an appreciation for it freaking now where i still don't necessarily care too much if we can get get signed and until you know, sort of like whatever kind of thing seems, you know what I'm saying, real ready, but anyways, big freaking salute, hold on, let me see, that was broke as fuck, you know what I'm saying, I used to buy instrumental mixtapes, you know, some people who had computers, yes sir, facts, uh, let me see, Ronnie, you know what I'm saying, with WWE and that, uh, digital underground type freaking shit, oh, the other thing that I wanted to say was, big salute, cause it's rare, and you know this, man. I'll talk about the records like without choruses almost all the time. It's rare when you can make one that feels, you know, hey, Brazy Luca, what's good? Oh, you were already sub though, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's rare when you can make a song without a chorus that's still like dope as hell. Like, don't get me wrong, we'll always hear the artists like really rapping, going in, spin bars, having a great energy and all that good stuff. But there will be times when like, nah, you need a freaking chorus, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? This somehow fits it, just because like you were you were you know what I'm saying on point. You kept the actual story going. Didn't feel like you were just saying random you know lines and and freaking shit like that. Uh, so I did not mind there not being a chorus on there, and you still gave us the full song structure and like giving us like three minutes and forty seconds. So. Uh, not bad. Beat is also freaking dope too. If you produced it, let the people know so they know what kind of beats that you can uh, cook up for your freaking self. Hold on. When you say you said I was, uh, you know, said a crackhead for music. I remember, uh, you know, since scurrying uh, to my room with Ludacris. Exactly. Word of mouth. Uh, I couldn't leave my room at this school for two weeks until I knew every bar. I'm saying. I'm saying no, man. Like you guys, you gotta remember and embrace those times. You know, I'm I am curious on you know any of the new generation. You know, what I'm saying who who has given you that same sort of like feeling or whatnot, right? You know, what I'm saying like some of us who you know had a lot of the '90s artists to sort of like pull from and get that you know dopeness. You know, you guys it may have been inspired by completely different people. I know my little cousin. Um, you know, his generation was more the Kanye. Uh, uh, Rick Ross, Drake, you know what I'm saying? Those type of freaking artists, Wayne, and stuff like that. Um, and, um, you know, we would always sort of, like, get into our, you know, conversations about how he had never really been into, like, Wu-Tang and stuff like that. Because uh, that, that wasn't his sort of, you know, era and freaking phase. But let me see. He said, I would say Mad Child. That's what's up. I bumped this jam, Gary said, I'm 35 and um, still be dead before quitting and stuff. Man, don't say that, don't say that, man. You better stay your ass here and, you know, continue to put out them bars and shit like that. If you gotta make a song a day to just make sure you have enough freaking stuff to, you know, feed the masses throughout. And as a matter of fact, you know, how dope would it be to, to make so many songs that you could, like, for the next five years, have songs that you could just have always drop every day, already schedule in the, the you know, the thing. And, you know, just to make sure that you're freaking good for the, you know, next couple of freaking years and shit like that. that I mean, it, it might be overkill because you want the time to, like, market each freaking song, but I feel like some things will work themselves out. Let me go ahead and play his second record because we have, we are in the... Skip line right now. We have a few others who might have sent skips themselves as well. And he has an extra bonus one. Because when you guys send skips on Friday, if you have a feature with me, I play that feature as a bonus record within the splew of freaking skips. So let's not. This is the second one. Which one of the two would you want a music video for? 
This one's called Dirty Sprite 77. Enlightenment through music, we taking you to the height of it Food for thought, that meal ain't complete without any Sprite with it We the type to get hype and get colder than liquid nitrogen Fight with them, see how fast I can find your fire and stifle it Discipleship, sick of the vice, the kids coming to quiet is Wiping the surface of earth with the likes of them to silence them Show me where the cipher is, you quite unfit for mics Equip my pilot, God is planning to the address I provide them with Kill your entire clique, it just beef, there's no surviving it The stylist tip will hit the page and I'ma show you fire spit If you're feeling suicidal then the might assist Hit him with iron fists and more cannons than seven pirate ships nice. I'm inspired to bring death to who desires it There's no soul up inside of him Take a look in his irises You don't want the hands you can get the feet like podiatrists One rhyme and you spiraling from the top of your title strip This is what we do for a living we kinda like it Dirty you know the name and none of you coldest writers Flows bold up for pirates the titans and any cypher it's a a celebration and none of you are invited This is what we do for a living, we kinda like it Dirty, you know the name and none of you coldest sprites uh -huh. Flows bold of papyrus, the titans and any cypher It's a boss celebration and none of you are invited Every time that I'm freaking like thinking about freaking All of the rappers who freaking bite it You know what man I'm invited to All of the freaking shit that I'm doing like every night And the shit that I freaking rap is like always kinda like tight But I'm always getting a freaking like answer I don't know what the hell to do But your mother's a dancer And she be taking a boo boo When you know you got cancer I don't know what the hell to do When I'm seeing these ants And they freaking crawling up Matter of fact when I call you up All of the freaking people uh, Play with these freaking beats But like going like get a ball and stuff Cause I don't even know what they freaking do But you all just suck whenever like you rap And you know it I'm getting all of this freaking shit When I'm telling y'all that I don't even know if you freaking quit Cause you can't even rap And every time that y'all freaking ask Give me man what the hell was freaking that thing when you thinking you like you really like masterpiece matter of fact this a masterpiece this is what we do for a living we kind of like it dirty you know the name and none of you coldest writers flows hold up papyrus the titans and any cypher it's a boss celebration and none of you are invited this is what we do for a living we kind of like that, it by the dirty way, you know the <laughs> name and none of you coldest writers flows hold up papyrus the titans and any cypher it's a boss celebration and none of you are invited all right, so big salute uh, to Dirty B on I'm freaking that one. Now the open verse is actually supposed to be for another artist that you know we I do know, and she's you know come to the show many times. She's you know been a great freaking supporter of the community as well as uh, the show, and you know what I'm saying. An artist freaking herself. She has, you know, records with a lot of, you know what I'm saying, decent freaking artists as well. Uh, and I can't wait to see what she definitely will do in that, you know what I'm saying, because it's, it's going to be crazy. In terms of your performance and stuff like that in there, like you, you know, killed it. You had a structure, a little bit freaking slower, kind of a, um, uh, uh, you know, something that makes it easy to work with. Again, as you saw, like whether you're like freestyling or you're like writing some shit or whatnot, there's something that you can play with and like, you know, an artist can do, can go in that same realm that you did or, or I was, you know, trying to freaking do in that, that freestyle and or they can switch it up and have a whole different kind of flow or something like that. I would imagine like Wreck a Child, you know, would, you know, get in there and, and rap fast and do something freaking like that, right? Mixes from you are always uh, decent and, you know, professional, you know, up front. So there's very little work that you sort of end up needing to do. Um, and, you know, once again, production is on point. So, you know, send it to us when she actually uh, has that record. I did ask you if she uh, has received the track yet and stuff like that i'm not sure if you had answered that one yet but if just i i will remind her i will remind next time i freaking talk to her and shit like that i might just uh dm her and be like hey dude get on that freaking shit with freaking dirty beat that shit is fire for freaking sure hey you sure super supportive and um do my props you know what i'm saying so it's being good people yep like directly your criticism is our valid let me see sprite is freaking dope from freaking kino yes sir you know what I'm saying? Yes, right, my dog. You know what I'm saying? She know uh, who I am and so like that. That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? So you you came across Miss Sprite ZMCS Ville uh, to G. 
Uh, let me see, Gary. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In the freaking building, I freaking see you. You said I made it. Um, wow, she was live and shit like that. Send it. Wow, uh, she was still rolling. That's what's up. Um, and you made me. You made for one second, for one split second. I read it as I made it while she was uh, alive, and then I was like, wait a second, what, did Sprite? Yeah, you yeah, you scared for a freaking. I was about to be like, no, no, no. Don't tell me I'm the last one to freaking find that shit out. Uh, Brazy Luca, you know what I'm saying? Said I didn't hear the the first one and shit like that. Oh man, listen, listen, Brazy. More than drums, and I would just listen to try to see how it was done. Back then, I used to think I was a poet. Music was my calling at the time. I didn't know it. One day, I was just reciting some poems. Devon said, "Hey, you ever thought of writing a song?" Joe Blow, he was my boy. He knew the ropes, and he taught me how to translate music out of poetry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I basically told the story of like how he started freaking rapping and shit like that you know what i'm saying which i think we all still need initially one of those now before we get back into the lineup of course i see those freaking skips coming freaking right freaking through i do have to do one more of course let me throw in our jam let me see uh ta -ta -ta. un Untouchable. All right, so this is Untouchable with him and me. Then we'll be right back. We got Ronnie coming up freaking next with your Insta. I'm untouchable, still crushing opponents The way I got to this level, I better fuck with you Go to see me gripping the mic like a python Everything that I write's hard Check my last record, see the bite marks Your life's lost if you met these cats I got the dorky with me to show you how MCs rap Before we kill a verse for you, baby, let me rap In the battle, you wouldn't want me like a deadbeat dad When dirt murking any track, you spitting absurd verses The worst version, you better watch your back like a third person My first server, Kung Fu, I'm the king when I die, better bring the ruler back like a nun school. I'm Sun Tzu, the game's marriage affiliate. Scary familiar, but guns and war paraphernalia. Dare me to kill you. I'll put a knife in your cerebral cortex and let the shots ring out twice. They ain't divorced yet. I'm untouchable, un untouchable. Uh -huh. I'm untouchable, un untouchable. Let's go. I'm untouchable, un untouchable. It's Yo, check, yo, hey yo, I'm untouchable like something I try to reach When I'm in a palm, bro, I confuse the shit out of leech Yo, if I was James, I would've ate the shit out the peach Made a house, set it up so I can live on the beach Watching Cheech Chong, yo, with each song I will feast on all these beats raw Dirty B, he will teach y'all I'm a beast, also on the keys I don't eat dog, y'all are weak Half of y'all are thieves still in each bar These rappers like don't even do stuff, look All these stories are fabricated like a Goosebumps book you can't touch me like MC Hammer on a school bus room Type of ghost that I even have the fucking Ku Klux shook I'm picturing it like this a movie Cause if you even try to touch me That shit's on you if you ever get the cooties We on the opposite sides up in the big jacuzzi That fentanyl got you getting woozy So don't touch I'm untouchable, un untouchable I'm untouchable, un untouchable I'm untouchable, un untouchable That's right, I'm untouchable, that's right, un that's right Be on that once again. Got in there. If there's anything that you at least freaking see from, you know what I'm saying, anything that he's on is that, you know, every single time he's, you know, consistent. Quality is freaking there, actual freaking flow, how he freaking raps, uh, and the bars. Like, there's never a time where two lines that he says won't you know connect in a dope way with something that if you know what he's freaking talking about it's just even freaking doper one of the great things about you know rappers who do that kind of stuff is for the for the listeners it's the same feeling as when you are piecing together you know uh, a, a puzzle and maybe like a game or something like that you figure out that sort of hard puzzle that you might have not been able to get then you freaking figure it out and you get it um, just things freaking click and you feel dope and you also sort of like feel the dopeness for the actual artist who came up with those lines So it's always freaking dope and for me It's just fun to sort of get on y'all, you know different concepts and you know Sort of like try to turn it a little bit on its head or just have fun with it or whatnot So 
absolutely freaking love uh you know what I'm saying that record right there and again beat is freaking nice you 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 have you know a lot of the best sort of like samples and sort of like drums to freaking go with it so good job all right i don't want to take too much time As we do have other pe other uh, people to freaking take care of, let me go ahead and do y'all right now. Oh, sorry, did you say you were bumping Atari? That's a game system, hey listen, are we? Gonna play all these games at the party, while the people are drinking Bacardi. See the look on my face, I'm retarded. Man, I'm dumb and will say shit regardless. What you think I will pee on your garden? I'm a dork and I hope you ain't fucking offended. Man, I've been a rapper since I was pretending that I was a rapper, but I was just kidding. But actually, after that, man, I was spitting shit, really. This is and nonsense if it isn't silly Man with the dilly with chili from TLC Man I'll clean my whole ass with a seashell Debo don't punch her you know that's a female I'm chilling with Debo don't punch her you know that's a female Okay and then Robbie Hex is up one song Hold on Just trying to make sure that I Know what I'm doing next Hold on Everybody knows about your mama and your daddy. No, they don't. You're lying to me. Nobody knows about um my mom. Now hold on, let's go ahead and pull up this. Okay, trying to get with that and all right, we already got it locked in. This is Ronnie with my funeral. This is Ronnie with my funeral. Enjoy. Rate this in the chat. One to ten. Any and all feedback is welcome. Shout out to everybody on all platforms, man. The day I'm finally gone, don't you dare cry. When it's my time, I know you'll tailor a new suit for me and buy a new tie. So I love this good. I'm gone and I'm finally resting peacefully I don't want to see a single tear on a cheek for me Just crack a bottle, burn a joint and start to pass them both And think about the times I made you laugh when I cracked a joke Just be happy that I met you through this game of life And don't complain because it ain't the same and everything alright I'm in heaven burning doobies, ain't no pain in sight I'm chilling with my father while we wait for y'all to face the light Play my music while you make it through this misery And listen to my CD on replay if you keep missing me Embrace the gifts you get today, cause living isn't free Tomorrow isn't promised by the blessings that you get and see Love the family you got, whether it's blood or water Your mother, brother, your baby mother, your son or daughter You never know what tomorrow's bringing, so play it smarter Just be thankful, cause being grateful only makes it harder when it's my time, I know you'll tailor a new suit for me and buy a new tie. So I love this. Girl. I'm just passing on, so keep that music bumping, keep on chugging till that glass is gone. I'm still with you, you can see me when I'm in your dreams. Yeah, I'm sticking with you, so forget how far that distance seems. I know from time to time I would be unpleasant, good intentions, and you know I cherished every single second. But I ain't disappeared, so you can feel my presence. I just hope that looking back, y'all considered me a present. I just want to be remembered as a funny guy. The guy who seemed to make you laugh when you want to cry. The guy who picked you up and always made you want to try. The life of the party, the loyal friend who's always standing by. I ain't perfect and never once had said I was. Wish I would have got my education instead of drugs. But that's okay, that's the past, so I'm moving past it. Because really I'm just very thankful for how long it's lasted.
This one right here. This for every nigga with a passion. This for every nigga with a grind. This for every nigga with ambition. This for every nigga with a drive. Be great. Be great. Be great. Be great. This for every nigga with a passion. This for every nigga with a grind. This for every nigga with ambition. This for every nigga with a drive. Be great. Honestly, this could fall under that storytelling figure one, two, a little bit, right? Um, you know, and this is, you know, like, first of all, the production, like, man, you guys, <laughs> you guys, great beat selection. I'm gonna keep saying it all freaking night. I feel like you guys are gonna send some great records, you know what I'm saying, this evening. But, like, uh, this one right here, you know, allows you to once again easily get in with a topic, something that everyone can sort of like relate to. Uh, you know, at a certain time, you just sort of co contemplate the the things that you've gone through, continue to go through, uh, and like what people might think of you, you know what I'm saying, when you're freaking gone or what what you might want to freaking do before like things like that happen. So I feel like you feel like, you know, th this song can touch people in that way. 100%, as I said before, do a video to this song. Um, you know, my only thing is, you know, trying to figure out what to do, as I said before, um, during the chorus, if you're performing it live, right? You know what I'm saying? A good, you know, sample is always a great kind of situation. But as I always say, you know, you have to figure out how, you know, during the performances, right? Do you take that time during the chorus? Do you just go, you know, you walk around a little bit, kind of pace back and forth, drink some water, uh, hold the mic out to the freaking crowd or something like that. Have your back turned to the freaking crowd. Uh, go behind behind the, the 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 DJ and then come out during each verse, like you know, or do you know do all the put your hands up stuff or or sing along with the chorus. There's so many different choices, but there's also the adding something as the same chorus is singing, like something that uh, you can sort of add in. I think I tried to do a little bit of an example before, but. I don't think I did a pretty good job when I, um, you know, tried that. Uh, but we shall see what is figured out. Let me see. Content matters uh, from Dirty uh, Dirty B. Um, you know, it had them vibes. I wanted a verse on that. Hey, remix, man. You know how we freaking do around here, man. So I would love for y'all to remix. Uh, that's freaking together. It would be dope. Uh, and he said, Ronnie, well, thanks everybody. I put my heart into that shit. Okay, I'm getting um, evidence vibes, but also uh, precisely on top of the beat flowing, goddamn. Uh, Liquid was saying they were gonna do a video on uh, the 16th for uh, for which one? Un Uncare Promises or what? Uh, Kino said 9.5, um, and then uh, Bobby, no Robbie Heck, you know, so he's coming up for your next. Had a dope fire emojis on that. Uh, we had, let me see, da, 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 da. again, yes sir, hold on, let me go over here. Also, um, I'm trying to figure out, so I know the, so, and Carver, real, real quick, um, are you talking about the breathing, which breathing are you talking about? The, the, during the intro, right? There's, there's two different freaking things that happen right there, right? There's during the intro where I was doing the Darth Vader, <laughs> the shh, shh. Yeah, you know I'm saying I was I was doing that sort of brought it in at the 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 second half of the the other four bars or something like that. Then right before the uh, the chorus is about to come in, there's that you know what I'm saying that part. So I'm trying to figure out which one you're talking about in terms of those. And then I gotta see where the the union the union the union music group thing i think is actually embedded in the beat itself if i'm not mistaken i didn't see no extra track that was the tag itself so it's in the beat that means that i need you know possibly a separated version of that um i guess if you want me to freaking do that i don't know what bubble sounds you were talking about but in terms of freaking that we'll 
we'll figure out what's up once we uh get to it just let me know you can send me an email with anything else i know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had but homie I'm And then I guess I'll take out the sniff. <laughs> I'll take out the sniff part. But honestly, I felt like, all right, I felt like, he, listen, he's the one who brought up the the when I smell you kind of freaking shit. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? I took whatever inspiration the freaking words, you know, gave me. I was like, you know what? Let's see what this freaking feels like freaking here with that. I guess you feel like it's too freaky. Uh, let's see. Okay, three. So we have Robbie freaking heck. Let me see what you done sent to us today. What is this? Yeah, see that. All right, here we go. YouTube as well. War chant. Let's see if this is the music video and or. Let's freaking see what I'm gonna do because freaking Lee. I don't know how about everyone in the street. DJ uh, Big also had a 10. Had a 10 on that last day. All right, so Robbie Heck, 2024. Let's see what this freaking does. That might be an intro. From what I'm seeing, it's... You fight for 30 minutes. Everything that we have, you control you, right? Everything we got, details, discipline, fundamentals, techniques. This is why we train the way that we train. All in mercy, you can all show up. Bring it on. Finish on three, one, two, three.
what they do at the uh, actual, you know, concert. Uh, all right, man, everybody together now! Uh, All right, now, man, uh, Robbie freaking heck, man, you know what I'm saying, gets in here, does this freaking thing, y'all have no freaking idea, or maybe you do. Um, every time he drops something, man, almost every time, no, not almost, why do I always just throw words in there? Every time, it will be something that is epic, um, it'll be real music, in between sometimes like you know uh, like heavy metal some gospel you know uh 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 just like the genres you know what i'm saying um you know can fluctuate but there's a consistency every time 100 percent you know to hear him with any of you guys you know from the community would be dope because you know he's gonna you know bring it and he can rap and sing like there's no shortage of you know songs that he you know he'd be able to do something for uh but of course i do think that there is a right sort of production to like really uh you know get his you know vocals and things like that to to work right or whatnot this one was perfect honestly it felt like a record that was you know like out you know already and and like you know we've you know heard it um, you know, it's just comfortably, you know what I'm saying, laying in there. The sort of footage that you added to it, uh, with the sort of like football stuff, like that was perfect for this type, because that's, I think, what everybody would have said. They would have been like, oh, this just should be on some ESPN, uh, you know, like highlight uh, kind of freaking celebration, you know what I'm saying? It's been 40 years since ESPN has been on the air. And with that, for you know what I'm saying? One of those kind of... Uh, uh, things and I think definitely is freaking perfect. Um, this was in you said SEO freaking hype video. Uh, th did you like submit this to anything or, or anything like that? Like, um, you know, I'm curious on you know if if you know the players or any fans you know uh, popped in and tapped in just just even you know because this feels so much like a theme song. I feel like you know they gravitate towards it you know it's it's a champion like freaking song and i mean let me let me, i want to go in the comments real quick and see what they were you know saying saying whoa let's go with it uh you know what i'm saying come on warriors um so let's go you know what i'm saying awesome song and video thank you for including a no nation uh you know what i'm saying let's go blow it up yeah you know what i'm saying it's gonna be sick uh let me see and then he said, <laughs> this other guy said, the only critique I have is that you should have used Ohio State, LOL. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's funny. So that I hope they, they you know, tend to freaking grow a little bit freaking more within that. But that's a great uh, record. Let's, and let's go ahead and read some of the freaking stuff in the chat. Then I see another possible freaking skip from somebody. Don't know who it is. Uh, what do you say? He said, I reached out uh, to SSU. They didn't reply. Ah, uh, uh, you know, what, what else needs to happen? What else needs to happen? At the very least, like, honestly, um, doing a performance, doing a performance, like, on, bro, now you got me freaking thinking, like, you should have came, you should come out at the game kind of freaking stuff or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if the right representation kind of has to, you know, reach out for them to, you know, take it more seriously or anything like that, but whatever needs to happen for sure. Uh, and if like, you know, if the fans, this is one of those times where you do want to like try to maybe like start a, if, if it's something that you still want to happen, you know, or it can happen, you know, and, or in the near future, start a little bit of a campaign, like, uh, where you get, you know, people to tag them and, you know, just basically if they think that their viewership and stuff like that will go up because people, you know, really wanted to be a part of something or you know whatever they'll definitely get in there he said what's cracking dorky you know what i'm saying it's please what you know what i'm saying it's in a skip that's what's up so that's probably you in the freaking cusp right now give me a second so that the Arthur ego you know what i'm saying send this link uh to the freaking chat hold on i got you bam 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 just gonna put that on the uh dance playlist 
let me see. You know what I'm saying? You said my wife will be home soon, and I bet she'll double down on my thoughts and so on. All right, let us freaking know. Keep us posted. Um, let me see. And then thanks, guys. You all are freaking awesome. Just dropped it tonight. Uh, so hopefully the algorithm works in, in my time. Uh, well, let's see if there's anything else you can do. Uh, okay, your hashtags look uh, decent. Yep, you got everything freaking right there. You have information all in the freaking description and stuff like that. I feel like you should be good. Did you also put the hashtags in the, um, you know, it, like when you when you go into the, the settings of the actual video itself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you have to do it, of course. When you go into those settings, uh, there is another extra section for like more advanced options, and there's another set of tags that you can sort of upload freaking there. Uh, you know, maximize what you freaking can. Uh, let me see. Also, shoot, Carver, if there's anything that you could, you know what I'm saying, do uh, to reach out. I don't know if you have those kind of uh, uh, things, but that'd be freaking kind of dope to, to see. Hold on. Oh my god, that scared me! That it was a spider right there, but it was. Not Bro, it's two in the morning, fell asleep and I'm yawning, waking up on the lawn, I'm seeing blue and orange. People follow me to school and copy me a tool. I stopped and put my music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, gnawing on the Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been warned. My brain is soaring like a unicorn. I just need you to. Can you please just go? We all eat pizza, so. I got pizza if you need them, pay pal me You see me on the playground just Yeah, I'm a dog, but I stay grounded They call me in cause I stay clowning You wanna stay down then Alright Hold on Cover said it'll happen anyway freaking possible, man Yeah, whatever you could, you know, do Help them get that, you know Whatever kind of situation I believe in it Let me see Da -da 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 -da. All right, so two song back to back praise one. We got you coming in the freaking cusp or what not. Uh, let's see, both MP3, so no links for this. If y'all do feel these, uh, let me see, praise one, Jace too slick. Uh, bring me to true. Let's go ahead. Put this over here. I gotta bring back my background. Let me see. Okay, so let me press that. Just so I can go there. What up, DJ uh, Test65? Very epic. Yep. The holy football guy. Um, <laughs> is that what you're gonna refer to him to now? You're gonna be like, hey, where's the holy football guy? Hold on. All right. Uh, where did I load the record? Where did I load you? Here you go. Is Monkey on the beat? Evanescence. One second in, I know my shit, man. Evanescence. The leader, everything that wasn't compatible. So you know Adam and Eve was a piece of butter. My clavicle and water relief when I'm popping and swallowing out of a attack of the beat like a rabbit is anarchist animal. Heard of a prototype with a pen and a pad. I'd be passing the borderline was unintended to have the capability to give a murder as pitiful person with every syllable equivalent of cuts of a surgeon. I'd be cutting up my body like a piece of a puzzle. I'm about to blow my brains out. Would I be putting a muscle because my mental state has seen the absence take a leap of faith without a match? So please don't hate when I leave the axis. I feel no shame when I feed my actions. Won't bury the hatchet in a world of madness. All I seek is blackness around my passion. I'ma take a fraction of your money and fortune because I can't afford to be a part of a portion. I'll be Important and left like a like a door friend. What the fuck is emotion? Take it out of proportion when I spaz like a semi automatic barrette. But I'ma leave you in the river like I'm Vito Scaletta. So don't come at me with that stupid bullshit. I'ma make you swallow this loaded full clip, bitch. I'm telling y'all. Back to back tonight, man. Leading you down into my core where I become so numb without a soul. Sleeping somewhere cold until you find it there and lead it back. Drop kick. 
bullies when I ran through every classroom Everything I rap proves that I smashed the booth that that's true I don't have to, clap dudes, blast you When I go four for four for two max I'll fry you when these shells fly past you like fast food Beating me is infeasible, not easy to do When I leak you dudes to people too I'm reaching through with eagle shooters Sweep the house like a cleaning crew It's like I played a bit of bit and like a kamikaze Hitting everybody when I'm in it Shining in the lobby, sticking up, I got a bit of bit Nobody's coming at you with a full on napalm Chainsaw, got your brain raw Watch for Hitman, hollow when we face off Get in my back, World War II, I'ma let eight off Keeping an evil, I love what you're reaping up on it if you're the destruction, I'm linking your fucks when I'm reaching for guns Bare arms, get the squeeze in like hugs Sparking y'all, but I take in five Make a bad flip like you, martial law Broke the kids you, open tissue with spit ink like I'm Yoshimitsu How can you see into I might have to bring in Dirty B right now <laughs> I might have to bring in Dirty B right now, man my core Where I become so numb Without a soul Sleeping somewhere cold Until you'll find it there and leave it back home The time that it's sitting there back in that butt sound That I don't even know what the Ain't no way Ain't no way Hey yo dirty Listen what the freak, man? I'm just gonna hit the door. Just trying to make a music that I won't want myself to listen to. Cause no matter what I do, I still be this guy that's so invisible. I'm just trying to change the way you make music. Cause I know you're miserable. Why don't you do something different and get like me? Tang and be little. Came through. What is happening freaking tonight? Something is in the air. Everybody's just coming through, killing. Killing all the tracks they getting on and like, you know, really it's, it's Friday. I feel like, you know, it, it's it's one of those, you know, kind of situations. Uh, but look, performance from both of you guys on this uh, record, you know what I'm saying? Like straight up freaking fire. Um, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, I'm always reminded to remind you guys that every artist on every record, you know, has the job of, you know, keeping... You know, uh, basically, basically, it's 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 like you know keeping an actual fighter going, right? If you don't put enough wood and you know uh, 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 a brush and, and stuff like that, and you know feed the fire, essentially, it starts to eventually you know lower and go down and, and eventually freaking go out, right? So when you guys are on songs, every artist has to come with the same amount of. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying Stuff to fuel that fire And you will be able to You know Get the listeners All the way to the end and It's not even like You know uh, uh, You know Crazy length freaking record Like there could be like You know Maybe one more verse You know Between you know what I'm saying Both of y'all and, and stuff like that If you did want to extend it I'm still happy With what I got From both of y'all Because like The performance was crazy The the chopper flow, you know, as I usually tell you guys, is not something that's easy for everyone to do. Because if it was, Jada Kiss would have some of those. He doesn't have one. I think I can think of maybe one song or two, give or take, where Nas might have tried to rap fast a little bit. But, like, not at the, the state of, like, what we've heard, you know, Busta Rhymes, you know, M, Twister, Tech 9 you know, things like freaking that, um, you know, only certain people can hit that, that, that supernova sort of freaking level of, uh, you know, dopeness, and y'all did that, I mean, that, that's all that without even freaking talking about the Evanescence sort of like sample and shit like that, I really loved how it was flipped, I didn't expect it to turn into like a drill, uh, you know, kind of freaking scenario, but everything worked out right, you definitely need to do a lyric video to this, and possibly a live action or just blend the two live action lyric video um you know and uh let those words pop out of your mouth and go hit the screen right up what do you say you say i like the flow a lot fire from freaking trino and we had a nine from uh c losta we had a nine also from traptivities uh great song uh, from c losta dirty money said yo my uh geneticist you know what i'm saying willie joining and so that and uh, we in there. I sent two more. Let me see. Uh, the liquid music group, you know what I'm saying? He said, I will give him a uh, distribution you know, deal tonight. Now, pin ready. Liquid music is in. Willie uh, Dangerfield was like, What up, though? What's freaking good? Praise One said, Evanescence is my favorite band of all time. <laughs> Hi, what's up? Shout out to freaking Evanescence and stuff like that. In terms of like the female, 
lead singer bands, mine would probably be Paramore. Um, and then maybe like No Doubt is is freaking is dope. You know what I'm saying? I always feel like Gwen Stefani. You know what I'm saying? Especially when she's with the, with the band, like brought something a different flavor to sort of rock, right? Because they had that sort of like reggae aspect in there as well, and you know what I mean. There, there was a lot of great songs. She has a very unique voice. Uh, I've always, always thought Haley had a great voice as well. Evanescence, you know what I'm saying, and the lead singer uh, of that, you know, she has a, an amazing voice. Um, you know, you guys give y'all freaking faves if you guys freaking have one yourself, my friend. You got a ten keynote freaking on that as well. Uh, let me see. What is he doing? Imagine on my squad. God, your mama's favorite rappers, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. What do you say? I'm more into uh, black metal and death metal, but Evanescence is my all time favorite. Uh, he said, I also love bands like uh, Motionless. In white and the breaking Benjamin and shit like that. That's what's up. Hold on, let me get over here to the band lab side just to make sure you guys know we are watching. DJ Big Smoke 2K. And we're hands up. We had some twisters in there from DJ Big Smoke as well. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm saying that was freaking very fire. Listen, we got one more. You know what I mean? Again, we got a twofer in this freaking moment so we're gonna go ahead and load that second one up so we can continue and then again right after this one was there i think was that it or was there another i don't know if there was another freaking skip or something like that i think i might be tripping but i'll check it out in a moment give me a second life isn't easy as a man and you gotta go through it you gotta struggle if you only add one of the two to do to have him do the music video too pills and sitting there and saying i'm sad which one sucks blah 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 that's not gonna do shit you need to get out there and change your mindset with your own actions guys and i agree with that 100 percent a lot of guys are soft a lot of guys don't understand that they're responsible for their mental health not, so not other people, not the world, not your psychiatrist, you don't need none of that shit. I try for a chance to survive and advance, say goodbye to the past, almost died from this crash, then my life in a mess to disguise all my scabs, I can't cry when I'm sad cause I fight, I'm a man. I try for a chance to survive and advance, say goodbye to the past, almost died from this crash, then my life in a mess to disguise all my scabs, I can't can't cry when I'm sad cause I fight, I'm a man Trying on oh, the yeah, water, dirty, reaching dirty my hands to fill a jar land, can't see no finance, I plead with my scabs. Every world is take a pass, every can of flash, this world to turn with my past, burn a flames and ash. Everything I've been through, I store on myself when I dwell, I fall through my hell. They say what they want, hate me, get torn, degrade me, get form to the finish line. I'm making a cross, give me obstacles to beat it, made impossible. Never sell my soul, so the fame ain't optional. Seeing how you move from the snakes of the slush, this game, it will swallow you, make it impossible. They don't want to stand, I was down in the mud, surrounded by drugs, develop my mindset, was out for this blood. Now I'm in love with the pain and the sorrow, I doubt I'm the one that will see when I'm free, cause I'm Clouded and numb, sign up a grudge for 20 something years of holding resentment. I know I am selfish, broken, neglected. Show my attentions to be a better man than soaked in depression. Hope for a blessing, but nope, I'm expected to die in the cold that was left in the so hard to mention. I try for a chance to survive and advance, say goodbye to the past. Almost died from this crash, then my life in a mess to disguise all my scabs. I can't cry when I'm sad, cause I fight, I'm a man. I try for a chance to survive and advance, say goodbye to the the past almost died from this crash man my life in a mess of disguise all my scabs i can't cry when me. i'm sad cause i fight i'm a man only they can see I'm going up as a piece Knowing that I'm free Didn't get nowhere Smoking all these beats It's all that I got My soul's in these sheets Parents gonna stand one another When I never started writing Now my father didn't put hands On my mother Guessing why y'all look at women In a different way Been hitting betrayed Cause y'all bitches the same Shipping the blame Living this way Only hinders my change There's no tomorrow So the sorrow Never had cash It was had to go and borrow All these hardships That shouldn't be But as many days That I couldn't eat To make them understand They just wanna see I know why I'm hurt I'll probably never see A thousand people wearing my shirt I'll probably never meet a fan That can spare my words I'll probably never see The people packed up on my words Talking this 
this hurts They'll cry as my turn to lie in the dirt And fight with the birds Wrongfully fear what life has become The only is gone, disappeared Never understand why people Chester are no longer here Keep it aside, dig yourself out till the catches and eat you alive I try for a chance to survive and advance Say uh -huh. goodbye to the past Almost died from this crash Spent right. my life in a mess to disguise all my scabs I can't cry when I'm sad Cause I fight, I'm a man I try for a chance to survive and advance Say goodbye to the past Almost died from this crash Spent Dirty my life in Quick a feature. mess to disguise all my scabs I can't cry when I'm sad Cause I fight, I'm a man Yeah. Once again, once again, you know what I'm saying? We're pretty much going down the freaking line and and you know, just hitting hitting dope after dope after dope, you know what I mean? Now this one was even more real, right? It was you know, content freaking driven fully um, you know, more serious, like a darker, you know, kind of production in there. Um that tells a little bit of a different story. Um, this video, if there was, you know what I'm saying, one would be, you know, maybe even like an animated, you know what I'm saying, kind of situation. Uh, and or one of the black and white, you know, kind of videos, um, you know, that you sort of, uh, you know, are able to freaking pull up. The other crazy thing is this one is that full song freaking structure, right? You know what I'm saying? Three minutes and 19, you know, seconds being able to go through, you know what I'm saying? Give or take around, you know what I'm saying? Two verses and, um, you know, still giving that, that full song. And now the chorus is the only thing where I can see possibly one more element that could be added, right? You know, on that second, if uh, most choruses are eight bars, right? He goes, try it, and, 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 you know what I'm saying? Does that whole freaking thing. Then when he comes back for the, that second time in that same, you know, first chorus or whatnot, um, I do think there should be like a higher tone sort of ad lib. You know what I'm saying? And whether you get like a female artist to sort of like, you know, do that and then like, you know, cut her down a little bit in the background just so it can be, you know, a sort of like higher tone vocal in there. Um, there's also the aspect of maybe getting like a atmospheric sort of slight, slight echoed, reverbed delay and a, and a, you know, opera voice going. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, like in the background. Uh, am I able to like manipulate my voice? Hold on, let me freaking see if I can still. Okay, we go to two decks, right? Cause I don't know if I, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. What did I do? What did I do? Oh no, wait, did it even do it? Yep, it froze. Thanks to my stupid ass trying to freaking figure out some freaking shit. Anyways, uh, big salute. We can still hit the clap button. Hit nope. Don't. Yeah, thank you. Come on, fix yourself. Hold on. Ah. Uh, okay, there it goes. Right. All right. I don't know if I need, if I need to. to. Hello. Hello. Hey, stop, hey, stop, hey, stop, 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 All right, jeez, man, that was freaking crazy. Something like that, wow, the, but then again, cut it down, don't have it, like, all up in our freaking, you know, right in the back and shit like that, like some creepy guy back there trying to freaking, you know, be creepy with his ass. Ah, uh, let me see, only speaking freaking facts, man. So what did you say? You said there's a free VST version, you know what I'm saying, but the uh, paid boy will... Uh, get your layer on point. That's what's up. Um, now, what is it? Hold on. Oh, he said, if you can find a freaking chick to, or, or do it yourself, you know what I'm saying? Look into Karovia or whatnot. So does that sort of like add an extra sort of like tone uh, to your already made vocal? Or does it like, does it manipulate a recorded vocal that you have and, you know, to make it small? Like what, what does it do specifically or whatnot? Because that is something that... You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to look into it and, and, you know, fool around with freaking that. Karovi, let me see. I'm just going to type it in just so I can get to it later. Karovi. I'm, I'm used to doing, you know, the things for myself and stuff like that. But, 
that is let me see Karobi uh, I think I spelled it freaking wrong but yeah Ka Karobi there we go uh, pitch correction. What is that? Just like the. Let me see. Say like Kendrick use it on bitch. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Ah. Okay, I see what you in. All right, let's get back into it. Now, before I do want to freaking show the chat, chat freaking love. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for your freaking time and shit like that. So before we move back into this skip line, right? You know what I'm saying. I want to take a short freaking break and go into the free line directly. Uh, continue that line just for a moment. I just want to get one one in. We're going to go right to the freaking bottom. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, pull one out so you guys can have some hope. Knowing that we are not, just, you know, we are not paid only as much as I, I you know, would love to get nothing but skips every day, all day. I want you to know that I appreciate uh, you guys, whether or not you guys freaking skip. So, Dream of Black, we got nah, you freaking up. Like and then we're gonna get back no in that lineup. This shit right here with a low line. That skip nigga, line that we have. We got a two song from Dirty Beast. Rapper, about dope off a of rap check. You ain't no trapper. You ain't put no work in. We know you ain't no clapper. You ain't got no time on that main line. You ain't active. Nigga, you a rapper. Better stick to that rapping. Cause once you get packed out, you can never get packed in. My little yeah. homies black out, worse than cancer. Pull this K about this hamper. Put your life inside a pamper. Better stick to that studio. Stay up off that corner. You ain't out there put no work in. You ain't got no karma. The life ain't never been full of drama. Homies had me out the window at 12 years old, that's on my mama. These street niggas you fear tell you I'm something else. When a banana pop out that cake, you getting something else, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't fuck with no rap, nigga. Should I might have to slap a nigga, then clap those and back it, niggas. Like, fuck those inactive niggas. Save me a spot on that main line. Ain't about family time, it's back to back with niggas. Playing in these streets, fuck around and get your bitch shot. For thinking you a big shot, chase you down in that big block. You foreign full of hoes, got poles sticking out of air window. We out of fishing on these river niggas. Sacramento, King Gorilla Gardens, a swing if I roar. Make every line in the jungle come out and even the score. Nigga, you a rapper. You ain't no scrapper. Bought dope off a of rap check. You ain't no trapper. You ain't put no work in. We know you ain't no clapper. You ain't got no time on that main line. You ain't active. Nigga, you a rapper. Better stick to that rapping. Cause once you get packed out, you can never get packed in. My little homies black out, worse than cancer. Pull this K about this hamper. Put your life inside a pamper. You think you active cause you rapping about it? Simmer down before you get your ass packed out. Fucking around. If I was you, I'd stick to rap. Cause I'm telling you now. Ain't no turning back when them guns come out. So keep your ass up in the studio and out of these streets. Cause this ain't no music video, this real life beat. See, motherfuckers really shooting, homie. Ain't no peace. So be careful how you're moving and what you speak on. Cause I ain't letting shit slide them outside with the pole. Till I'm back on that main line and laid in the hole. I'm known to bang mine, homie. So stay in your zone before you end up in a bag with a tag on your toe. Look, I don't fuck with no rap cat. Only real motherfuckers in the field known to clap that So who you think you kidding, homie? Who get your ass clapped? You fucking with a head and be your shit back on contact Nigga, you a rapper You ain't no scrapper Bought dope off a of rap check You ain't no trapper You ain't put no work in We know you ain't no clapper You ain't got no time on that main line You ain't active Nigga, you a rapper Better stick to that rap Okay Once you get packed out You can never get packed in My little homies black out Worse than can Sound good on the mic. What you know about rolling around the hood on the bike? You don't know nothing about catching fades on the metro. Standing with your AK, pumping your petrol. On your enemy's turf, you can really get hurt. Real G's from the street, putting plenty of work. Fool's raps is all cap. Y'all ain't with all that. Fronting like you did. 
get it all, you ain't never get involved Stay on the sidelines, cause you can get it for real Quit trying to hide sign, you ain't never been in the field Or in the trenches where it's vicious Knowing damn well, you gon' tuck tail when niggas come tripping I suggest you listen, need to take heed to what I'm saying Cause niggas from the street, we ain't playing You can act tough in front of them fools you went to school with You come round here, you better miss me with that bullshit Nigga, you a rapper, nice. you ain't no scrapper Bought dope off a rap check, you ain't no trapper You ain't put no work in, we know you ain't no clapper You ain't got no time on that main line, you ain't active Nigga, you a rapper, better stick to that rapping Cause once you get packed out, you can never get packed in My little homie's blackout, worse than cancer Pull this K about this hamper, put your life inside a pamper And it talks about how like you a rapper and shit And what freaking happens after this shit When you freaking know that freaking is a lot of rappers who ain't mastered this shit Sometimes you gotta either rap slow or faster than this, cause when you freaking got the dap the boop a dap Alright, not bad. Got the COD record. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Often when we get like pretty much uh, OC the General, Dreamer Black, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, any number of artists, you know what I'm saying, within, you know, I still consider it like full on COD. Uh, often you guys, you know, come with a lot of, you know, dope West Coast, you know, uh, 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 themed records and stuff like that. Just is a little bit slower in terms of the, uh, the, the, the speed at which, you know what I'm saying, everything. You know, again, it's mid, slow, not too, not slow to where you gotta rap fast and shit like that. Um, but it is a more like, I would say like mellow, yet slightly upbeat. Like it, it has, it has a weird sort of, you know, subsection, I think, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, within it, but was dope. You had a chorus in there, of course, that, uh, you know what I'm saying, went through. Um, and I uh, felt like that grew on uh, me as as we went in. There was a certain point in the song where it did feel like the chorus was going on, like, way too many freaking times or something like that. Um, you know, but it wasn't, like, too, uh, you know, annoying. I just, it was just kind of, like, noticeable. Uh, everybody sort of killed it in their own way. I do like that you guys were each able to sort of like switch it up and you know bring your own uh, sort of freaking uh, style to the situation. So you know, keep it up. And you know, I still need, I still would love to do you know a eventual you know album you know listening of y'all freaking stuff or whatnot because I know like there have been so many times you you sent like a lot of the stuff from the group. And, you know, it was some of the newer stuff. I could just always freaking tell. And I'm like, man, I got to hear, like, you know, the, the track listing and, like, you know, how you guys structured things and all that just to see, like, how well you guys uh, put things together. Because you guys are, you know, pretty freaking on point with freaking stuff. Still love that record that you have that has, uh, you know what I'm saying, Nate Dog that came in uh, fairly recently, but not bad. Now, Willie uh, Dangerfield was asking, you know what I'm saying, for the record, but it is an MP3 and stuff like that. No link for this one as of freaking yet, but you can, you know, try to give it a freaking search in YouTube to freaking try to, you know what I'm saying, see if maybe give it a freaking take it, uh, you know, pop up. If not, it's not out yet. Um, would you say no whack verses, but first um, person on the track, you know, brought the A game. Yeah, big facts, man. Yeah, different uh, parts where you switch it up crazy. Uh, my bad. Uh, CBL, Kino, Kino was saying, you know what I'm saying? Oh, C-O-B, C-O-D. C-O-D, it's, it's C-O-D. You know what I'm saying? The shit still. Um, let me see. Uh, and he's saying Andreas and stuff like that. Honestly, if he had tennis skip, man, I have a feature with him, with Dreamer Black as well and shit like that. So we would have been able to... Uh, put that in and saw that but you did not and so we will be going back into the skip line right now we i just need you to can you please just go we all eat pizza so i make weird music i got pizza if you need a pay pal me you see me on the playground just yeah i'm a dog but i stay grounded they call me in cause i stay clowning you wanna stay down then uh, let's see where we are at. Okay, so this is the two song. We're back in the skip line. As of right now, with Mr. Dirty B once again with another twofer. 
uh, followed by another one song from Praise One, which we'll uh, jump in, and then we should be back on the free line. Assuming you guys don't send a you know another skip like after every every freaking tween that. Um, da, 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 da. did you want to? Um, oh, why did it block it? Hold on, always allow. Don't know why it was gonna block that right there. Let me download it one more freaking time because it got black DOA. You want to come on, uh, during the thing and shit like that? I can show people kind of like how we, how I do the, um, you know, sort of the interviews that you guys will win on the freaking show, right? Because that's what I usually would do. I'd bring you guys on via Skype. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, and at the very least, I can test the sound to see how things would work and stuff. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to bring yo ass in. Test these things out real quick. <laughs> Bing dang. Bling, ding, yo, yo, bang. you're there. Like, oh, love, can you hear me right now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. All right, give me a second. What do I want to do? I need to, first and foremost, I need to get the audio. Uh, No. Okay, so what's this camera? I didn't put in virtual cam freaking yet, but. I'm looking for the, the, the like share my screen option. What I know is here. What is that gonna be? Let me know what I'm gonna record a block. Uh, give me a second. How did I freaking do it last time? Hold on. Shout out to everybody if you're in the chat, holding it down, doing the damn thing, eating mini cheese songs, whatever. Every day, all day, I already know what it is, man. We over here holding it down. Share screen. There we go. All right, so share computer sound. That's what I want to do first, and then I worry about the uh, the other thing. F. I guess this will pull up my other freaking screen though, or I can actually pull up the chat at least for freaking now. You're gonna you'll probably see the chat on the freaking screen in a second. Okay. Yeah, I see the chat. I'm trying to figure out how to. Uh... I'm trying to figure out how to mute your vocals on the Skype and keep them on YouTube. Uh, so there might, I don't know if there would be a latency though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm trying to figure that shit out right quick. Uh, so, no, but so mute YouTube, mute YouTube because I can base, I'm basically going to test out if you're going to be able to hear the songs coming through your headphones right now. Watch. Okay, bet, 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 bet. I already muted YouTube. We right, in there so like somewhere. Let me know if you can hear this real quick. I can't. I can hear that. Okay, so then we're good. So uh, We are all good, baby. And then for everybody else, let me bring you on screen and shit like that. Hold on, we'll Yo, get... what, what's up? The fucking Dark Squad family was good. <laughs> Shut up, man. So I got Dirty B on the line right freaking now and shit like that. He's going to be a little bit of a guest reviewer and shit like that. This is also how I usually would bring you guys on via um, uh, Skype if I was, you know, doing interviews and, you know, the same freaking thing. Hold on. Where is... Not and looking. by the way, while while we waiting for him to set this shit up, like just so y'all know, y'all might have heard my shit, but listen, bro, I fuck with Dorky the long way, bro. This motherfucker. The, first of all, he the truth lyrically. Second of all, his opinions when it comes to like when he judges music, they mirror my own. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there ain't shit that he he be like pushing forward that I be thinking is dog shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything he he fucking promotes is good shit, bro. So. Appreciate that, man. You know what I mean? As as I've already said, you kill it. You do your damn freaking thing. Give me, give me a moment. I'm just happy that your community is full of people that actually present quality music. Hey, listen, you know, the industry pushes out sort of like often like one type of, you know, situation. And I used to, it's weird because they used, it used to feel like they cared 
about the actual culture, right? Because again, a common existed, a most deaf existed. Like a lot of the artists who actually stood for something, talked about things that moved the culture. And I, I guess what might have freaking happened at a certain point is that once they saw how like impactful a Tupac could be, cause like that shit started an entire East Coast, West Coast beef when, you know what I'm saying? They were going through their shit, right? Once they saw that, that that could be, it, you know, a little bit crazy, I felt like they, sort of try to you know weave weave the industry and the type of music that everybody makes in a different uh you know sort of sort of i mean that's version. reflected nowadays and with the way people make music you know what i'm saying depending on what like what uh you know east northwest south genre they come from you know what i'm saying hip-hop has its own flavor in every part of america and like in my opinion you know the east coast has it locked you know what i'm saying but to everybody they have the own like section of america that makes the best best music there was a time where the South could not be denied. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah, little John Yin Yang twins. You know what I'm saying? Like they just could not be denied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like everybody's still doing their thing. Everybody is still um hold on, where the hell is this freaking thing? Hold on. I'm trying to get the other window up. Everybody's still doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Across, you know, the places. It's just like what is promoted in the industry. And like now um, you know, these days, hold on, let me see if I can move. Man, I used up. to be such a big hater, you know what I'm saying? I used to hate every, like, generation that came out after me until I heard somebody old school really lay it down for me. They were like, look, every generation has their own interpretation of how the culture goes, you know what I'm saying? And even though that's a short statement, it makes sense when you like listen to all the new artists and they're just like doing what they think is best you know what i'm saying yeah. so there's nothing wrong with that it's just you know obviously people with my my certain like listening tastes i have a specific way i lean when it comes to music but also if you're good you good that's all there is to it word hold on hold on it's like the the window that you're in it shows that it's it's there, but then when I freaking go in, like it just acts like it doesn't freaking exist or whatnot. So I'm just trying to get it in so we can actually freaking see you before we get started or whatnot. Though I kind of just wanna, you're still there, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm just happy with being vocals, bro. I'm happy to be in this bitch with you. All right, I'll just add, I'll, I'll get the music started just so we can uh, continue. And then while that's happening, we'll, um, you know, we'll we'll go from freaking there or whatnot. Uh okay so don't worry featuring Jay that's the first one you know what I'm saying if you want to see if you want to introduce this or anything you know what I'm saying you can uh actually the the two tracks that I just sent you are over three years old <laughs> okay so these are like throwbacks yeah they throwbacks and you know this is, this is uh you know three years ago in my mixing experience too but also I think I gave it my best at the time but you know like I've I've upgraded so much since then but also. I value my music like like when I, I sent you uh from scratch earlier and uh I, the, the most profound lyric in that at all is that beats are secondary lyrics come first to me that's all it is you know what i'm saying like when i produce a beat uh it, it just has to match the vibes i'm looking for and then i'm gonna write magic you know what i'm saying like i just have to get the right vibes right in the first part of it you know yeah. what i'm saying but but i can rap to any fucking thing you know this you know what i'm saying send me yeah. a country beat and i'm gonna make something Hey man, I you you kind of make me want to do to you know pull up the ch challenges and you know what I'm saying see what see what you do. Send and, me them all, bro. I will you know what I mean? Like, I'll, hey, I'm not even joking, bro. You send me a list of all the challenges. I'll do them all. We will, we will, we will do that. You know what <laughs> hey, what, how much is it gonna cost? A hundred dollars to get you to spin that shit for a half an hour straight, bro? We in there. Listen, we're we gonna see we gonna see what freaking happens, and you know I can't wait till we start doing the, the battles and stuff like that again. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right freaking and again. First song right now. Don't worry, Dirty B. I'm I'm trying to get him on the freaking screen. I, I'm working on it. Yo, yo, shit in the game, but if it was, it's kind of weird because none of us started the same place. So it's all for this race to ever be equal. You know, all you can do is keep your head up, stay in the grind, yeah, there's always better days, there's always better days, there's always better days. 
Life is difficult, the times is hard to make it Many demons on my shoulder, I'm losing my concentration Wish I could erase my memory as well I've been on the bottom, remember the temperature for hell Death for certain jail, maybe who knows now For those of you who made it, I'm giving my kudos out With everything in flux, constantly in motion, let a soul's duel Spent the whole check on the tank and it says low fuel I gotta raise it, doesn't matter cause the price is up I double down on rent money, now I'm twice as fuck Well, low funds are moving on, but now it's hard to cope Underground, trying to rise up like a artichoke The darkest roads are still ahead, we haven't traveled yet Cigarettes and mad weed just to battle stress But those are overpriced too, it's hard to handle it They push my buttons and play my strings like a mandolin What the future holds So I just keep on making music Just to soothe my soul Better that than being trapped In the cubicle Or smoking crack Laced up on pharmaceuticals I make it through with Joe Grinding like I always do And every time I got a problem I'ma talk to you Y'all are cool, I got the feeling that you don't judge me I do the best I can, sometimes it's so ugly I'm in a dark place, no light left Stay about the Benjamins like I just know Mike Epps I hit the bottom, started climbing as soon as I seen the light above Finally made it back on stage with all types of love The Midas touch it reverse, everything turns to shit As soon as I finally took flight, I felt the turbulence That's when I put the pen to paper just to murder shit Absurd with this, moving from my goals cause I deserve this shit no Let's work, we will get to the top of the building And we gon' take it further, you will see us pop off the ceiling Now don't you doubt it, I won't stop until I got me a million Cause all the problems I'm dealing with stacking up Always putting hours on the clock, but the bills are not adding up I feel like I had enough, I dropped the G to fix the whip I just wanna lose it, but I need to get a grip Only so much I can take before I feel like I am smothered Whether it's bills or drama, it's just one thing after another I'm feeling trapped, but I'm getting out someday I just know we gonna make it, somehow, some way. So don't you stress, I'm getting dressed I'm clocking in early, I'm gotta get it first thing Cause well, I'm in a hurry to figure out what I'm doing Cause lately I've been just clueless So do me one thing, promise me you're not gonna no worry. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Gotta, gotta get what's mine. Gotta, gotta get what's mine. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I can make you feel it. It's my time. Hey, uh, what up? Uh, for the record, I know I'm trash at singing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, was that you on the chorus? That was you on the chorus? Honestly, I wasn't putting that together. I was hearing you sing on top of the singing and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the, the singing on the thing. I didn't like, uh, oh, that that's freaking him. I felt like it was... Almost something that uh, uh, you know might have been from another freaking genre or whatnot, because it's different. It did take a little bit to sort of you know grow on me and, and stuff like that. Of course, it's a little bit of an older uh, type of freaking record. The performance, you know, what I'm saying in terms of you know the the raps, you know, what I'm saying again very consistent as you know, what I'm saying per usual as you get in there and uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying rap content is always uh, you know, what I'm saying up up front. And, you know, I did want to ask, you know, like, what do, do you prefer, you know, making the, you know, the, the realer, more like content, you know what I'm saying, matters, kind of like driven songs, the, the, the more serious ones, or the, like, the straight, you know, bar for bar, let me, you know, eat them seeds <laughs> left, left and right, you know, uh, Griselda type B type shit, you know what I'm saying? What, what is, what is your favorite type of, you know what I'm saying, record to go through? Listen, in, in order, it goes bar for bar, just uh, just because that's what I like. I was impressed by when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you familiar with my, the my buddy, obviously yeah. from G Unit. Uh huh. 
hands down, Matt Lloyd Biggs had the dopest verse. You know what Matt I'm saying? Betty. Just just the way he laid it down. And I've always I've always wanted to be that rapper. I've always wanted to be the person that you hear out of five rappers and you're like, who the fuck is that? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Lloyd Banks has always been that for me when it comes to G Unit. Even though I love all of G Unit, you know what I'm saying? Like in all of them, I love them respectively in their own like you know like era. You know what I'm saying? Like Fifty Cent obviously did his fucking thing. Young Buck had his own fucking vibes. But when it comes to like who is the best of G Unit, Lloyd Banks's compound syllables always hit, mm -hmm. and I always felt like like when when he was on the track, no matter if it was a love song, if it was a club song, if it was a straight like bar for bar. He is bringing it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I never, I never felt like like Banks has ever, you know, dropped the ball, and you know, that's what sort of made, that's what makes certain groups work, right? You need some, you need, you need the pretty boy that's just gonna, you know, that that you know does the thing for all the ladies. You need the straight up bar for bar, like even when, if we think about like Saint Lunatics, like Murphy Lee was the favorite. Oh, in that dude, group, right? Murphy Lee, bro. Right? Holy shit! What an esoteric name to bring up. So like he, you know, and, and there was always one of those in each sort of freaking you know group. You bring up Wu Tang, you know, you, there's almost so many, you know, when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, you got a few but in there. <laughs> method is method. I think would be number one for people. For people, Fact. maybe give or take, followed by like either Ghost Ray. Um, you know, uh, 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 sort of in that order, maybe even Inspector Deck. Like Inspector Deck was for sort me, of like it'd be my Rizzo favorite. Right after, uh, right after him, and then Inspector Deck, and then uh, Redman. Nice. No, but see, is Redman is is Redman considered Wu Tang though? I do consider him Wu Tang. Just I've always I've he, always looked at him as a newer addition, but yes, I I definitely consider him a part because he vibes with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it just fits. Like, and, like, if, can you... Is it possible to picture Red Man without Method Man or the opposite? No. Yeah, no, I just how I feel. Oh, and to finish your shit, though, to finish your original question, in order, though, that bar for bar shit is what I live for because that's what I'm impressed by. But second of all, storytelling, I've always enjoyed a very good book that can fucking suck me in with just words. Mm -hmm. So I've always been like a, a a fan of like, you know, uh, Digital Underground, Slick Rick, you know what I'm saying? Like in his ability to be like, all right, we're about to go on a journey. You ready? You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. you just don't have any choice. And when it comes to that real, real life shit, uh, the only way it resonates to me is when I'm feeling it at the time. And, yeah, I, was gonna, uh, I was gonna say ODB, man. We we almost forgot ODB in that. that not at all, bro. You know what my saying? name is Dirty, bro. You know my theme song is, Hey, Dirty. <laughs> hey, I got your money. Hey, hey, got hey, your money. Hey. No, but continue. Sorry about that. No, that's it. That's it. That's that's just it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I think that hip hop has all the elements, and and they're all ingrained for everybody to like pick through. You know what I'm saying? Like. The new genre that I used to not like, which is like, you know, the mumble rap genre, I've actually discovered in the last few years a couple of rappers that are on the outskirts, you know what I'm saying? And they shine yeah. in that genre. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. Nobody told me that this was possible. You know what I'm saying? So It depends on the on the artist. There's always going to be that group of people who like who just kind of do whatever. They're the entry level sort of artists in the genre. And then there are the ones who take it more serious. And they, like I usually tell you guys on the show, try to make sure that whatever genre you're in, that your specific records hit at least the top 10, 20, top 50 and 100 on the in the big list of artists who are in there. You know what I'm saying? For me, well, I still haven't heard an actual, like if they're categorized as mumble rap. For me, if I can't understand what you're saying, you're already out the door because I can't relate to your song. I can't hear the words, you know what I'm saying? But if you actually, if you have one of those styles that people usually make, you know, in mumble rap, but then suddenly we can understand you. There is bars, there is a good energy. Yeah, yeah. You turn it and on I, its head, right? And, the, and that speaks volumes because you got rappers like Future. Like, mm -hmm. like if, if you first hear the mention that Future has bars, nobody's going to believe you until you pull up some bars. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But but the one thing that I think that all artists that's listening to this now, and I know there's, what, what uh, nine people in YouTube and probably many other on other platforms. Uh, Listen, as an artist, if you ever feel challenged, you have to do it. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like, okay, um, 
I'm running out of things to say. Write the most profound song you've ever wrote. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you ran out of melodies, sit there for an hour and a half on the beat until you match that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's people's problem. They don't. They are often too lazy to want to 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 have that patience to know that you know. Sometimes you do got to come back to a record later. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you gotta I've find that right, find that right. I like again when I get into a slump of like, okay, I haven't made a song in a while. Um, I literally have to go through a bunch of freaking beats until I hit that one that's that's dope. And if I get writer's block, I go to a whole nother freaking beat, make another song until I hey, I I'll rev up that, that engine, and then I come back to that other song, and I'll suddenly be able to say all kinds of freaking shit. Hey, can I speak on that? Uh, I, uh, as an artist, I truly don't believe in uh writer's block. Yeah. I don't think that there's such thing as writer's block. I think that there's inspiration block. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you're a writer. Dorky, if I were to challenge you and attach a money amount that's going to make a difference in your life, you're going to deliver the best verse you've ever written. Just because. You know what I'm saying? That's just what's built into you. And I feel like that's the same thing with every artist. There's no such thing as a writer's block. There's only inspiration block. You know what I'm saying? You only get to a point where you feel like you can't do it because you didn't got nothing in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it's really good to step, take a step back, reassess your life, and then re-enter. Because I've never spent a single fucking day that I didn't do something that inquires hip-hop. Whether it's listening to my favorites, exploring new, uh, going over my old shit, listening to beats... Every single aspect of your day can be devoted towards furthering your art, even if it doesn't require you sitting there with the pen and paper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoying the artist that made you you can make your next album the best album you ever made. I agree. I agree, man. We we definitely, you know what I'm saying, have that, that sort of figure neck. Um... You know, but I do believe that, you know, certain beats do like, OK, so there are certain artists who will be able to write without a beat even. Right. I've never been like that. I always have. To, I let the beat inspire what I am going to freaking say or whatnot. I'll, I'll look That's at, you know, what I'm saying like and you, you already freaking know, like you are of that sort of that 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 reference nature where you have to go into detail and like try to get every bar that you can when it comes to like the theme songs and stuff like that and like i love to take time to get those kind of you know situations and think about everything that i possibly can what are moments that that resonated with me and with, i know that uh, from listening to your music you know exactly. i know that from reflecting because like for for anybody that doesn't know this uh i have a tendency of going down rabbit holes and today I went down a three and a half hour rabbit hole of dorky. You know what I'm saying? And in the dorky versus human or zombies or whatever that. Yeah, the zombies eat my. Zom no, not zombies eat my. Uh, uh, eat sleep kill zombies. So like yes. all the the I know albums you had eat, are. Eat sleep kill aliens. Eat sleep kill fucking uh, zombies. And you had like four other ones, but the zombies one I listened to that from cover to cover. Nice. And I was waiting for a moment for you to slip up. It, not not as like uh not like a uh what's the word um not like in a negative way i was like this dude is so good he has to flaw up sometimes you're wait you were waiting for the okay so what's the what's the song that if it were to come on again i'd sort of skip to the next song kind of yes right and that didn't happen on that whole album listen so <laughs> if, if there's anything that i can say is that 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 album and the one before it, the um, Eat Sleep Kill Killer, no wait, kill, Eat Sleep Kill Robots, right, the red one, um, both of those were not only my labor of love to sort of like hip hop, they were my trying to, uh, you know, make sure that I can, you know, like at, at the time there was nothing but mumble rap out, literally, we were in that sort yeah, of no, sector of freaking time, it. and I was, I, I had stopped rapping for five years, so those albums were my comeback. It was me trying to prove that I could still rap. It was me also doing like, honestly, I felt like those were gonna be my last albums. And I just wanted to leave people with something because nobody was making anything good in my opinion, nor was anybody able to listen to anything new and different and shit like we, like we were used to. So I wanted to sort and of do- crazy you know every type of record and i wanted to do something that would you know be able to to blend you know hip hop and and um you know nerdcore like into to sort of like one get something that Speaking gamers and hip hop heads i mean so what happened 
Hey, speaking of nerdcore, where does yeah. MC Chris sit on your list? Uh, he's a unique sort of artist, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's very, uh, you know, animated. Um, and there are times where, like, I do think the, you know, depending on, on the song, you know, the the sort of, like, weird voice can, you know, throw a few people yeah, he off. Has a unless he has, like, an animated voice. kind of thing to it and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but once you sort of get in there, like to me, I've I've always loved Mega Ran and like same and 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 uh, uh, same as Samus uh, or whatnot. They well, are so Samus anybody is, that's like of our age and uh, has explored the Adult Swim life, you're gonna recognize MC Chris from Adult Swim. Exactly. Yeah. But in my opinion, IG88 is a hit. Right. It, it, look, we speak of some esoteric shit. I'm not. How many people in this chat even know what the fuck nerdcore is? Uh, it's like, always it's always a constant. Still like trying to. Can you I get know, a thumbs edu- up in there just to see how many people have actually went down that rabbit hole? No, ner- nerdcore crazy. is an entire. It's an entire whole other. You know, what I'm saying like subgenre. Um, that like if you know, you know, and it's well respected. Like again, Mega Ran can go to a Comic Con and E3. And I've seen literally like crowds of people, you know, form in a circle and him just performing, you know, in between in in the middle of the circle, you know what I'm saying, for everybody and shit like that. Um, probably the most hip hop nerdcore freaking artist, you know what I'm saying, within there. And in, well, in terms I, I of the females, like, you know, so I, I feel like uh nerdcore, horrorcore are almost like they they have the same amount of following. But one just doesn't speak up as much as the other. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to go out into the world and ask how many people have heard of ICP, the number is going to be more than MC Chris. But the number is still sig- significant for anybody that dabbles in a little bit of nerdcore. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you've read comic books, watched fucking uh, television shows, you want to hear your favorite things referenced in a way that tickles your fancy. Oh, yeah. And I feel like, you know, so for those outside Nerdcore, right, if you want to know whether or not you can be considered Nerdcore or not, right, the the exact difference is this. If you are willing to make an entire song, you're not just going to reference The Simpsons in one line. No, you're going to make make an entire entire record where all of a sudden you went to The Simpsons' house, all kinds of shenanigans ensued, and then you got out and, you know, the, the... smoked weed or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I love how you, that's the perspective you took. Because as as artists, we're all going to take our own way onto that track. But for you, the way you said it, you're like, I'm going to live the Simpsons life. I'm going to be a character on the show. That's that's what I feel like, you know, when when most people, you know, if you're going to make a Stranger thing, a Stranger thing, a Stranger Things themed song, right? People want to hear Possibly elements of the the theme ship, the theme song to the show in there. Maybe a little bit of a callback to Running Up the Hill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all, all that freaking shit. They want to hear, you know, situations, characters, you know, but also relating it to straight rap shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you see, have to be see, able to. I, I I think that like that's where great artists can deviate and also fit the same genre. Because like for you, where you would have lived the life of a person in the Simpsons show, my approach to that. Would have been like, what's every greatest moment I've ever heard of or seen on The Simpsons? And I would write them down on a piece of paper and figure them out in bar form. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so that, yeah. So that way, when it when it comes to hit, you're like, I remember that episode. I know exactly what he's talking about. Exactly. And that that is, and it's as the listener, right? The reason why I'm, I'm always a fan of that kind of shit is because as the listener... You know, you bring us back to those 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 exact moments, and you know, for the people outside, they probably hear it as something different. I think that's that's the sort of you know balance that we always need to figure out. How far do we go where it's like too far, where someone literally completely outside does not understand? Right? Not everybody watches anime, so if you do an anime themed one, um, you know, literally nobody <laughs> none of the characters well, I, and stuff like it, that it, unless you can figure like out the it, way to like explain what they do in detail but then you know what i'm saying like it's it's a it's yeah a no dope. you you're on point like i i think that the thing with anime well anime specifically when it comes to a uh you know a hip-hop song is that you have to pick an anime that is universally accepted 
You know what I'm saying? Like for me, I'm 35 years old, so I'm gonna be like Fist of the North Star, Ninja Scroll. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying? But for the next person, it might be like my Academy, whatever the fuck, or Black Clover. You know what I'm saying? Like things are gonna be totally different per genre or per generation. But if you want to fit into that thing. All you have to do is become an anime character and attach it to a song. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, people will vibe with you if you can fit yourself into the situation. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that's all. But I feel like, he, but that's and, the um, other thing is that they might feel like again that that line between what's corny, what's dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? And that line thin. Once you fi- once you figure that out, like you you got it and shit. You know, because like saying? in your comments, uh, Marco the Prophet said, "I want to do a Walking Dead theme track. Yeah, I want to hear a Walking Dead theme track. Exactly. I want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I stopped watching it after Glenn got his brains beat out. But anything up to that, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready My to hear it. Gosh, you know what I'm saying? Man, what? Listen, why? <laughs> why? Hey, bro. They lost Go Glenn back. Lost me, bro. Go back. Listen to me right now, right? <laughs> you are supposed to watch the show in the same way as if you are a survivor of all those situations. You keep going for the people you freaking lost. You don't just not care about them and leave the leave the group when one of you know your your favorite little, people died. I was a little stricken though, bro. Because like I, I get it though. Glenn so bad. You know, he was just like the most peaceful. Uh, you know, like truth sayer and uh, problem solver. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like he just had a solution for every problem, and, and he's been in every episode since episode two. And then exactly. they just killed him in such a least build up way. No, well, okay. Like, so wow. had you had you read the the novels? You know what I'm saying? No, I haven't. So it happened in the freaking novels and, and shit like that. That's okay. So if it had to happen, ex- I did. Exactly right. And look, so, I'm not that big of a hater. In in about three years, once the show is done and there's no more spinoffs, I'm gonna go back and watch them all. So, but I'll say this, right? There are some situations that they did differently in the in the comics, basically that that they did not do in the show. You know what I'm saying? Like they they might have killed other characters instead of other ones. Like Carl, actually, you know what I'm saying? Something happens. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot sooner. Um, you know, in the freaking thing. See, I'm I'm realizing you haven't even gotten that far freaking yet. But something let me let me see. Let me see where I where I can freaking go. Um yeah, some some people survive, you know, encounters that they, you know, shouldn't have. Other characters will, will do different things. And um, you know, sort of going through that, trying to see like um, you know, what everybody is going to, you know, end up in at certain characters like, you know, the uh I mean, like, okay, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it like this. The the best I can freaking say is, you hate, you hate, um, uh, all of, all of a sudden, uh, Negan. You hate Negan after that moment, right? Where with the whole freaking great situation, first, yeah. and then eventually, you grow to respect him because they give you that time with him to to have a redemption story and shit like that. And, that and they do that a with lot, a lot with a lot of people. You can actually where, reverse a character's uh, you, you know, know perspective in your mind. And they do it. They do that very well on Cobra Kai as well, where they sort of like maybe one character is bullied, you know, through one whole season, and then the next season they are the person who bullies, you know, another person. And yes, all of a uh, my man's with the mohawk. I exactly, felt like exactly, per- perfect example, man. Yeah, I no, love. Like, Kid by I love two. to see that transition and the confidence that was able to, you know, send emit and how they're yeah, able the to first season. Those. I was like, dude, this kid is like, that's me when I was younger. Then I was like, oh, fuck this kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, before we uh, get into your free line or, you know, the paid line, can I ask your um your honest opinion on like the, the announcement for the new female Silver Surfer? Like, even though it's supposed to be Shala Ball. All right. So. Once again, the thing that I love uh, about the comics is, you know, if it's in the comics first, I'm never going to have a problem with it on, you know, on screen or whatnot. Uh, but and so my, my there problem is, is the advertisement. I'll like, say like, this. Shala they, Ball is a real character and she was in four episodes of Fantastic Four or four, four uh, issues of Fantastic Four. But the way that they're they're marketing it is female Silver Surfer. Listen. 
if you know if you know the comics, then you know that her story is still directly tied to the male Silver Surfer. Uh, and if they are yeah, going she to if, Nova eventually, don't if they, if they're going to pull from if they're going to pull from you know the whole multiverse aspect, there are elements where literally her. And the male Silver, Silver Server come from two different multiverse, you know, realities or whatnot. And that would and, be dope. And, and, are, would be and cool. are like twin heralds to, you know, Galactus or whatnot. So and, they'll and both be... I would be, fuck with that heavy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the marketing behind it where they're like female Silver Surfer instead of like announcing the character that it was based off of, you know? I mean, people know... If, Marvel is smart, and I think that they operate with the aspect that most of the Marvel fans, like, they know the comics. They know that uh, that there's all these different, you know what I'm saying, versions of, of characters, and that there is a male one. Um, you know, I well, do think my, that my it is... My with Marvel has always been right after uh, uh, Thanos beat the shit out of the Incredible Hulk. Because in the comic books... All that did is piss him off and make him a better warrior. But in the in the Avengers, what was that? The not not Endgame what was the one after that. Uh, no, it was Endgame. But like the way Thanos beat the shit out of him, and then for the rest of the movie he didn't want to come out. That's not how it went. Mm. That's but not how I remember it. There's there are things that you don't like. There there's, there are these times where they'll do literally one to one like panels from the comic situations, and then they they will like dive off completely to throw up, throw you off. And you know, it really depends on like how you feel about each of those well, situations. Because again, we didn't in the comics and even like the cartoons, Hank Pym creates Ultron, but we didn't get Ant Man. Before yeah, Ultron came out, yeah. so we, they, you know what I'm saying? But they were like, you know what? This is where we want to go. This is the villain we want to use. So we're gonna, and if Edgar Wright, who was supposed to do Ant Man at first, if he couldn't get the thing, you know, done in time, you know, that's pretty much why we didn't have, you know, Ant Man in that sort of like at least the second Avengers. And I felt well, like that would have. I feel like they missed a great opportunity to do a Planet Hulk. Yeah. Uh, right after Ragnarok. There was a scene where they almost hinted at it when the the dog's blood dropped into the water and yeah. they showed some shit growing. I'm like, oh, shit, the next movie is going to be Planet Hulk. And then they didn't do it. Well, they're, whole, they're in that whole rights issue with. Uh... Yeah, I can get it. But it's like, yeah. um, like, uh, how do you feel about Smart Hulk? <laughs> Are you one of the ones who don't like who don't like Smart Hulk? I, you need, you need not, Savage right, Hulk? I, I think here's what... that in the comic book that it was relevant for a certain time, but I feel like they didn't give us enough time with the unintelligent Incredible Hulk. I'll tell you this, right? All they have to do, all they have to do, man. And I honestly thought they were going to do it in like, you know, Infinity War or, or something like that, you know, as opposed to like not having him come out like there was there was supposed to be a moment where like Loki had pushed Bruce Banner out of Hulk's body and had Hulk be its own entity or whatnot that they then had to deal with because he was Savage Hulk. Now Bruce Banner is like outside of that, he can't turn into Hulk anymore. And I feel like they need to sort of like go that route. Let Bruce be Bruce. Uh, let the Hulk sort of, you know, be Hulk. And then they can actually play with that sort of Savage Hulk sort of like um, uh, well, like the, the 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 planet the no the World War Hulk, Hulk freaking story right essentially like something happens his wife and kid you know what I'm saying uh, uh, dies and he gets mad because it's Chip that the Avengers sent him to you know the uh, the planet you know Sakaron and uh, he blames them so he goes back to Earth with the army and everything and then sort of like you know goes Frank and Ham all they have to do is something like that you know what I'm saying where hey uh, you know what I mean. Um, uh, another thing though, um, how would you feel if, all right, because like when the Thor versus uh, the Hulk scene came out, I was like, that is how it's done. And then when you go back to the very first Avengers movie, when they did the, here's how, here's the character's strong point, and here's how the next character can best them. You know what I'm saying? Like when you show, uh, you know, Thor's hammer, badass motherfucking hammer. But then the next scene you show his fight scene with Captain America in his shield ain't fucking playing no games. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you just kept on upping the ante until you got like Incredible Hulk can't lift the hammer. And, and, you, and they stopped kind of like introducing like the dope part of the powers. All right, now uh... here's, my, here's my question to you. 
how long do you think at the current state that we are in the Marvel Universe that we'll be able to introduce Maestro? Mm, how far along? Like, could we even do it? Can can Maestro still be a thing? I think I think he can. Um, you know, like honestly, we've we're still taking from a lot of the. We still haven't gotten the Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider, um, uh, uh, you know, the Beyonders and and freaking shit like that. The you know, all of the cosmic sort of freaking characters and blade you know coming back like there's so many aspects x-men for pete's sakes man we are literally you know just waiting for all of these other shoes to freaking you know redrop in and be reintroduced into the how come they haven't done a major role with juggernaut yet because in deadpool, deadpool that was they, probably they my were. favorite part of the movie was when they were interacting with the juggernaut I do think there. I'm hoping there's an, uh, you know, a cameo or Easter egg in uh, Deadpool and uh, Wolverine. Um, the other one though, the one that was in, I think X3, maybe it was. He said he, you know, didn't want to come back because I guess he didn't want to jump into the costuming and stuff like that. Honestly, like he would. He was I, but he, I never, like, the one in Deadpool was one to one, you know what I'm saying, for me. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, the one dude. that I want to see. And I saw that in theaters, and that was like, uh, you know, in Detroit, and you know, if you guys are from elsewhere, you may know something about this, but when you go to the movie theaters, depending on what movie you watch, the crowd is going to judge how that movie goes. You know what I'm saying? You go to see a good horror movie, there's three people in there. You go yeah. to see Deadpool, the place is packed, brimmed. You know what I'm saying? So my first time seeing Deadpool 1, it was, you know, like when I waited for it to come on DVD or whatever. But it was so good, I was like, fuck this, I'm going to see the next one in theaters. Yep. And, um, you know, just from where I'm specifically at in the hood, we went to Fairlane Mall. And listen, bro, you couldn't hear the fucking movie. People were laughing so fucking hard and talking about what they just saw. And at first, I was a little irritated before I, like, got home and rewatched the movie. And I'm like, that shit was that fucking funny. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, it was that good. And then, you know, when you get down to, like... Uh, like the action sequences and shit like that when you try to look for flaws you can't find them they just did so fucking good with that shit yeah um and honestly he's one of my favorite freaking characters and shit like that I've always liked oh, the yeah, wacky Deadpool breaking the fourth wall same thing with She-Hulk the I've wacky the wackiness like that's I always you know identify with all those freaking characters in any kind of situation so like who I never thought Maximum Effort was funny until the movie came out <laughs> Right, right, but it's gonna be it's gonna be freaking dope. Listen, we will continue this conversation and in, in, you know moments. Let's go ahead and do your uh, your second song. We still have that. Then we want to get back into the uh, the free line for others who are waiting. waiting. I appreciate. I appreciate it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Hold, on. Hold on, hold on. I'm hearing the feedback <laughs> from um, your thing real quick. Oh, my bad. Also, tell white wifey. You know what I'm saying? I said, "What's up?" I saw her in the background a little while ago. Oh, Bandit, you said, "What's up?" Hello. Howdy. Hold on. Let's go ahead and play your sociopath uh, featuring Young Buck, right? Sure. Let me get back in it. Skirt. It's Dirty B. Do some mathematics at him. Add up some limbs when I'm taking them. I'm at it again. Hit the streets when they hear the beat drop. It's hallelujah. Got a shooter with me here to conquer like a tyrant ruler. Me and Buck, heat him up to the speakers bust. People just watch how we move. We gon' keep the snuff and tee the sus. When I'm coming, bring the whole game. Dope main, building a snowman out of cocaine. Time to step and say goodbye. You call the ride to heaven. It's bloodshed for my enemies. Check what side you reppin'. Slide the tech in my jacket. It's time to crack the weapon. If you fucking with the squad, that's a 4511. More thugs than they wait. You can't ignore us. Body rappers for a warm up. Come get your corpse slump. I flex verbals with legends and kill a vet circle. Plus, I guarantee death. Dirty don't attempt murders. Yeah. What's the motherfucking name? Y'all are a joke. True sociopaths on the beat. 
check it out. Ah. None of y'all are MCs and lyricists. Fuck around and death will have a near me experience. Every now and then I leave a witness for who I bury. When the cops come, they stay silent like a library. Mine's scary when I spit, they following me. I lock it down and make a bitch come swallow the key. Me a young buck, it's hard to tell which one's worse. Fuck yours, you getting cut like a cuss word. I'm making profit in Detroit, we got the block moving. My music will make you question whether I'm not human. We top two when it's a war, nobody stop shooting. Hip hop news. Give me a booth to knock loose Then make it so the game can't even function In the streets, you say my name Your brain to get crushed And me and Buck go together like bass and percussion Quick to leave you in the box Like you came with destructions Roll up, niggas These niggas can never get rid of me It's Buck You know real niggas don't die Gangsters make the world go round, motherfucker Pick the Harley up on one wheel Told minutes I'm pulling up in Compton It's a done what deal up, Cookie jars keep my lungs filled Bitches buck shots Pray to God that no one's killed Bought the neighborhoods and gangsters out A country nigga did it, there's something to think about Still scraping the ground and low lows on these broke hoes I got rich off the shit you put in your nose Chop on me when I'm sliding down Melrose Watch for the hellos, everybody don't sell old Khaki shorts and some long socks Stroll down Figaro, getting a bankroll from a known thought I don't need yours, I brought my own Glock These pussy play with my name like I'm gon' stop I only stayed in this game cause there's no pop And I'm not finished popping up a few ops One of my proudest moments ever I don't give a fuck how many people have a for that You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I gotta check Young fuck, bro Yeah And I freaking say, man you actually, uh, uh, you know, went one to freaking one or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? There are many situations where, you know, the sort of the the bigger artist often, you know, kills the sort of new artist that nobody knows at the freaking time kind of situation. But I feel like uh, people were to, you know, hear this, you know, it 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 definitely uh, be freaking dope or whatnot. Again, because your mixes still on point. And again, you have that that bar for bar freaking style that uh, you know I think resonates with uh, you know what I'm saying freaking everyone. So big freaking salute to that production, of course, freaking on point, um, and uh, full freaking song uh, uh, structure. On also also something sort of like different or whatnot, man. You went in there, took a whole you know like two verses and, and shit like that. You took took a two, took a two verse and then got him on the the freaking third and shit like well, that. It, it, in in my defense, it took about four and a half hours to write those two verses. <laughs> did you did you contemplate whether you should sort of you know put them in the middle and then come after or? No, actually, when I bought the feature, uh, he was on the first verse, and mm. I was like, no, nah. you know, because I I have bought features in the in the past that were famous, and they were on the first verse, and I was like, if a person came here only to hear them, they'll never hear me. So I made a decision to put two hard ass verses in front of Young Buck. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like, like for instance, if uh, if I were to reach out to Chris Calico again, another uh, hook from him, the hook's going first. You know what I'm saying? That's all there is to it. I want to set the fucking vibes with the hook. But yeah. when it comes to somebody like Young Buck or like I actually got a, and by the way, you're you're hearing it here first, uh, uh exclusive feature with Yuck Mouth coming soon. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Yuck Mouth. I fuck with Lunas. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the verse that uh, I plan on writing it hasn't even manifested yet, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been listening to this beat and his return feature for about a month now. And I've got, like, I got the tools, but I ain't got the fucking schematics, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know what I want to say, but I don't know how I want to say it. Yeah. Okay. Well... And, and, and every by the way, uh, anybody out there that's listening to this, bro, if, if you fuck with your, your dorky, bro, holler at me. I will give you a free feature, no problem. Hit him up, man. You know what I'm saying? He don't he don't play freaking dirty beats. Pretty freaking humble with you know just what he what he can do, who you'll freaking work with, and you know I'll work again, with anybody. I'll rap on any beat. And I will give it my 100%. Even if it's something that I don't necessarily feel super confident in, I'm going to still try to envision what a Dirty Beat feature would sound like on that track, and I'm going to try to perform. Uh, do you prefer 
Um, to produce the track, uh, do you prefer open verse straight up? Do you prefer people send no, you actually. the beat first and then you sort of like start it off and then they follow if, you? If it came to preference only, I love producing my own shit because I know what I like, but I actually write better when somebody else produces the beat and it's my vibes, if that makes sense. Um, you know what I'm have, saying? If somebody makes something that if you if you were to type in a dirty beat type beat, and their beat type pops up, like I'm gonna kill that shit harder than I would a beat I made. I feel like the way to get out of that is to make the beats and take breaks and before you end up getting on it or something. Or you gotta or you gotta do it, you know, with no, that I'm first not. Not that first freaking time or whatnot. Because I had, again, Locust, all right? Locust, which was on, you know, Zombies, uh, you know, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one part. right there, all right? I had that beat for about five years before I finally hopped on it. The first time I made it, I always thought it was freaking dope. But when I finally got on it, I, you know, freshened it up a little bit, did some extra freaking things. And then the ideas finally started coming to me but i had to wait Dorky, a little I bit play with you because I, I got some i got some shit in the archive that would make big puns nipples hard right? <laughs> i'm just know. saying bro i got some shit that hasn't been released yet that i'm waiting for the right moment in the right momentum you know what i'm saying that like would make your your hip-hop heads replay it over and over again you know what i'm saying because like the reason that I like certain artists is their like development, their impact, the way they hit a bar, you know, economy of words. Like like for instance, Eminem, Hobson, people that don't have to tell you eight bars to describe two bars worth of material. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they can just hit you with something that's so extravagant that you have to sit down and think about it. I want every one of my bars to be like that, but I know it's not realistic. You know what I'm saying? So when I sit down with the beat, uh, I, I really try to match those vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I first fucking cracked open my first Hobson track, which was um, Sag My Pants. And somebody uh, put me on to Sag My Pants. I'm like, how the fuck have I never heard this before? Yeah. Like, this is the dopest thing I've ever heard as a new artist I've never heard before. And since then, you know, I've got the Joyner Lucases and J. Coles, but Hobson oh was God. like like discovering a Charizard first edition in your pack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what the fuck was this? How come I haven't heard this? Joyner Lucas, like though, also, man, though, like, with that, the uh, Ross Caprioni or whatever that shit was, man, like, that, that was, like, that was, like, finally hearing somebody release something, you know, good enough to, to compete with, like, Nas's Rewind, you know what I'm saying, again, like, the creative, Dude, the creativity. What compete with that? What the fuck? So... <laughs> It's so Joyner Lucas. It was the first song that I think a lot of people had might have heard. It was he has a whole video for it. Basically, he he basically raps from the point of view of two oh, yes. different dudes, yes, right? That's the first time I heard him, right? And so that and I, was, I fell in love from. Oh then my up. gosh, man! Like that shit. That was you know he he and then he did the one where he was like he rapped everything <laughs> like sort of front words and then in reverse yeah. or some shit. You yeah, know and and like, he he brought back that creativity because, again. Like in all realisticness, I don't think I agreed with one hundred percent of Joyner Lucas's track that you're referencing. But by the time I heard it the first time, I had to go back like nine other times to like just hear all the nuances. And dude, I fell in love with him after maybe the second listen. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this is so well written because I, I consume a lot of books, a lot of books. I consume at least a book a week, and um. There's very few artists that strike me like an author. In J. Cole, Joyner Lucas, Eminem, Hobson, Tech Nine, you know what I'm saying? Like they are that. They are hip hop's authors. You know what I'm saying? And when I hear something like that, like I'm kind of disappointed that Matt, that uh fucking uh Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole are going at it right now because they are the best right now we have. Yes, sir. And hearing them at odds makes me sad. I mean, you know, it could be one of those uh, publicity stunt kind of situations, just like when Kanye and Drake were, you know, going at it or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, they sort of, like, reconciled freaking things, and I feel like it'll be the same. I feel like I this I feel like this can only end with a secret J. Cole Kendrick album that, you know, they, yeah. you know what I mean? And so yeah. just just wait for it, you know, if the fans will, you know, let let them know how they feel and, and well, stuff like that. I don't like think that. either one of them crossed the line of no return yet. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this was Busta Rhymes or Eminem, Bridges would have been burnt. You know what I'm saying? Like, the first song ends the possibility. Of... Also, Praise One was asking if you were signed. Oh, no, I'm not signed. Uh, totally independent. Uh, I'm part of a group, and uh, whatever I do consults with my group. But as a, as a solo artist, I am not. But the the things that I, I I give a shit about is if you actually give a fuck about your music. So if you send me something and maybe it's... Maybe it what? Sent to it, I'm going to give my 100% to it. Sorry, you had, you had to cut out for a second there. Uh, but I think oh people, yeah, no, my bad, my bad. I think people get uh, you know what I'm saying the gist of what you were figuring saying. Also, it was yeah, is your IG uh, dirty B like yes, dirty B three one three. Just it's dirty B two R's, uh, and then you said I think three you put it. Oh yeah, you put it. In, he put it in the chat. Never mind. Yep, yep. Um, all right, so uh, give me a freaking moment because we have a few skips we got to take care of. I wanted let's, to because Praise One had been waiting for a cool, <laughs> and then we jumped into all this Marvel shit and stuff like that, man. I got so I want to, I want to make sure I'm upgrading. I'm upgrading you to the to uh, Insta as well, and then we got Ronnie uh, with one right after freaking that and shit like that. So we'll, you know, we got honestly this is a great episode, man, because we have so much good music. Um, Honestly, just continues to incite conversation, and uh, you know, as he said, man, if you want to work with him, all you gotta do is care about your damn music. Don't bullshit y- yourself. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, hold on, where is? Why did it do? This is so done with whatever praise one. Hold hey, on. look, this is uh, this is my religion. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, just like any other Christian, you know what I'm saying? Like if you follow in the art of hip hop, bro, I'm trying to like follow your journey with you. I'm trying to see how I can make your journey a little better. I'm trying to. And also uh, as a humble person, uh, I I do understand that I'm a a talented artist. But as a humble person, I don't understand why people pay people that are half my talent for, you know, $150 a verse. Fuck that. Free verses, free features for life. Even if I'm famous, it's just going to take longer for me to get the verses done. You know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be more requests. Hey, free is free. <laughs> free is and free. But here, but see, and again, we always sort of have that back and forth sort of like conversation with that, right? I am still of the belief that like, look, if you're like, you know, every everyone's situation is going to be different. Sometimes you're like on the up and up and like you're literally on, you might be on a, a talk show on national television next week or some shit like that so your net worth and stuff like that will go up depending on how you want to freaking work then it's always uh the freaking uh, uh cool but at the end of the day right we want people to take what we do seriously this is both our hobby our job our love our dream you know what i'm saying our everything and if I am asking you to ha- to hop on something to take away time from making your own shit uh, to to drive to another studio potentially, right? In your case, like you can record your own freaking shit, but in other people's cases, they do. They have to take the bus. They have to drive to a studio. They have to. Uh, yeah, you should facilitate you know? that artist. And so it's like it's it's just making is. sure really it's giving the them the incentive to hurry to hurry and not take their freaking time to yes give your all on the That's freaking record well. to you know uh uh you know just to feel appreciated as an artist and stuff like that um uh but there is i think always a a sort of right uh a formula to sort of like make that stuff happen or whatnot you know well what I'm i, I kind of before we before we uh end end this specific discussion i just want to add one thing the reason that I write features for free and I do my best is like imagine Dorky, who's your top what's your fifth favorite rapper? Damn, fifth favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Well, like who's line. down the line but one of your favorite rappers? <sighs> okay, so it go it often goes like Eminem Redman, Ludacris, Hobson, uh, Lil Dicky, right, right there, right Rest there. Rest of Lil five Dick- nine. <laughs> no, but like, see, it is not even in any specific order because, like, Rest of yeah, five yeah, nine, no, definitely. I know, but, 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 yeah, you know I mean? like, like, Sean Lil P Dickie is extremely famous. 
Can't stop. I can't stop. Busta Rhymes. Ooh. Yeah, but but Lil Dicky is extremely famous, but also accessible. And imagine if he just sent you a sent you a message like, I, I fuck with your review. I want to do something with you. You'd be like extremely happy, and you write a dope ass verse, right? You like it's just like set up like that. Well, I want the same vibes for myself. Like if somebody ever hears me and they're like, that's a dope artist. I want him on a track. I want to impress you, not do better than you. I I want to impress you. I want to act like a paid feature. You know what I'm saying? I want to give you a free feature that is worth $1,500. The Pledge, Tech 9 hey. Oh, yeah, I'm man. just saying, bro, all hell. <laughs> hey, keep that same energy. <laughs> keep that same energy as you as you go through, man. You know what I'm saying? And like that, I, I want to see just like, um, you know, like I, I hope that that... Oh my gosh, what the fuck is happening? What is, hold on, hold on, what is... I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Hey, let's see what the hell is people over there inserting though. I'm trying to hear these vibes, dog. What is doing that right now? Yo, yeah, shit said, fuck you, dog, you too famous. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me, um, let me put this Insta. And that's true. Sorry, did you say you were bumping Atari? That's a game system, hey, listen, are we? Gonna play all these games at the party. While the people are drinking Bacardi. See the look on my face, I'm retarded. Man, I'm dumb and will say shit regardless. What you think I will pee on your garden? I'm a dork and I hope you ain't fucking offended. Man, I've been a rapper since I was pretending that I was a rapper. But I was just kidding. But actually, after that, man, I was spitting shit, really. This isn't nonsense if it isn't silly. Man, what the dilly with chili from TLC? Man, I'll clean my whole ass with a seashell. Debo, don't punch her. You know that's a female. All right. So praise one on my own. Then we got Ronnie. Coming up right after freaking that. I'm gonna read this in here. Like snort. I'm on my own now. Every time I fall down, feel like a ghost town. Open up my heart now. Watch as it pours out. Travel this long route. Cold is a rose now. I'm on my own now. As of recently, my boy James passed away. I wish there was a chance to say goodbye before he had his day. More homage I have to pay. I captured this pain to the half of the break. No one's laughing today as I crafted a pain. Got infected from this neighborhood. Wish there was a way to save you. Maybe could have stayed for good. But I'm praying you're an angel. Dedication in this book. Watch above me. Ain't no way I'm sure. Careful how I live my life or grow and get older. I chose to be sober. This road, it gets colder. Won't fall from these boulders. Carry all on my shoulders. Watch who's your choice of friends. Cause of what he did, I'll never see my boy again. I'm on my own. Now, every time I fall down, feel like a ghost town. Open up my heart now, watch as it pours out. Travel this long route, cold is a rose now. I'm on my own now. The problem is alone for respect. It try to fill the void of my own neglect. I think I die for love, but put my soul to rest. I try to seek the validation through people that would love to see me assassinated. To think they wouldn't love me, it's hard to be captivated. Imagine I made it with all the cash it was banking All the hands that were taking More than half of the changing All them bastards be faking They were stabbing in places And my back they were shanking They had the chance to make it Take advantage and brace it And the grass that snakes in Traps and placements I have to I escape it And make my way out Cause I'm chained down I'm on my own now Every time I fall down Feel like a ghost town Open up my heart now Watch as it pours out Travel this this long route, cold is a rose now. I'm on my own now. Every day I seek the attention, I hate the fact I'm being rejected. Been at this my whole life. No success in album and no wife. Barely got anyone riding behind me. All I see is memories lying beside me. So my past died from the fire beside me. And means that I changed that time is arriving. Been through enough, lived through the mud, ink with blood, written to drugs, too diff in the bluff. Never had beef in, never did street. Shit, never had to squeeze clips. What I seen is what I seen. Race against the clock. This time I'll beat it. I'm on my own now. Every time I fall down, feel like a ghost town. Open up my heart now. Watch as it pours out. Travel this long route. Cold is a rose now. I'm on my own now. 
you know what this needed? In the second hook, it needed a female vocal to so add as a second layer. The first uh, time around, it would have been dope, just him. You know what I'm saying? But the second time around, just a duet. I see that. Do you think an actual, like, female, like, pop singer kind of thing? I mean, we could have got a I feel like it would have been a more effective track if he could have possibly found a female to back it up. Alright, well, let me get my freaking things freaking off. First and foremost, man, uh, performance was, you know what I'm saying, proper. I appreciate, uh, you know, the conviction on here, actually, yeah. this is going in. This is a Life Music record. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, slightly different but yet, you know, very similar freaking genre would not. For those who do not know, life music records are just like that pain, that struggle music when you, you know, are almost obligated to talk about the shit you went through. When you have that type of production, there's no other way. I can't get on there and do some nonsense, you know, dumb shit and have fun like that. Uh, it has to be, you know, that like, nah, like I have to get on that same freaking tip. Um, and he did that. My only criticism was you know sort of you know there were a few parts where you might have you know got the timing a little bit wrong you went a little bit faster than the sort of like beat when the drums you know went out and different things like that so just perfect those parts if you're not able to freaking you know what i'm saying hear that always get that second opinion um and uh you know we can sort of like help you you know and sh show you where that's at i li i like literally have an internal sort of like metronome so i'm always able to freaking hear when that that sort of happens and in most cases it's always in the same exact places for most it's when the drums leave the sample is still there or the the the, the melody or whatever's happening but as soon as that happens a lot of you guys lose your like your, your Easy place. fix. All you have to do is keep that metronome running. Yep. Keep the metronome running or, you know, at the very least, as an engineer, you know, we can easily sort of, you know, drag and drop. Yeah, you, you, can know, chop move, it. you can chop it up. You know, move it over, right? You know, one of the most irritating things as an engineer, which is a thing that I did not find in this track, is that when a person does overdub a majority of it, like, usually it's it's off in a lot of places you maybe have oh, a, yeah in between 100 and 200 fixes to make it right oh my gosh man I like mean, i've that... been there and look you know knight you fuck with knight yeah i love knight knight's my brother man i ain't got no shit to talk about him but every track he sends i have to spend an hour on fixing his dubs so you know does saying? he like, so he dude. basically does the you know dubs he on almost everything fight. right and so and what that creates is because certain artists, they may not get every word on, you know, again, on beat completely. So you have to mix and match and stuff like that. For us, it's kind of, it's fun because it's like a puzzle where we get to yeah, go close sure. in and like, you know, move everything and just get it accordingly. Like it, it's fun going through it, but also a little bit tedious. And, you know, that's why I usually recommend like in, ins and outs, you know, over anything. Uh, and there's few, a few songs like, you know, Night has honestly... You know the mixes are always freaking good so i'm never really in a complaint or like oh man i wish you wouldn't d dub all your vocals cinematic also um adds a lot of layers to his stuff but i feel like his style works with it his his whole thing yeah, is yes, sort of indeed. like creating like an anthem situation but yeah i, I like think, this one I right think, here Crazy yeah this one. this was a this was a solid 8.2 out of 10 you know what i'm saying uh i think the one thing that a lot of artists especially in this song is an example miss is the opportunity to redo it later. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is a good song, and from this artist, he should have sat there and listened to this in his car for a week and then re-hit his studio or if he records at home and just gave it the nuance that it needs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've listened to this so much that now you know the lyrics, you don't need to read the paper anymore. How do you really feel? Let me mm -hmm. hear that shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. And that would have been the perfect recording, but... <laughs> All in all, that's still an 8.2, 8.3. That's still a solid track. I wish up. I agree 100%, man. What do you think about uh, once everything is freaking said and done? You know, video, radio, uh, animated, lyric video at all? Uh, is radio. It a, just a straight album record? Like, no, that's what? radio. All right. Uh, video, uh, video, I'm not sure about, but radio would lead me to want to see them in show. Okay. 
that is pretty cool. Let me read off some of the freaking chats about that. Kino gave it a freaking 10. Ronnie said, I like the storytelling poetry. Dope shit, man. 8.9 out of freaking 10. Brazy Luca, still in the freaking building. Appreciate you, Miliki. Uh, said freaking dope. Fire emoji. Uh, Praise one said, I would only. Oh, you were talking about that whole. I used to, he said I would only pay uh, uh, as someone that, if they had a fan base, if they had, you know, those numbers, you know what I'm saying, are dope enough. Uh, and it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? I'll drop that through. But see, here's the other thing, right? Just to get to, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dra drag this conversation on freaking long because I we have another skip from Ronnie that we got to take care of right now as well. Um, but the other shoe that basically drops, right? Because you could sort of get into some of these situations where the producers are offering the sort of you know production that comes with the industry feature situation, right? Um, in most cases, that artist, if if they don't know you or the fact that they're on the song, it almost becomes a little bit of a, you know, like, again, even though they're a bigger, because you said you only, they, like, they have the number, right? So you pay for, like, a Crazy Bone feature or some shit like that, right? Um, in that case, uh, I'll be paying for the feature, not you the know, number. It, like what what i always tend to freaking suggest at least for, for the producers that offer these situations i'm like look i like the fact that you guys are offering you know the the ability because we've always wanted you know the bigger features and shit yeah like no that, you're right? speaking facts that's but the they, reason that i've ever paid into those but 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 they need an extra price even if it has to be an extra price i don't care but we need a price so that we can get a, like a Skype meeting or some shit with them. Let's act after we do our verse and shit like that. We, we want to let them yeah, hear the song they, just to see their reaction, to, to see like, yes. if, you know what I mean? Like I we need that, that. that. We need that situation so that way they they know what the freaking sure. artists have done to it. So that way, if they are asked in an interview, they know the song exists. They know who the what the artists who they're talking about and shit like that. You know, the last thing you want is for them to be asked, you know what I'm saying, what the you know, how'd you do that song with so and so or whatnot? And then they, you know, either mention, Oh yeah, I did this verse for, you know, Wooty Doop and then he threw it to like indie artists or whatnot. You wanna you want it to be more of a like, no, like if you could go to the freaking studio together, you know what I'm saying? That might not be the freaking case or whatnot, but at the very least, as long as they know the song exists, that's a little bit freaking better. And then the other side is you don't want to be able to you, you don't want to have to tell people like a lie, like you were in the studio when you weren't. Or, yeah, yeah. But look, you Praise know. One has a Praise One has a very good point. He said exactly. those features that those producers are flipping, they scam you because flipping leases on beats. The next thing you know, 12 exactly. other rappers have the same verse exactly. or have the same track. But same all right, feature, right? here's my argument to that. Because I, that's almost the counter argument to why I purchased my first well-known feature from a producer, is because I don't give a fuck how a hundred thousand people bought this. I'm gonna be better than all one nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. I can feel that. And, and that's how you have to approach any track you do. By the way, it's it's awesome to be humble, but nobody's paying for humble. You know what I'm saying? Like. When you drop a feature on somebody's album, it needs to sound like a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? So if I if I'm gonna cop a feature and I might have to come out of my pocket, whether you're famous or not, if I ain't feeling that verse, fuck you. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't feeling I that verse. I tell people all the time, like free or freaking not, if if you're getting your homies on a record with you never hesitate to freaking tell them to go back in and rewrite or re-record or, or do their, their freaking shit because at the end of the day if it's not good enough people aren't going to listen to the full song and like it's not going to be a classic as much as it could right when you think about um you know forever with eminem kanye drake and wayne all of them came off did their freaking thing all in their different ways they made that a classic for what they did you think yeah, about four three two tone. one with like um you know, uh, uh, cannabis, LL, Method Man. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and different different things like that. Like those those <laughs> records become classics because every artist does their job. If anybody drops the ball, it's it's like you know done for. You don't want to be the weakest link or the people, the person that people skip past, and uh, you know stuff like that. But uh, a third aspect I think of the the paid features thing that I think a lot of people miss. Mm. is like you said in the very beginning but also like a deeper meaning 
the ability to say that you have a track with. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're a straight up psychopath piece of shit, you could be like, yeah, I was in the studio with him. Yeah, I sent them like nine thousand dollars. Yeah, but or you could just be like, yeah, uh, I saw this shit was available. It's my favorite artist, and I decided I'm gonna fuck that track up. There's you know also That's the you know like you want to be a, like I just feel like they they can work a lot smarter with what they're trying to freaking they, do they right give could. give the prices to allow us to you know talk to the artists have a little bit of a, a Skype meet and greet or something like that let them hear the freaking song at the end of the day and then on top of that like if there's an extra price also to have them tweet out the song or some shit it means nothing if they can't ag acknowledge that it exists right so that's all I'm freaking hey. saying. Like, you know, it, it, I can say I have a song with M all I want. Does M know it exists? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, will yeah, will M talk about it if people years. ask him and shit like that? Or will he be like, no, I don't know who you're talking about and shit like, like you that? Know, it, it, there's only been one scenario where I got to hear direct feedback, and that was from Afro Man. Uh, nice, I, I got nice. to produce a track with him at night, and mm -hmm. his feedback made, kept me going for like two years. Nice. Uh, his feedback was super simple. It was only a sentence, but he was like, Whoever your producer and engineer is, stick with him. And that's what he told Knight. And that's you, brother. And that's me, bro. And that's I was just you, like, brother. Fuck, what? Hold up. Not by my name, but by my product. Afro Man knows who the fuck I am. You know what I'm nah. saying? That just made me feel like, I was like, okay, anything I do from here on in, as long as I follow the rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all good. All right, let's freaking get to it. We got uh, Ronnie freaking coming up right now. I am crazy in the rain, like trying to change a baby in the rain. And zombies aren't afraid to feel the pain. Your brain will disappear like David Blaine. Oof. Barely had no time to play no games. I just want to rhyme and stay away from lanes. I be writing every day, making beats like I am Dr. Dre. Yeah. Even though I should be locked away, I'm not, man. I should get down and pray. I just want to fly and run away. Try a gun and buy another cake. I'm about, about to, to drop, drop another, another tape. Eat lots of butter. Stop your mother's rape. Uh, let me freaking see. I'm another yeah. popular disgrace with tatted chick with eyes with tatted face. I'm a. I'm a what? What are you what talking are you about? Doing, 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 doing. All right, we got right now Ronnie with freaking the dark side. Rate this in the chat. I feel like you'd like this one, Dirty B. I feel like you, you, well you'd probably be on this one with him. They will be in their mess. What's up? Straight out suburbia, about to murder you verbally Leaving the earth deserted, inverted, and turning vertically Sure to be serving herds of these nerds, and I heard them certainly Currently, I'm suburb when these verses are worded perfectly You motherfuckers, you suckers should take cover I make your brain numb as cocaine and paint hovers The range fucker, happily making you blame suffer But drain main veins if you claim you blame's tougher Look at these rappers, I'm harming, this shit's a gnarly brawl You hard as Barney and heartily far from Barbie dolls I leave you shrimp on the Barbie until it's Mardi Gras And then I slip your bitch some Bacardi until she hard they cross. I got a picnic missing a couple sandwiches. They let me out the padded room. Now I'm causing the damages. So call the ambulance cause you might be needing some bandages. I'm band damn. Shooting your clan and your clan vanishes. You know you'd be on this shit, bro. You I can hear your bars already. The power of the dark side. You couldn't flip verses turning through Bible pages. I get lit, spit curses, burning my rival's faces. You dip shit, sick, vermin, encourage primal rages. So I rearrange your face with a razor and rifle gauges. You ain't on top, cause I jot hot as a cattle brand. Turn up the bass to the place, shake like a rattle can. You stupid bricks need a crucifix or a battle plan. Think you cool and sick with a slew tick and a baffle fans. I'm held to skelter with lyrics melting your skeleton. I'll make them hell and killer. Let's see if the fellas yell again. You talking shit with a mouth as big as a pelican. So now I'll rhyme go shit and show you the kind of hell. Element. It's not proper to be a popper, you not popper. You cock knockers can slob cocks like gobstoppers. I drop lots of these sick rhymes and jot hot as shit, then you bitches combined. I'm not bothered. Tiny little thing when you think about that, the biggest thing that you can right now. I don't know what the hell you want to do, but you know it, but you better be the door over my head right now. Thought it ended, homie? Sorry, well it ain't over yet. Call me Boba Fett with a loaded tech to Yoda's neck. Kill him, then I'm rolling to go collect on the open deck. For real, I still be chilling. The villain ain't even broke a sweat. A hundred grand, you marry some damn whore. With a bank card strapped to a hand to scam more. But the man's poor, that's what you really should plan for. Fuck it, open the damn floor, show him the rancor. I'll leave your family panicking, standing stiff as a mannequin. When I'm running up and I'm striking with lightning like I was Anakin. Anyone need any whoop ass, I'll open the can again. And two of them, I have a crew of them frantically 
rambling. These metaphors, when morphed to medicorians, will leave you dead, of course. On course to crematoriums, I'm feeling for the force, I'm the meanest, I'm singing over again. I'm bringing rap back to the future, don't need DeLoreans. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like a running back, Japanese denims, car canal, 40 under that. These rappers kill me with they mumble raps. And painted nails, I fall finger smack. A faggot make them stumble back. I spit bars to make you hustle crack. And throw something on the doozy pack that had the fiends coming back. It's big bad, I really live my rap. I do my crime, bit my time, still put one in your fitted cap. Reach your hand, I wouldn't. Alright, big freaking salute, man. You know what I'm saying? Did your damn freaking thing for freaking show, man. And honestly, man, this was the perfect record to send, you know, on, on a day like Dirty B is, is you know what I'm saying, here. Because, like, that is right up, you know what I'm saying, that alley of, of both, you know, something that I could see him, you know, producing uh, as well as, uh, you know, getting on, on with the bars. So whether it's a remix or whatever, that's something that I, I look forward to hearing or, you know, a brand new song either freaking way. And this is, uh, you know, in that top five, top freaking 10 in terms of the records that I've heard, uh, you know, from you, like that and my few, like you're, you're saying, you've compiled the list, it seems, and you're, start, you're starting to send the ones that, you know, have done such a great job on, on the freaking show or whatnot. My funeral, you know what I'm saying, still my favorite. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know what I'm saying, Dark Side, you know, Snake Charmer, you know, kind of freaking uh, record or whatnot. Uh, this would make a dope video. I think that's still uh, what I'm waiting for to freaking happening. You know what I'm saying? Professional videos from you getting in the freaking cuz. Um, and again, you have that chill style. Mix is also uh, decent in there as well. He said, this was a straight banger. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The only reason it's not a freaking 10 is because I'm not freaking out of this shit like that. Slinging bars. Uh, or no, slinging parts uh, with a freaking 9. 9 uh, point freaking 9. You know what I'm saying? Of course, from Dirty uh, B and shit like that. So it's like, Wanda para cinta. Beyond that. Uh, and then uh, uh, Kino with a freaking 10, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop bars, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. I believe. I agree. Uh, let me go over, refresh the band lab side. GCS, what's good, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you was, I was ignoring you because you just kept spamming yourself in the chat. Uh, but you got to send yourself to my email at that dorky review show at gmail.com. And all that freaking good stuff or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Gabby was freaking good. I see y'all. Um, and I appreciate everybody within the freaking chat and stuff like that. He said, I got a bus. Uh, I move, you know what I'm saying? Wife needs me to uh, pick up. Where did she freaking go? What the? What did she just with, at with you? Didn't we just see her in the freaking house and stuff like that? Uh, well, either way, you know what I'm saying? We're able to jump back into regular, you know what I'm saying, show mode, uh, uh anyways, but also thank you for popping up. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, need to kind of freaking get and make freaking clips of freaking certain things because y'all be y'all be doing some freaking things or whatnot as i said man this is good this everything that we played so far is a good playlist uh you know what i'm saying so far i'm still trying to figure out what i can do to you know have some kind of you know either track listing for freaking stuff or place where people can at least re-listen to some of the songs that came on the freaking show the problem is is the the vast amount of different type of things that we get. Cause sometimes we get the links, sometimes we'll get the MP3s or freaking waves. And then there's that aspect of, you know, the fact that some of y'all songs ain't done yet. Uh, and so, you know, I know you, you probably wouldn't be, you know, comfortable, even if I fucked with something immediately and you're like, no, nah, I still gotta go in. There's a feature you're supposed to hop on. Sometimes I'm still adding, you know, shit to the freaking thing, but let's go ahead and jump back into the free line right now as we freaking proceed and uh, see what we got. Boss man, blow, no, boss man, D-Lo type beats. 
I'm the biggest in the room, call me Boss Man D. I was with a bad bitch, drinking cost some me go. Me and Brody sticked up, something like a me go. Type of call the PO. I ain't talking about the field, hitting shit like Debo. I do it by myself, never catch me in no Rico. Always with a bad bitch, catch me with the free code. Yeah, I love bitches, but I never buy a ring though. You a pussy nigga, type of sound like fucking Steve O. Always got money, they say solo got that cheat code. Yeah, solo got that cheat code. He a type of nigga walk down in Louis V road. When I walk in rooms, they be asking where my things go. I just play it slow and I just play it like a repo. Yeah, play it play like, like a, a repo. repo. Always with my nigga DZ and my Theo. Always strapped up like we playing trios. Got bitches black and white, I can make a Oreo. Slamming shit like Griffin. Can't cuff a bitch, I'm pimping. Won't buy a bitch a bag. Can't deal with all that sipping. Money on my mind, let's get it specific. Blocky on my side, chicken and horrific. Girl, don't waste my time. Get up in the kitchen. Call me with my side, so she end up bitching. Niggas love the diss, they gon' end up missing. Blocky with the beam, you know ain't no missing. I was 15 on a different mission. I feel like this is kinda I was whatever. Red, I was second chicken, always bad in school, always fucking ditching. But bitch, don't get it twisted, I'm a real, real Christian. Better hit the ground when you hear those big old trumpets. Why I call it trumpet? Cause it makes some loud sounds. You gon' hit the ground, you gon' fucking bow down. Like sexy red shit, gon' get it with that bow bow. Don't get it with that bow bow. Got an AR size that's bow wow. Nah, it. honestly, I gotta hit that button. I don't know why. Why did I let it go on so long? And I knew I wanted to hit that button. You know what it is? It's that I wanted to give. I wanted it to. I wanted to 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 give hope. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we hadn't even gotten a dorky don't play that. You know what I'm saying for the day. And pretty much, you know, since the show started. And let's see how how long we have, we have been live. Three hours. We pretty much had three hours of you know nonstop. You know what I'm saying? Dope, good music. Uh, you know. Give or take, you know, there was about like, you know, 15 minutes or so where we were, you know, having a little bit of a conversation. But, um, you know, on this song, the reason why I hit that button, it's just kind of too repetitive in the, you know, the production. It doesn't really change up freaking too much. It goes through. It just, you know, does its freaking thing. And then you just have like a whatever kind of energy as you're getting on that record. Um like you know i felt like you were kind of bored and or stoned out of your freaking mind which is not necessarily a bad thing but i feel like the stoned records needs to be on a better sort of like beat that allows you to you know allows us to feel like you know you're in that sort of like environment or whatnot this one is you know uh, a beat that feels like it needs to be more hyper you need to rap with more energy a little bit faster and stuff like that so for me i just uh went a little bit more you said i was waiting on that yeah, man. Uh, listen, hopefully we're not in that little section of freaking songs right now, but let's go. We got TP Cracker with Robin Hood. Are you already rapping right now? What's happening? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yes, <laughs> every time, bro. Ah, all right. I mean, this one's gonna be really fast, man. I could barely hear what you were saying. Uh, do you need proof? Did you say so? I'm powering up. I ain't no food. I feel my tummy. I'm just double cooked. He said she wanna slide into the brain. Anybody know anything you just said, freaking right now? You know what I'm saying? The one, one person. Just give me, just give me a whole line and shit like that. Um, you know, it's a it's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? It's another one of those records where again you need a little bit more energy, yet you are using very little. 
You guys are hiding behind the beat when you need to be right up front. Is that how you're going to perform? Like, if you go and perform this song live, that's essentially what I think about when I hear y'all y'all perform. Like, I'm, I'm always, you know, trying to say, okay, so what's the thing, right? We just got out of a conversation of, you know, paying for features and stuff like that. I, I think, you know, it should go across the freaking board. Um, but if the artist isn't doing the job, that's not going to give you any kind of, uh, you know, incentive to want to pay for this artist to get on your record or, you know, do anything. Uh, you know, could be a work in progress or whatnot, but, you know what I'm saying, until it gets to that level, uh, it's a pass, you know what I'm saying, at least for me right now. Uh, and I do uh, want to hear this with a better mix and performance. You know what I'm saying? Send it back. Send it back to the show when you sort of like redo it a little bit. Take your freaking time. If you freestyle it, go go and sit down and freaking write it and just, you know, perfect it, man. Because you guys are, you know, you guys are uh, what you put into your freaking work, man. What you know is like, let me know. Uh, let me see. Yo, Darky. Uh, said, how are you? How are you, my friend? He said, and another one, you know what I'm saying, in DJ Khaled voice and stuff like that. Y'all know what happens, man. If we get three dork, you don't play that in a row, I get to play one of my songs and shit like that. And I know y'all y'all would, you know, y'all get, listen, I believe in y'all, and we gonna try, we gonna see what y'all gonna be able to do. Next up, man, let's see, Mole Rat Consumer. That, that, that's your name, huh? Let me see, Mole Rat, Mole Rat Consumer. Although it seems like you you might have wanted to be named Mall Rat Consumer. This is Test 65, of course. This might be a beat. It's called Second Break Core. Okay. I tried to figure out where it goes. There's a lot of time when I want to figure rub my finger head when I touch my nose. I don't know what the hell I'm about to do with a lot of bigger people. They don't even know where they can go. Whatever they come to the phone, whatever they got to the phone. I want to tell them the snow, but I want to get the tone. They got to play with the camera, they come here with the camera, they go. That's it. I'm ser I'm serious. It just ended right freaking there. <laughs> Tina Gay out of six. <laughs> Listen. So second break core, uh, you know what I'm saying? Test sixty five. Honestly, I, I felt like it started with like, you know, off very weak. Um, you know, I didn't like any of the sort of the melodies, the sounds used. It felt like very low quality. And honestly, when the actual, you know, situation starts to take shape is right when the drum streaking comes in. That's when I'm like, okay. All right. Even though that's still... This is the, like the drums are dope in here, but still the melodies haven't done, you know, much yet. Until right about. Wait, no, it leaves completely right here. So never mind. Yeah, so better melodies in there and so like that. I'm not necessarily gonna give that a look. You don't play that. There's potential, but you know, it's almost give or freaking take, man. Give or freaking take is always the way. SSJ, you are freaking next up, man. Raw. Give it to him, bro. You baby, I like it, bro. And he said, uh-oh, you know what I'm saying? Dogan don't play that. Nah, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was not, not that. We got SSJ stunt with Hyphy. Pull up out fresh in these blue jeans and Nikes. I don't care if they like me. I came to get Hyphy. Bitch, I got a white tee. Don't make me red it up. He think that he gon' get me. Go ahead and set it up. Not enough of this. Little bitch, that's enough. Pour my drink in my motherfucking cup. That's a motherfucking love. Now I'm 
bitch, that's a bang. I see you running. It's about if you know it's a pay. I go run it back. Back and forth, that's a pacer. Seven grams rolled up in his blood, that's a face. So we got a lie. No, we don't. He a faker. Hey, what you say? Hey, Trizzle, that's a banger. It's a banger, not a motherfucking boomer. Y'all a bunch of bitches like the Oklahoma Sooners. It's a rumor. I'm nothing nice. It's all about the money. Give me pay. What's the price? Like, I ay, then I'm out then. It's 50 calling like a motherfucking mountain. Watch your mouth then. Don't get beat up. Fuck a cutty. Go and put him in the trunk. I had to get serious. Something doesn't feel He tried to run up on me in my home. I said, look, motherfucker, in let me tell home. you what's next. If you ain't my control, then I'll slice your legs. Right. Right. Ay, I want that bread like a muffin. Nah, I kind of want to freaking hit that button on the here too. And so I did. Damn. I think that I'm the only dork here who's laid in the brain I gotta ask my freaking doctor what it takes to be strange I will hit you fucking rappers in the face with a cane While you on a fucking train watching snakes on a plane I just... Where's the Alright, so this one right here, it was the performance and the mix, right? You added like this, you know chorus or something like that over your 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 vocals and you know what I'm saying just kind of like it's like a chorus or a flanger or some shit you know what I'm saying it's one of those you know kind of kind of effects that make it feel unnatural um and like you're rapping in a space shuttle and, and shit like that um you know which like if the video is in a space shuttle or some shit like that I guess it would be bad but like nah I wasn't feeling the, the the energy the performance the cadence you know and stuff like that like you know you could have you could say all the same lyrics and you know if it was a better a better sort of you know approach like uh I I had eventually just started like imagining if you were Slick Rick you know singing sing the same shit you know with or uh um uh, what's his name um shock g of uh digital underground and shit like that you know what i'm saying humpty humpty dumpty basically um and you know again with a certain amount of energy with like maybe an animatedness or something like that a little bit more it'll take on freaking shape but it just felt just ever so slightly freaking corny um and if you were performing just like that on stage i don't i don't know man something just would have felt like freaking off um, and you want to feel like the artist that we're listening to, you know, has confidence, has, you know, a full grasp of the talent that they freaking do have, what they want to freaking do. Give your freaking thoughts over freaking all. Give that freaking thought. Liquid said freaking nope. Needs work from freaking Kino. Not it, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that one got the dirty to play that though, you know what I'm saying? We did reset it, so. I know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had, but homie. Everybody knows about it, I'm all the way to the battle of the end there. Runny, 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 runny. runny, runny. What, what, boy? It's probably the same, right? One, now. two, three, four. First of all, let me tell you what I'm about to do I'm about to move mountains with the sound that astounded you I'm a little old school, a lot of hip-hop A little dubstep, now kick it up and mix it with rock I'm a beast, I'm the truth, I'm spitting the true fire I'm consuming any coup in my path when I cruise by I'll be burning mics until I'm dead and gone Step at the head of whoever step in the second that I set it on I'm too clever when I'm shouting rhymes You ain't got lots of time, you better hit the deck like I was cocking nines Explosive bullets when I'm popping mines Gonna be sending motherfuckers to the doctor when the thought is Clients. Somebody stop me, I'm hot as a pot of coffee You playing my shit more than 90s kids with a Tamagotchi I'm super high and I'm super fly, I'm a kamikaze A quick rebuke and I spit a nuke and you Nagasaki The, very thought of you. the NBA has to face reality What's happening right to these players is serious They're gonna need new players with talent Guys who are skilled but never really thought about a professional career before the very Nick, I got a show Come on no. Why the production, man? I like this. It's a man. Yeah. Oh. It's because I'm white, isn't it? 
Yep, another white boy, but he kind of sick with it. Admit it, a dose of his dopeness, and you feel it in minutes because I'm raw with the pen. Bar sick and then, gonna be giving the ball sickness and withdrawals. Y'all witnessing the best in the making. I'm invested in waiting, swearing on the flesh of my flesh that I'm destined to make it. I'm a fly talker, Jedi with the rhymes. I'm a skywalker, I can force manipulate your mind. Now you're mine, fucker. I'm hard as Vader, swinging a lightsaber because I'm icy with the mic and I might be the right savior while I'm looking at the game and it might be the slight favor because these rappers will be rapping today is sweeter than life. Savers. I'm highly dangerous when I go and put that ink to paper Deleting haters and leave them leaking in incubators No seek a piece of you leaving pieces like see you later I can write a thesis on how I speak with a secret flavor I can say I'm the best, state the simple and plain The fact is that I'm just another white boy I can spit a couple bars and they think we're the same The fact is that I'm just another white boy I can say I'm the best, state the simple and plain The fact is that I'm just another white boy I can spit a couple bars and they think we're the same The fact is that I'm just another white boy I can say I'm the best, state the simple and plain The fact is that I'm just another white boy I can spit a couple bars and they think we're the same The fact is that I'm just another white boy about to do, I'm about to move. Fall, let me tell you what I'm fall. Let me tell you what I'm fall. Let me tell you what the mountains with the about to move. About to do, I'm 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 about to move. About to do, about to move. About to do. Ah, now, big fans, you did your thing right here. Let it beat. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta actually hit the uh the button though. Hold on. Whoop. Can you hurry up with the I'm just trying to make a music that I would want myself to listen to Cause no matter what I do, I still be this guy that's so invisible. I'm just trying to change the way to make music Cause I know you're miserable. Why don't you do something different and get like me tang and be little? Now I feel like he you know, uh we we eventually get into certain freaking elements and um uh homages maybe you know uh uh think like there will be times where we where i say that his style starts to resemble a little bit more of you know snoop dogg if he was more hip-hop and shit like that which i always end up freaking loving because we don't get we don't get snoop on that kind of freaking shit you know what i'm saying like almost freaking ever like he'll you know rap on things that are you know in between that kind of freaking west coast and you know other you know kind of freaking beats but i rarely hear him on you know some alchemist shit or you know some like a red man or you know luda or something like that would freaking get on so every time you know even though that's not what you're freaking trying to do it does give me that sort of that mindset while also allowing me to freaking see you in there i think uh most definitely with a lot of your records videos are going to benefit you know all of every single one of the songs you know what i'm saying whether it's a lyric video or a freaking live action uh because people need to connect with you you're like visually on on the freaking thing you know what i'm saying people need to see the live performances you have that voice that makes me want to see you know the perform the studio performance kind of you know visuals as well where you're just like you know you yeah, it's it's quiet. It it shows you going into the booth, putting on the headphones, beat starts, you start freaking rapping, you know what I'm saying? It's a one to one audio kind of thing and you know, like we we need to see those kind of situations because you definitely get down with the uh the bars and uh the writing. I appreciate the wordplay every single freaking time as you freaking get down. Um and I predict that you will be an addition to a lot of these stuff uh you know if you end up working with like dirty b and, and stuff you know i predict you guys working on a, a quite a few freaking things or whatnot there's there's you know something that i do see that would be a definitely freaking cohesive um and you know he i definitely want to see what he'd be able to produce you know what i'm saying for you by the way uh i'm still working on some i've put a few beats in a folder essentially like you had uh you know asked me one, at one point you know what i'm saying to you know work on some freaking stuff so i am putting a, a few in the freaking folder and and working on a few i'll let you know when i'm freaking done that way you can um go into the freaking thing or whatnot but uh yes we did get to you know what i'm saying 100 and you will be able to spin the wheel right now everybody else will have to wait to the end of the stream but we will load you in in just a moment
I got a golden ticket, I got a golden chance to make my way. And with a golden ticket, it's a golden day. I think I said it too many times in the Giddy Daddy through the third of the Donald Deagley Dial Elix. I gotta wait till the thing comes I think out. I've taken too many drugs and I'm in another universe and I was trying to get buzzed in a studio and do a verse but now I'm seeing an image of Coolio on Jupiter. If I was in the hospital, I probably want to do the nurse. Out of all 80s movies, I'm watching Ferris Bueller first. I'll walk right up to a bully and be like, homie, do your worst. If you don't got any gas, a freaking Razor scooter works. This one ain't for the kitty, so Super Steve, you can curse. I'm spaced out and I probably... So I need a number from you, Ronnie, one to ten. I need a number from you, Ronnie, one to ten. I mean, uh, it's two. Uh, STL. Let me see. Ronnie with five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Bam. Good luck. Good fuck. Good good fuck. Good fuck. Good fuck. Good fuck. Good fuck. Good fuck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck was brought to you in part by Jonathan. Wait, so you, John, you're the Jonathan? That's me in the flesh. Don't forget to eat a bean and cheese sandwich for squeezed. Ooh, this almost gave you offline skip. It was like one inch away. Uh, but this gives you a VIP skip and a feature discount, you know what I'm saying, of uh, uh, which brings it down to a $50 here uh, versus $100. Uh, and stuff like that or whatnot if you do have uh or if you want other ones you can stack them and you know what i'm saying sort of either make it a lot more cheaper or whatnot because sometimes i'll have like 25 percent um you know yeah sometimes i have like 25 percent and then uh you know so if you have 50 and that 25 essentially you bring that freaking down and stuff like that uh i know you had i gotta freaking go back and freaking see the ones that you had but i'll put this one in at least write it down and then there's a vip skip as well right so uh where are you at uh nope not that one i think it's the one all the way over here okay Let's bring this in. Feature discount and then put Ronnie. All right, as for the rest of you, we will, uh, again, at the end of the stream and stuff like that, when we sort of like get closer uh, to figuring that, we'll uh, gear up for everybody else in the building and stuff like that. All you have to do is make sure that you are there at the time of the uh, giveaway and stuff like that. For people like Ronnie, the reason why, uh, like basically anybody who gets us to 100, 200 or 300 basically every hundred that we that we end up making on the freaking show that specific person will get to basically spin the giveaway wheel early not have to wait to the end of the stream and all that good stuff so all that and you already know how to send it when you actually want to use it just make sure you hashtag vip freaking skip or free skip hashtag and um no hashtag free skip hashtag vip skip you know what i'm saying Whatever the case, uh, in the subject line, and give me a moment to just double check with uh, the platform so we can get back in the line uh, again. Uh, let's see, let's see. Traptivity. Let's go. This is the lyric video for ungrateful. Why you ungrateful? Why you ungrateful? Why you ungrateful? 
Why you ungrateful? Why you ungrateful? I replace you, I ain't gon' chase you. Make can't show you no love is wasteful. You don't show your true colors, I'm thankful. Yes, thank you, girl, you ungrateful. I replace you, I ain't gon' chase you. I can't show you no love is wasteful. You don't show your true color, I'm thankful. Yes, thank you, girl, you're ungrateful. I embraced you, but you disgraceful. But you are who you are, don't hate you. Your only chance, money can't chase you. Can't put no faith in the unfaithful. Tryna you down, no label. Kept it solid when you was unstable. Took you on a trip, set the sun bathe you. Now you want Superman can save you. Got 30 you. minutes no, more of Ben Lab. We done, we done. You the definition of you ain't no one. Spent this time playing, I can repay you some. Leave you with a pass till a new day begun. Don't yeah. play around with me, do some safe for some. All this money clearing, need a new bank or some. I got my receipts that you hate discussing. That ain't for nothing. Why you ungrateful? I replace you, I ain't gon' chase you Make can't show you no love, is wasteful You don't show your true colors, I'm thankful Yes, thank you, girl, you're ungrateful I replace you, I ain't gon' chase you Make can't show you no love, is wasteful You don't show your true colors, I'm thankful Yes, thank you, girl, you're ungrateful Girl, you're ungrateful It's just freaking wide and freaking fat that I hate you A lot of times, I don't know what the hell that I freaking do When you can wake up in the freaking morning You hateful, all so freaking The time when I don't know but y'all go freaking do the times I don't even know Iago Out of all of those is also not a thank you or no I don't even know there's no tomorrow uh, Alright Stop it! Uh, this felt like something that actually would be freaking out In terms of, you know, these kind of freaking Afro beat You know, kind of freaking records It did feel solid Mix does need freaking work though, of course, you know, you're adding some of the right effects in there. You just, it feels like kind of like very loud in terms of, you know, what your vocals are doing. Uh, and, you know, I mean, we, we always kind of get in and out and talk about a few freaking, you know, different things, right? First and foremost, there are a few genres where, you know, it, it will feel like we're listening to often like the same songs over and over again, just by slightly different artists. Uh, and there are some genres that I think there there there's an exception in that, you know, reggaeton, Afrobeat, um, sometimes I guess drill and and you know what I'm saying certain things. Uh, but then there are ones where like you got to bring some originality, you got to bring something new to the table to make it you know fresh. Uh, but not like Afrobeat has one of those things where you can have the familiar you know co chords and keys and you know different sounds. Um, and initially just, you know, do your freaking thing. Say what you want to say. Make it a love song. Make it a, you know, just a dance record. You know what I'm saying? I think it's all, you know, within the same spirit of the thing. And, you know, Afro, Afro beat is, to me, the equivalent of, you know, reggaeton for its respective sort of sides or whatnot, right? They both feel like, you know, both cultures want to have like an endless dance kind of party situation like an endless just like everybody's just non-stop you know dancing um and uh you know y'all y'all let y'all let them know if you rocked with it and shit like that we're gonna move back into the uh free line of course as we go in there you know what i'm saying he said will tiktok be back tomorrow uh if i'm lucky i'll bring it back if we're still streaming in like an hour or two or something like that, like it should be live by like one something. Um, it's like 11 25 right now. I don't know if I like, if I should bring it back that late and shit, like, you know, extend the whole freaking line from there, but I can, I'll just probably do it to celebrate and then, you know, retest the thing now. But man, I am tired of that freaking shit happening. That is the only sort of, you know, downfall to sort of like, you know, streaming on that side is that sometimes a certain record, you know, might get the stream sort of like, you know, cut or blocked or, you know, whatever the freaking case. They're very anal about, you know, smoking on freaking stream and certain freaking things. Um, and I feel like the most, the, the most downfall with any social media platform these days is them not having an actual human to freaking depict the shit that's happening. Because I don't believe that, like, you know, if, if it was a human monitoring the freaking stream, they'd clearly know that, you know, when we're not actually promoting, you know, 
violence and you know different stuff and you know everything is always in you know good faith or whatnot so you know what i mean it's so we'll see what's up not really like they don't want it to be like right like you're obviously like they're not gonna you know they don't want you to take out a full-on cigar and shit and to like just blow shit at the camera kind of stuff like that that's overkill and shit but they're not they don't trip as much as like tiktok all the mother girls not on your level And I'm down when I do it for the lover And I know you Are gotta you guys lady, homies? Gotta If it's him then I gotta play it solo Solo Yeah I'm indecisive I'm your man just give me my title Just spread the way let the thing go viral To all my rivals I'm the idol I ain't high like a pilot Play with my heart make me feel lonely I'm never going trust and I put it on me I'm indecisive my heart baby if you waste my time, I'm gonna put it on me. I'm indecisive with my heart. Cause I don't wanna get caught up. I like you and her, maybe her, maybe her, maybe her, baby. But I don't wanna get caught up. I feel so lonely, lonely. I pray to God I'd be holy. Holy, I don't wanna stand away acting like this. You're the person that changed me to be like this. Yeah. Baby girl, you're fine with me. Understand that you mind indeed. We could go through the pain and the hurt. You're the only person that made me feel well. I love you too strong. I need you right now, way half of me. I just need you to be part of me. You're the first and last I wanna see. If you die, I die honestly. Hey, cup of a billion. Looking like a pretty little unicorn yeah. I need you to give me all of you I wanna spend the rest of my love with you I'm indecisive with my heart Cause I don't wanna get caught up I like you and her, maybe her, maybe her, maybe her, baby But I don't wanna get caught up When they get caught up, a lot of freaking times when I don't know what the hell I'm about to do, but I need water and you. Cause they'll be freaking I don't even wanna hop in a pool. Matter of fact, you know what I have went to a popular school. But then the time when I freaking don't even know what the hell I'm about to do, but I'm leaning over the whole freaking leaving over the Alright, so uh shout out, you know. Honestly, it's freaking crazy because the it's two different vibes, yet they kinda sound, you know, ever so slightly, you know what I'm saying, similar and shit like that. Like, you know, uh, uh, it feels like we were listening to a little bit of a playlist, and those two records might have been on the the same freaking thing. Two different artists, but uh, you know, being able to, you know, appreciate that freaking thing. Certain areas I do know can be freaking better. It's cool. It's I didn't bring anything freaking new to the freaking table, but it didn't. You know, I didn't freaking hate it. Y'all know me. If I really don't like a record, if I'm if I get bored with a song, and I really are am, am not enjoying myself, like for show for show. I'm always going to hit that dorky don't play that. I'm going to give you the honest freaking truth. I'm going to let y'all know. If I think something has potential, man, you know, it's in there. You know what I'm saying? You cool. But if I love a record, you get that run it back, right? I don't know if we've had too many of those. We can tonight, but yeah, no. Stretching time. We got you up. Most money in the building. Most money. Cut to the point production. Let's see what you got. Back up in the free line, I don't know if I'm gonna be right yeah. Damn. Holding on to the past like it was yesterday. Loading the strap, thinking that's okay, a Okay, I had a seven on that, way. by the way. Kino had a so nine. Sit back and pray. Wait for a better day. What else can I say? Bad decisions put me in this position. And that's okay, I'm just living my life No wife, no child support, no going to court Fuck that, I'm holding down my own fort Yeah, I'm still alive, but that's all I got to show for it I keep holding on to what's gone When I need to let go I remember this one And move on Some things are easier said than done Thought my days were over I'm only getting started, I don't plan on stopping uh, Here comes the storm to turn around and start walking uh, Hell no, nah, I'm playing my food <laughs> <laughs> Liquid thing is ain't it I gotta eat now Sing along, Liquid 
Fuck a knife and fork it and make it my crew. Everything on. that I'm speaking is a life lesson that right. I'm teaching, and you can guarantee I'm practicing what I'm preaching. Can I get a man? Change my life. I was always going left, so I turned my head and decided what to up, take a up? right. Yeah. Try and make a right. Yeah. Escape death twice. Yeah. I keep holding on to what's gone when I need to let go. Crystal clear. Y'all don't know. Shit I've been through to get here. My life is no picnic. Always getting picked on. Till I had enough and I started putting fists on. That's why they call me scrappy. Uh -huh. Act like I'm happy when really I'm not. Inside I'm dying like a drying apple. My heart's starting to rot. I keep holding on to what's gone when I need to let go and move on. Big freaking salute. <laughs> Honestly, it does need it does need work. I felt the same way. I remember this one from last time, right? So Carver, I'm like a little bit in like your area. I'm in like your area in terms of, you know, like for for me, like look, the the verses, you know what I'm saying? Kinda had, you know, a very little energy or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? He got in there. And kind of, you know, what I'm saying, just, 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 you know, just kind, just kind of seemed uh, a little boring with it, and then decided to do a more slower kind of melodic thing. I wasn't necessarily a fan of, of, you know, those parts, right? And the chorus, while, you know, it's a little better, but then I don't think that it 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 wins people over, you know, what I'm saying, kind of either. There's just there's something small in it for me that does grow on me a little bit which is why i kept it in you know saying a little bit longer i don't know so maybe maybe the chorus reminds me of like an 80s kind of freaking song you know from like duran duran or the cure or something like that and them singing but with like a certain type of effect or something on it and it's like if it had that with an actual you know 80s you know a lead singer kind of thing on it like i'm hearing I felt like, you know, there could be something to it. But I don't know how, you know, everyone's going to react with this outside of, like, you know, you could also, like, turn it into a heavy metal version. But you can't be that singer, though. You have to get someone with that sort of voice to go in there and do that. And again, I don't know how that will seem because you still will need a heavy metal guitar somewhere in the background to, like, you know, you just need some rock elements to bring this to something else. I think, like, more respect in it. The verses, though, I, I do think, like, rewrite those and, uh, you know, do something freaking different. At least me, you know what I'm saying? What do you guys freaking think? Give your freaking thoughts. We had a 7 from STO on that. We had a 6 from Kino. We had a 7.5, of course, from Mr. Smokey the Bear. Liquid had a 3 on that. You know what I'm saying? Send them to your email. I know. Freaking shout out to freaking NR. That actually uh, messed with the beat a lot. I like it and so like that. So you were in the same cusp in a appreciate yeah. Black Panther, lab dancer, that man sure has cancer. Ask answers, get questions, big weapons, blast master, quick faster, mix master, zigzags in a big bag for the kickback. Let me hit that sir, switch back in the Christopher. Listen, man, there is no way in hell that you're slower than I am. I will donate a snail. This is why we're here, man. You're going to jail. Peter Griffin, hashtag, where's Steve Carell? All right, this is from STL. Shout out Zealous for making another banger. One <laughs> to skip on a previous episode, using it now, cashing it in. Uh. STL in the building, I got you, let's go. I'm just One trying to write seats with client with the windows up. I've been getting high, roll a blunt, yeah, we lit as fuck. I be in the coop, rolling up, we don't give a fuck. Uh. Uh, see, we don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to write seats recline with the windows up. I've been getting high, roll a blunt. 
yeah, we lit as fuck. I be in the coop, rolling up, we don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, see, we don't give a fuck. See, we don't give a fuck. Hey, pour the double cups. See, I just gotta ease my mind, I roll another blunt. I'm on a purple plane, this cush, they always rolled up. Hold up, Brody, yeah, we bout to smoke some. Yeah, it's a session, better grab the reverend, count your blessings. I swear to God, I smoke to ease the pain, man, it should be stressing. Huh, yeah, I need to bow up, then roll up, don't slow up. No, I can't ever hold up. Huh, I stay so lifted, I think that's why I'm gifted. They play with me, man, they might need a tissue. I'm about to bless these bars See, I've been aiming for the top But surpassing the stars I'm just trying to ride Seats recline with the windows up I've been getting high Roll a blunt, yeah, we lit as fuck I be in the coop, rolling up We don't give a fuck Uh, uh, see, we don't give a fuck I'm just trying to ride Seats recline with the windows up I've been getting high Roll a blunt, yeah, we lit as fuck I be in the coop Rolling up, we don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, see, we don't give a fuck. I grab a switch of sweet and roll a blunt and sour D. Uh, I pass it to my squad. You ain't smoke if you ain't team. Switch a sweet filled with the green. I keep it by the pig. I roll it by the OZ. You ain't fucking with my team. Cause we blaze up, keep one pulled up. Always in the chamber. Don't try to play us, cause them boys are armed and dangerous. I stay pulling up the double cup, stay filled up. Yeah, I'm getting drunk, high as fuck, we turning up. Turn up. I'm just trying to ride, seats recline with the windows up. I've been getting high, roll a blunt, yeah, we lit as fuck. I be in the coop, rolling up, we don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, say we don't give a fuck. I see, I can actually freaking hear that, man. Funny enough. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, so Liquid, uh, see it. Um, he said, you know what I'm saying, the energy has changed. He said, I don't know if artists uh, need any more, you know what I'm saying, time to study concepts or freaking writing. Uh, wait, what does that even mean? Now that I, now that I think about it. Uh, okay, the industry has changed. I don't know if artists need more time to study concepts or writing. You know what I'm saying? Are you? <laughs> you gotta be more. You gotta be way more specific and uh, and and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I can so I can really comment on it because I was trying to figure out what uh what you were saying. But essentially, like he does, STL is an artist who you know tends to freestyle a lot more uh, uh to his stuff. And honestly, like I didn't feel like what I'm what I'm listening to often when I hear a lot of his stuff, I don't hear the freestyle aspect, right? Which is a good thing. You want to feel like the artist is doing, you know, is, you know, pulling from an actual artistry, not just pulling from random lines and coming off freaking top and, and shit like that. I felt like, you know, uh, this is a different type of record, right, than what, you know, you are able to, you know, get in. This is one of those more, you know, slower, catchy, you know what I'm saying, kind of just like um uh more mainstream kind of you know sounding kind of freaking records or whatnot but i do feel like you do better on um you know the the things that you're able to you know really really pull a a you know what i'm saying a straight like you know hip-hop live music kind of freaking record or whatnot you're able to freaking see more you know conviction and you get to see the the legwork that you do as an artist or whatnot this song is not like a skill-based one where you're sort of you know, trying to show off the, you know, the the rhyme ability and then freaking stuff like that, or, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it does have a little bit of a bounce to it, you know what I'm saying? I picture people, you know, in slow motion, jumping up and down to the freaking beat kind of thing. Uh, what do you say? Thank you for the Lord! Okay, boys, hello! You're going to see a whole new artist when you hear me. I'm locked in for the better. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, what did Liquid say? He said, seems like uh, it's just uh, word, 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 than actual writing, you know, it's in the concept for a song. 
So that's that's essentially what we were we were talking about. So I was on the uh, the right thing in there. So he does not say, you know, I said I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't, uh, you know, say read the freaking lineup, but I appreciate you, man. Uh, what are you? Who? What are you pointing at? What? <laughs> Why are you over there? Hold on, let me see if let me see if he has if he has food real quick and, and shit like that, and we will continue the line up in a moment. <laughs> Bad lab. <laughs> well, it's most likely going to end in about four minutes, but I'm going to cut you guys off right now and stuff like that. If you're on the Band Lab side, go to our YouTube, go to our freaking Twitch, go to our Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, you know what I'm saying? Any, any number of platforms that we freaking have, you can go and be there. I'm going to cut you guys out. I may bring you guys back later, but honestly, I want to focus and get rid of some bandwidth real freaking quick. So give me a second, and I'll give you some time to freaking get over there. Let me just uh, give my dog some food, and then we'll continue the show. Tell me I left it over freaking there when I went in the freaking corner. Damn it, man. Uh I'm gonna get I'm gonna get by the free skip freaking too, because thanks to for to y'all uh you know what I'm saying your your patience and your resilience. So just give me a freaking second. We'll be we'll be <laughs>
freaking lost my mouth. Music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, gnawing on a Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been warned. My brain is so. Alright, 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 alright. So I'm gonna give away a free skip right freaking now, you know what I'm saying? Just off the freaking river or not. Thank you for the in. Um, no, not thank you for the inconvenient. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? And sorry for the inconvenience. So right now, uh, first person to name two characters from the Marvel Cinematic Universe that can break the fourth wall. You know what I'm saying? Name two characters. If I really want to be anal really with it, I, I freaking say freaking name freaking three or whatnot. But, you know, you can name three for a bonus, you know what I'm saying, if you freaking want. But I just need two characters... From the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or I guess you can just say Marvel in general, that break the fourth wall. If you need a description of what breaking the fourth wall is, you know what I'm saying? It's Ghost Rider! Deadpool, yeah! I don't know about Ghost Rider, for freaking say. I wouldn't say Ghost Rider is like a known character for doing that. Like, people don't expect it. People don't expect it to happen with his character. Oh, he needs to look at the screen every freaking five seconds. Hulk Thanos? No. No. Break the fourth wall, man. You Hell, hell uh, we need has got at least one right, though. Um, let's see. Let me see. What'd you say? Superman and Hulk? Nope. Y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all got breaking the fourth wall as like something else in y'all head, which is crazy. Had Deadpool and Ant Man. Uh, I don't. Uh, Ant Man's a funny character, but I wouldn't say he's a fourth wall character. So like that. Try again. Try again. Hold on. Somebody in the chat might have freaking said it though. Uh, Paul Sample, you said. Ant-Man and freaking She-Hug. No, you both y'all are saying Ant-Man, but like Ant-Man ain't the freaking thing or whatnot. However, if one of you guys simply switch either of your characters, you know what I'm saying, you'll be right on freaking point. Now, Spider-Man and Loki, right? Now, if we look at the... If we look at the sort of like God of Stories, you know what I'm saying, freaking Loki and Spider-Man technically... So I could do, let me see, Dead for Spider-Man, Dead for She-Hulk and shit like that. I think my mind, I was looking for, I was looking for like that Deadpool and freaking She-Hulk, man. That's literally the first answer that I had in my freaking head as I was thinking about it. Uh, and so if I'm going to be anal about it, I'll give it to Paul and... Um, I'm still debating about Spider-Man and, and Loki and shit like that. Spider-Man has been known to you make a lot of freaking jokes. And, you know, but like Deadpool, Deadpool and like She-Hulk, you know, Gwenpool uh, is another one. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking like these are these are characters who directly address the reader, the fact that they are in a comic book. The fact that other characters exist in other universes and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Deadpool will literally mention Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and shit like that. Or Hugh Jackman, you know, and, and shit like that. Like, that's how much of a fourth wall breaker he is. Gwenpool, if you don't know, you know what I'm saying, about her character, literally is so meta. She is from, technically, she's Gwen, 
Gwen Stacy, but from our universe, got that got sucked into a comic and became a superhero and shit like that. But she is more of a fourth wall breaking female, you know what I'm saying, like Deadpool and shit like that. And then of course She Hulk has, you know, probably like the first fourth wall breaker to be freaking honest and shit like that was in there doing her freaking thing. Um, and there's been so many different iterations of, you know, what she's been able to freaking do, which is uh, freaking cool. So, uh, Paul and Bequeed. Shadowly, see what is up, Shadowly. Proceed. I have so many people in here passing through who have no idea what is happening until they do. If I was up in the game, then I would probably have to do cheats because I can't see a thing up in this ash. And where the hell is Coon Street? A hundred blocks up on this box it wasn't meant to be. And I ain't got no time to mess with armless naked entities and nurses with syringes, apparitions. It's a scary place and someone with a scary face just shouldn't mess with Harry Mason. All right. Um, did you... Did you put... Um, I was asked. Uh, I don't know if Paul, if if you sent yours or something like that. If you didn't, go ahead and freaking send it. I'm gonna throw um Carver's in there. I believe you wanted me to do what was it? Uncut promises or some shit. Let me check it. Check this out. Uh, okay. La, 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 la. Krista J. So you said the bullshit, you said the game. Featuring Robert Carey. I had the last can escape this maze. Times did it take him, but I know that you're never gonna change. Gotta fall back, cause I know that you're stuck in your ways. So you said the bullshit, you said the game. Did I have the last can escape this maze? Times did it take him, but I know that you're never gonna change. Not going for the drama Each and every time I regret it You love me so damn it I'ma make it all of my business Baby, tell me all of your fears I'ma put them on my head list You'll never be scared again Not as long as you with me, I promise this I'ma be a superman I'ma flyer, I can take it higher than you ever been I just wanna empty all of me and you Give you everything, baby, the stars, the moon I'll be so honest, I never lie, I'm true It might be a little early, but damn, I do I'll climb every mountain and every seashore I'll go to hell and back if you need more I just wanna be all yours So knock in my door, whoa, whoa. I love 
good R&B record, of course, as you guys know. They like my sauces, they say they sweet. When I let them taste, they say ooh wee. It ain't a secret, I'm his cup of tea. When he get thirsty, best believe he's sipping me. And all his boys be peeking, they trying to see what it be like to be with me. Is it chocolate or caramel? Uh, first of all, overall, you know what I'm saying? Vocals are freaking nice, you know what I'm saying? Just to be able to talk about the track because Carver hasn't really uh, heard me talk about it itself. Melodies, man, already had fell in love, you know what I'm saying, with that, you know what I'm saying? She has such an amazing voice uh, that's just, you know, soft and sensual as she's able to, you know, get in there and, you know, just make it look easy when it comes to, you know, vocally. Uh, singing, she didn't really need, you know what I'm saying, much auto-tune and, and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I like the melodies, the, you know, the na 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 you know, some, all that freaking stuff. Uh, and, of course, uh, my gosh, man, Robert, he came in and, you know, just as a feature, you know, did the freaking job or whatnot. I love a good duet. But, like, man, he sung in, you know, ways that I haven't really heard people do in a freaking long time. Just, just like, he played around with sort of, like, how he was able to really just, like, man manually manipulate his own, you know, vocals and stuff like that. The, you know, like, you know, uh, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, things like that are really hard to freaking, you know what I'm saying, do. Many artists don't even really try to, you know, make it that complicated um but he went in and uh you know the like all all that shit was freaking dope um and uh so i appreciate the performance from both of them definitely some you would uh you know see a video freaking for and uh you know i definitely want to freaking see that for cho in the future what do you say? Yeah, so what platforms, you know what I'm saying, are uh, Javen out on and stuff like that? Yeah, so Javen uh, will be coming up for the next Paul initially uh, sending him for his skip. So we'll be throwing that in right about now. Hold on. Let me go throw it in. Give y'all thoughts, though, about that last record. Let it know how you feel and still like that. Definitely could hear that on Ian album. Uh... Comments like freaking yes. So I don't think we got to Rincon yet. If it's under that name, that is. Yeah. I rap a bunch on this track. I'm just doing this for practice, son. I'm gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch. I uh -huh. rap a bunch on this track. I'm just doing this for practice, son. I'm stop. gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch. Snapping on the track like that was pun. Stab him in the back like acupuncture. So fire when I breathe, I inhale, inhale. I got dragon's lungs and I plunge into the darkness. All of these boomer renewer artists. Everything is fitting is useless garbage. Making me wanna just use the cartridge. Do revolver, spew barrage, sharp to the archer, super marksman. You ain't even a human to me when I look at you. All I can see is a future car. Back Man. from the street, rappers won't beef, but you can't even eat when I shatter your teeth. Put anybody in front of me, I'll instantly turn their asses to hamburger meat. Don't battle with me, you don't really want to pursue that fight, bitch. The task of competing with me is basically suicide, bitch. Not only y'all phony, but you suck, so we not homies. You got a good life, so I'll kill you just to take what God owes me instead of misery. Clap enemies as tracks, finna be a mass killing spree. I should just have the vicinity riddled with hidden cameras to capture reactions of the poor fans that's witnessing, like the trailer for a paranormal activity. Bad energy I broke from the zoo of wolf. On the loose anti-social recluse and holy immoral goat and the lord of the occult a ghost and my eyes go white when i rhyme i float in the booth how the hell it's man getting cold in the room drag it by your foot to a cabin in the woods you thought i wouldn't be a serial killer just cause i'm a rapper from the hood i'll still do you like dexter with the plastic wrap and you could put then i'll just add you to my trophies with a sample of your blood man with the plan i am the future damn it i have to give it to you the fact that you exist is proof of god having a sense of humor there's been a lot of people that agree to collab and then after i send in this radio silence maybe because i am the greatest of rhymes and these motherfuckers just afraid to be quiet waving like by on a plane and then fly for a vacation to stay on an island i'm taking your mind and i raise it up high as a space station i'm breaking your bias when i beat your ass you'll be saying god please kill me but you'll just be talking to me because god's me silly make them all drop cut the clock hot. i'll shoot a cop for five dollars and a pop tart got a little pistol from walmart double top to the trump rally let it pop pop it's not wrong i don't really give a shit about anything but i got a little feeling of the hot nine like i should have blown this motherfucker top off but for the bad money get the small cost i don't have a budge i am the judge it seems so easy I higher security i will bring flurries of fire and fury non-stop uh. it ain't an arab issue when i dare to hit you 
you with a terrorist missile. Simple as a killer and iller than an American military official. Blair with you, split you, Blair pistols, rip you. It's easy as tearing tissue, kick you. I'm an ninja whip, brutal and sick moves quicker than jujitsu. My claws could tear in you. I just want to put that tear in you. I just hope your parents miss you, kill you by throwing air against you. It'll feel like a bear. <laughs> bitch, you torture you and say a prayer with you. I got bars I won't share with you. What could you even compare it to, man? I'm just a I'm gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch, I rap a bunch. On this track, I'm just doing this for practice, son. I'm gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch. I rap a bunch. On this track, I'm just doing this for practice, son. I'm gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch, I rap a bunch. On this track, I'm just doing this for practice, son. I'm gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch, I rap a bunch. On this track, I'm just doing this for practice, son. I'm gonna kill you, send you to hell. You better pack a lunch. Big freaking salute, you did your freaking thing, of course, man. I can't hit the clap freaking button at all because it, well, actually, no, I can't. I can't go over here. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> now, yeah, my credit wins are gonna work right now, but I did that dope button. Listen, the rhyming was freaking on point. Overall freaking performance, the energy, the sort of animatedness, just the having fun. Like, you know, he was, he made it look freaking easy. Like, you know, just as, uh, you know, Krista J with, you know, her singing and, 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 you know what I'm saying, Robert, um, you know, with this, you know, being straight freaking rap, like he was, you know, just having fun. Like, uh, I'd say the, well, I'm trying to think of like a good analogy and figuring shit like that. But uh, it was definitely, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, something freaking dope, man. I, I was impressed with the performance. Definitely something I would possibly either remix, I'd remix, you know what I'm saying, or had wanted to be on and shit like that. I definitely am gonna tap in, you know what I'm saying, with them freaking more. Uh, let me add that to the Dirty Hip Hop. We'll have the perfect dork playlist over here. I got your skip, man. I got your skip, man. Okay, let me freaking pop that freaking there. 7.8 from freaking liquid, you know what I'm saying? Mean, uh, to be honest, it was... Let me see. What did you think it was, Johnny Bravo? Uh, here's Johnny, you know what I'm saying? Give, give it your freaking thoughts or whatnot. I was fucking with that, you know what I'm saying? He had bars, freaking went up straight, you know what I'm saying? It was just... You know, going freaking crazy in it or whatnot. Uh, biggest complaint um, for that is just, you know, repeats at the end, uh, you know, some one or two times, you know, send too much, but definitely amazing stuff right there. Shout out to freaking hell. Weenies. Uh, let me see. Kino with the tin boss. Uh, he plays around in the pocket. Yep. Uh, it's just transitioning between rhyme schemes, you know what I'm saying, which he does at will. Uh, which is honestly pretty freaking dope or whatnot. As I say, man, you know, we don't want to be one trick freaking ponies, man. Or you don't want to be. You shouldn't want to be one a one trick pony. Um, because when you do that, people only think about you for one kind of situation. Then outside of that, you know, you're really not, you know, thought of again or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to like, you know, maybe you guys wanting to be a part of certain events and things like that, always just think about like, do I have appropriate records for these events? Whether it's like a 420, you know, kind of situation, uh, video game themed, you know, kind of, you know, what I'm saying nerdcore uh, event or something like that. Uh, something that's more love themed for like, you know, Valentine's Day, uh, uh, you know, things that are that can be perfectly performed around freaking Halloween. You know, again, there are different holidays. There are different, you know, kind of freaking themes and any anything, you know, you may not be a rec uh, an artist who, you know, goes to the club at all. That doesn't care less for freaking dancing or the type of records that are played there. But if you want to be played in such a place, you still have to make a record that is susceptible. It doesn't have to be specifically a dance song, but a song that people can happen to dance, you know what I'm saying, freaking too. And the ones that are usually themed to that exact aspect, you know, they have a far better chance because they are literally making those songs for that. I always bring up like, 
you know, uh, Pitbull and uh, Flo Rider as, again, they know exactly what type of music they are, they make best, and, you know, uh, they rarely go outside of that freaking lane. It's like party music, you know what I'm saying, mainly. I have never been in this situation where I'm like, oh, man, Flo Rider killed that verse. Like, he spit some bars or had a dope disc record or some shit like that. They don't, they don't do that as of freaking yet, but... Uh, you know, would be nice to see them go outside of that steel, right? I want to be able to say, I want, I want to be able to ha to put people like that as a part of the conversation because they, you know, they make what they make, but then also, you know, XXX actually had some shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, uh, for people who don't know XXX in in Tassian or whatnot. Uh, he may he may have had some mainstream shit that you are more you know synonymous with, but he had records with Joey Badass too. He had some hip hop, you know, straight up, uh, you know, let me actually freaking rap type freaking shit or whatnot. And, and and as far as I'm concerned, as long as you can show that you have that talent, you know, you'll be able to get that respect from the culture and stuff like that. But you have to make sure that that's seen just as much as some of the other stuff. I know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had, but homie, I'm, I'm, go. I'm playing old school games where it's all up for grabs, you know me. I'm, So we got glass tables, Rincon, and BSD Lucci. All right. Let's go slide this one in. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Uh, gotcha, man. Uh. Gelato wrapped up on these glass tables Hit that shit again like selfies from a bad angle uh, No, I ain't signing to these rap labels But I myself wrote a dice like some crap tables Bitch, I'm the jackpot You ain't even on your own team, brody You more like the mascot You rappers faking in some ass shots Healthy spirited, but can't lose to my bad thoughts Got it out the mud, still brushing all this dirt off Life's a picture straight, throwing me some curveballs Room of silence with a mic to get my words off My whole flock fly as fuck, hit that bird call Feel the breeze underneath my wings Like a giant sleeping dog, I got bigger dreams Bird's eye view, shorty, that's my favorite scene I'll go broke to succeed, and that's by any means Long as the outcome is income Make some bread against some head dog and then some Lost a few times, but it made me get my wins up True stories when that paper and that pen touch Y'all be holding the fake personas if all fails Instagram posts and stories telling tall tales You can't even catch a buzz like a mocktail I'm drinking heavy to help me get through these dark trails if I don't do it, then who gon' do it? Are you gon' do it, nigga? You too influenced. Tripping off this rap music, your guys don't know how to chase it back. My guys, we get straight to it. If I don't do it, then who gon' do it? Are you gon' do it, nigga? You too influenced. Tripping off this rap music, your guys don't know how to chase it back. My guys, we get straight to it. Straight to it like a drag race. The beat's slow, but lately I've been living at a fast pace. Money talks, I'm familiar with how cash tastes. Got money low like a broke bitch's gas. Tank. Uh, don't talk to me about no work ethic. No work I've been driven since day one. Y'all curb checking. Curb Heartache and heartbreaks be the worst lessons. If I would have known, I would have ignored the first message. Uh, grass is greener on the other side. The other now side. it's greener where you water it. Keep that in mind. That in yeah, mind. we all got a story, but shit, this more than mine. Yeah, I'm gonna die a thousand times to see my bros alive. My bros alive. On the road, scene switching while I'm beat listening. Uh, uh, Suit and tie, suitcases, how I mean business. Uh, uh, I stay hungry, I'm still eating. My meal's different. My meal's I know different. we all made the same, but shit. I feel different. Yeah, I feel oh, you hear me now? Man, y'all bandwagon. bandwagon. I say ten toes down, and now they can't stand it. Toes. Gripping the rap game until my hands cramping. They see a Mexican uh, rapping and think it's outlandish. Uh, Something man. different to the world, like a fifth like season. A fifth I season. be living my lyrics, man. Y'all lip syncing. Lip -syncing. I got a book full of verses for when I meet Jesus. Uh, How about uh, y'all give me my flowers while I'm still breathing? Still breathing. If I don't do it, then who gon' do it? Are you gon' do it, nigga? You too influenced. Tripping off this rap music. Your guys don't know how to chase it back. My Guys, we get straight to it. If I don't do it, then who gon' do it? Are you gon' do it, nigga? You too influenced. 
tripping no, up this crap music. Guys don't know how to chase it back. My guys, we get straight to it. I don't know what they, who the hell is. Uh, oh, come on, man. This, this is a lot of time when I wanted to call my mom and freaking at other times. And you gotta freaking pick up the freaking mic, but it's too big and you know that you have small hands. I don't even know where the heck I'm gonna go with this, but a lot of freaking time when I'm really trying to flow with this freaking cool. And I know that I'm about to open the soda quick because everybody freaking knows that I don't even know this shit. Also, man, I noticed that freaking all of the people freaking up and scoping, 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 scoping. First of all, come on, man. You better be back. Hold on. There we go. All right. And then, uh, do I do content matters? Life music or inspiration? This for every nigga with a passion. This for every nigga with a grind. This for every nigga with ambition. This for every nigga with a drive. Be great. Be great. Be great. Anyways, um, listen, you got in there. Teach you the thing as per usual, man. Conviction, uh, actual freaking content. Every bar, you know what I'm saying, was on point. You know what I'm saying? You're actually talking about something. Um, the only thing that I could see anyone having a problem with is, you know, maybe the repetition in the melodies on the verses and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're going to sing vocal, like melodically on anything, I'm always reminding you guys, like treat it like an R&B singer, like have variation in, in what you're freaking singing. Um, you know, certain things are okay though, right? Because, uh, you know, he's still getting in, like he's really freaking rapping in there. I feel like, um, you know, that's what anybody freaking needs to really feel like he's a real rapper. And like this could have, this could have went, you know, too far into the like almost Drake type record, you know what I'm saying? Sort of freaking lane or whatnot. You hear a production like that and you often, you know, think about, you know, Drake getting on and, you know, doing something. But I didn't hear Drake at all. I was hearing, you know what I'm saying? This artist. Uh, the chorus was very freaking catchy and you know by the freaking end I'm singing right along with well, actually no I think by the either it was the the first time or the like, second time around I was you know singing along freaking with it or whatnot so I feel like the crowd is definitely gonna get in there and, and people the more they hear the song though they'll, they'll get in it you know what I mean like we all we love these conviction type records the ones where like the artist is like you can tell they're serious about what they freaking do They've been through some stuff, which informs, you know, a lot of their music. And, um, you know, like, I'm a goofy rapper, you know? I'm of the cloth of the Eminem, Redman, Ludacris, uh, you know, Odd Future, Lil Dicky, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to make y'all laugh, you know? Shout out to T.R. Wack and, and freaking shit like that. Um, and often, I don't really get to make these type of, you know what I'm saying, things just because, you know? Like, I, I don't feel normal if I'm not not normal you know what i'm saying like I'm, i get that that is the real freaking me like kind of freaking shit um and so I often you know i don't get like jealous or envious but i do like that there's this other aspect that you guys can do that i cannot you know so not that i not that i like can't but again you know i always want to have you know those those you know why everybody else is is like you know serious i can then come back and you know bring some something to you know make you guys laugh and freaking chuckle if it gets a little bit you know what i'm saying too serious or depressing depending on what's going on so there's that yin and the freaking yang and i appreciate it shout out to freaking scripts in the building i'll see you kino had a freaking 10 on that ring uh icon was like of course uh you know what i'm saying saying yes sir um, you know, give us a little bit of background on your name and stuff like that. It's a very uh unique, you know, name in itself, you know what I'm saying? Rincon, you know what I'm saying? Like uh uh what's the what's the what's the meaning in that? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Where do you sort of get it from? Where do you take it? Is it like, you know, your actual name or like where where also who are some of your influences musically? Let us freaking know in the chat. We'll go ahead and continue on with the freaking show right about now and appreciate you for the skip. If anybody else is trying to skip their self. Yo, nonsense and stir Mike, this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes. Birdman will talk to an actual bird like I'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite. Don't make me put you or actual worms lie. Don't like my old shit. I'm thinking you were high like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool better act like you surprised head to McDonald's I'm about to steal your fries also STL was asking if you're on Spotify
Spotify and stuff like that. So, uh, and what else was I going to say? Uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of research into, like, look, there are certain distributors that when they upload your record to YouTube, uh, people are actually able to comment on the freaking shit. Then there are ones that don't. I don't know which ones are the which ones are the ones and the whys, you know what I'm saying? If there's a, an option that we got to freaking click on and which one, but I'm going to figure that out so I can sort of like kind of push you guys in that direction or whatnot because I feel like, you know, any anything we upload or have uploaded to, you know, most platforms, man, we have to have the full, you know, amount of freaking features just in case, you know, uh, you know, fans of the actual song want to show love to it or whatnot, right? You know what I'm saying? You have something on there that people aren't really able to comment on and, you know, sort of go, hey, man, I love, you know, this is my whatever record and shit like that. So just in the future, make sure that if I don't let y'all know, just figure that thing out. Get in there. We're going to go ahead and jump back into the free line. Kino, you are up freaking next. Let's go ahead and drop you. Let's go ahead and drop you. Matter of fact, every time I wake up, I always ask, what would Tupac do? This is Scarred for Life. It feels so romantic, every time that I don't know your man went. Girl, and I freaking tell can you out to some place. I don't know what that happened. Yo. South, east, and west side. If we roll through a city, we get nothing but love. From all the OG, to all the ladies in the dove. If that was up, it ain't nothing like loving yourself, get money, your wealth. Even though I'm going through some bad hell, I remember when they said I was going to never be when shit. Look at me now, I'm really oh, yeah. and I'm still the shit. Bitch, I got J. Spill that one up. D. Shells. The scarf of life, click, but just said my nigga reds. My nigga spurt that my dog to this day. Hey, yo, spurt, it's okay. Let these motherfuckers hate you still my G, nigga. Germany too. This for rocking with us, your daughter's ones for you. And to all those little haters who never wanna play us, yo, guess what? You can never stop a player, and I mean necessarily. I hope these motherfuckers hear me. Now take me seriously. It don't matter where we at or wherever we go. We scream and stop a life forever. Better act like you know now. As as is for all the swag. See, we be getting all the cash. Hey, we be got all the apple. Uh, yeah. Cause we so real about it Now D Give that like Old school It's that gold mask in the house It's the gold mask It's the little time where people They forget what they're rapping And they go past you Won't stand in the toe fast Shout out to No Emotion I haven't heard no emotion in a cool minute, man. We're here forever. Now, as this is for all the swag. See, we be getting all the cash. John White used to send a lot of uh, no emotion to the show. Now, D is for all my dogs. It's a reason why we're still together. Oh, lie. And we will never fall. Yeah, we're stuck for life and we're here forever. Now, as this is for all the swag. Oh. 
on my door and fall. Is the reason why we're still together for life? And we will never fall, yeah. We start with life and we're here forever. Man, big figures to look. Shout out to Figgins to me. Nappy! R! Oh! Uh. Okay, so shout out to Pink and Kino on this, man. The thing that I like about you always is that, you know, your consistency is in, you know, the nostalgia factor. Your your records will feel a little bit, you know what I'm saying, dated, but in a good way, right? Um, you know, I mean, that depends on, you know, the listener or whatnot. But, you know, I, it harkens back to, like, in E-40, you know, someone even mentioned, like, DJ Quick or something like that. Um... Uh, E40B legit, stuff like that. The beat is a little bit, you know, more freaking chill, more jazzy. Uh, you know, something a little, a little bit freaking different. So it, it might be an acquired taste for people. It's not something that I can see everyone liking. But also, you know, if you take this to a certain, you know, level, maybe get like a Nate Dog on it right along with them, right? If you imagine Nate Dog on this song you know getting a verse and stuff like that all of a sudden it takes on a whole different level as well and you sort of see a little bit more of the the vision and, and stuff like that you know you're of course uh consistent with just sort of like how you rap this stuff um you know and i think there might be people who might need a little bit figure more but again it depends on what everyone is going to need or whatnot Danny Brown was like figuring that's enough. Uh, let me see, 8 to 21 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Coffee time indeed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? DJ Quick era freaking style there. That was freaking Paul. Uh, greeting from, you know what I'm saying? Dublin, Ireland. You know what I'm saying? In the freaking cuss. Oh, of course, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's Johnny. You know what I'm saying? So somebody else sent a record in yesterday, I think. Here's Johnny. And I recommended you as a feature. Uh, you know, as you guys know what how I freaking do or whatnot, I always go, you know what? Hey, you know who would rock this too? And y'all be da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, you know what I do. You know what I do. I ain't gotta freaking say it, but I always let you know when you guys come into the freaking thing. Uh, let's see what we got next up. We're gonna jump back into the free line. Uh, see what we got next. I think you sent a YouTube but you did not send the actual freaking link, so you're making me have to freaking search for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm all good. Does this have, all right, this don't seem like it'll get a cut ish. Uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see the tongue in. Let me. Alright, rate this in the chat, 1 to 10, even on feedback is welcome, you already know what it is, we over here on the down, what it is, I'm thinking of any t-shirt, what it is, 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 Okay, is this? Feel like you know Miles is about to pop up or something. Dziękuję tobie za to, że się więcej nie zakocham Stracone lata młodości, a nie mamy żadnych wspomnień Tobie życzę jak najlepiej, póki jesteś jeszcze młoda Ja na swoje odchodzę i usuwam się w cień Dziękuję tobie za to, że się więcej nie zakocham Stracone lata młodości, a nie mamy żadnych wspomnień Tobie życzę jak najlepiej, póki jesteś jeszcze młoda Ja na swoje odchodzę i usuwam się w cień Z każdym miesiącem robię coraz gorsze rzeczy Przeszłość do mnie wraca, chyba czas się leczyć Wciąż się zastanawiam, czy z tobą byłbym lepszy To co mnie cieszyło kiedyś, teraz mnie nie cieszy Z każdym miesiącem robię coraz gorsze rzeczy Przeszłość do mnie wraca, chyba czas się leczyć Wciąż się zastanawiam, czy z tobą byłbym lepszy To co mnie cieszyło kiedyś, teraz mnie nie cieszy Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this tobie za to, że się więcej nie zakocham Stracone lata młodości <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
posuwam się w Najgorsze w tym wszystkim, że się nie da tego cofnąć Mimo braku pożegnania, każdy z nas swoją stronę poszło Nigdy sobie nie powiemy, jak do tego doszło Czas nam właśnie I'm pokazuje, so happy że milczenie right. nas przerosło I'm gonna take that door, you know, if we can play that Cause that's where I'm figuring out I'm like... <laughs> Okay. Cause here's the thing out. Hear me out. Why I kept it on for freaking so long was the freaking unorthodoxness of it. How he looks is nothing like you think when you're listening to the song itself, right? Cause you're imagining some kind of you know like rave and shit. You know what I'm saying? And like. You know, a rave, like a rave in like Russia or, or, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And then like in that aspect, it, with, with a different kind of like view, I think it'll take on a different light. But also there's this aspect of because of how you look, it also makes it slightly interesting and funny and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But it doesn't make me like the record anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I would download this specifically, at least this version, like with that production on it. I want something different. It's too, it's way too just like, you know, that that typical, you know, version within the, the drama or whatnot. I would take your vocals, build something around it. That would be freaking even doper. Uh, also, I can't understand what you're saying. That doesn't knock any points off whatsoever, ever. All right. When I can't understand the language, I can still hear the cadence and how you guys rap. And, you know, not everything was perfect. There were some parts where you might have had too many syllables freaking here and there and stuff like that. Uh, but again, I don't think this was a song that you intended on people taking serious either. You know what I'm saying? Like you almost probably expect people to, you know, hit that freaking button and, and you know, kind of, you know, have a little bit of a field day with it. Um, but yeah, give your freaking thought. What do you say? You said switch up midway, you know what I'm saying? Points or I delayed the ways basket, you know what I'm saying? Baseline, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tim Crowns, you know what I'm saying? Eastern Euro beats, you know what I'm saying? Needs a mix. And too monotone, yes yeah, sir. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I like the beat and R. Uh, with a freaking Draco was freaking saying. We're gonna play it, of course, from STL. Uh, and uh, we have a. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! Don't press it again. Uh, we have a skip coming up. It's a three song back to back from scripts. Let's go ahead and throw that in. And then we will continue back on in the free line for you. Ladies and gentlemen. Did I bring the thing in? Man, I hate when it takes like, feels like it takes a year to freaking come on. Figure sometimes. Let's see how long this takes. So not. I've pressed the button. I've pressed the button. And Search right? for the master sword. You guys are really bad at spitting rhymes, and you ain't real and have no skills. And so I mastered George. I could have been killed running past the horde of zombies when I crashed the card and smashed it, blasted four magic dwarves. And man, you know how all these bastards are. I'm like Aladdin when he traps Jabbar inside a lamp for acting hard when all he had to do was spit a rap or just beatbox to go distract the guards. Uh -huh. I got a hundred rupees planted on my, my master card. card. Okay. Don't make me chase a chicken, take, take it, make it, it, take a listen, listen to my new mixtape and mention it to what. The raven pigeons. Right. I'll take your sword and stick it into any dude who's out there pillaging and raping women. Don't make me make you come up missing, cause that ain't the mission. I used to date this fat girl who I brought home one time, but then she up and ate the kitchen. I used to feel safer on cops until somehow we all became the victim. Now let me try and paint the vision. Dude, did Dude Double also send the freaking three song? That's ironic. If both of y'all sent three song back to backs and shit. Hold on. Please hold on while you're not being whatever. Hold on. Uh, okay. I'll put yours in right after these and I'll try to get these done in a timely matter. For you. Okay. Got you. And first and foremost, we got Jax with loyalty. Let's go ahead and throw this in and then we'll move on to the freaking second. Again, as always, we rate everything on a 1 to 10 scale. Any and all feedback is welcome and enjoy. 
Sometimes we get beat, sometimes we get songs. Uh, real nigga. Mm. All fresh, no fish. Peter pop a pig of opposition, four them, show them how to pick them. Remember, I was fucked up, no pop the pussy. Mama told me, stop trapping, I ain't listen. This missus left and now you miss it. If you ain't got a nigga, gon' go get it. High as hell, shining high road, glitter. Got it right in the trunk where the engine supposed to be. You know that you know it's me. You can't like be royalty this. if you ain't loyal to me. You can't be royalty if you ain't loyal to me. Louis Vuitton is fashion. Pray a rug, a lad. Seat belt strap, yeah, it's fashion. Niggas be talking about crash. Learn it from my past. I do this shit with a passion. I ask God for clarity. They need to give me no glass. Jump in the shit, y'all splash. Hopping up out of G Wagon. Uh. Got no cash, so why the fuck is he bragging? Uh, PRP, they sag. I don't even need to be sagging, but I gotta show my ass. But them niggas thought I was capping. <laughs> Baby, I really be facts. <laughs> Baby, I really be rapping. <laughs> Glad to see me in the can. They wanna see me in the cash. That right. And I wear all my Roddy. We mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. We got the ratchet. Yeah. Right. Stuff in the cash in my pocket. Just stick a lot of paper. Yeah, it's like a packet. Yeah, I'm fucking her and her friend. Oh, stick it to me like Magnus, yeah I'm fucking her and her friend, yeah Told Brody buy all the Magnums, yeah Going on Sama Saddam, huh. You know I been, been laddin', yeah If you wanna know where I am You will find me on Jackson, yeah Real nigga All fresh, no fish Peter pop a pig of opposition Fuck them, show them how to pick them Remember, I was fucked up, no pop the pussy Mama told me stop trapping, I ain't listen This missus left and now you miss her if you ain't got a nigga, gon' go get it High as hell, shining high road, glitter Got it right in the trunk where the engine supposed to be You know that you know it's me You can't be royalty if you ain't loyal to me Yeah, what I say Hell style hoodie is fashion Fighting my demons with ratchet, yeah. yeah. Some in the nights could have been tragic, Could've. but God walked with me in passing, yeah. I ready him hat on my basket, my inner savage, how can I mask it here? Yeah. Chicago is too full of madness, niggas ain't scrapping, niggas is blasting here. Yeah. We hood heroes, we the foes, we stuck to the cold. I'm a barbaric, yeah. jacking a fool, bitch, I'm a goon. When what? I step in rooms, they gon' get out of there. Yeah, my chains is chandeliers, oh, yeah. my fingers is man the kills, bitch. Oh, yeah. Lost some homies, we shed some tears. Oh, yeah. Lord, tears the standard here. Yeah. Bitch, real nigga, real niggas. All fresh, no fish. Peter pop a pig of opposition. Fuck them, show them how to pick them. Remember, I was fucked up, no pop the pussy. And I love it. Don't I'm trapping, I ain't listen. This missus left and now you miss him. If you ain't got a nigga, gon' go get it. High as hell, shining high road, glitter. Right in the trunk where the engine supposed to be. You know that you know it's me. You can't be royalty if you ain't loyal to me. Can't be royalty if you ain't loyal to me. People don't ask me questions, cause they think that I'm kinda slow. I like other energy on this, but it's energy, it was kinda low. There's a like lot of places where I'm trying to go. I don't know what the hell I'm about to freaking do, but I'm in Cali, but I really wanna freaking go up to China. So let me freaking try to figure out a way that I can get a bigger house. Sometimes I don't bust rhymes, as a freaking sit up in the bus line, and I wait for the freaking bus. I'm freaking chilling in the corner sometimes. I'ma chill with your daughter sometimes. I'ma chill. And get some water, then I'm about to freaking tell all of y'all to maybe go about and around. I don't know why, but I'm freaking making y'all laugh because I'm a clown. There's a lot of time when you freaking like how I freaking run when I'm around. Also, freaking, I don't even know how the fuck to find Waldo. Y'all go to a freaking place, half of y'all niggas is racist. Y'all don't even know where I'ma take this. Out of fact, I'ma get a cake, bitch, because I need to fly. I am me to freaking, I don't even think that I would eat a fly sometimes. I don't even know if I don't even know if I can like read or write and listen Let me talk about how the fuck that I am in the damn freaking kitchen And I don't even know what the hell to scratch right now But I am itching sometimes Listen, this was too dope I like this beat, man Oh my gosh Forget me, don't, don't worry about what I did I like the song itself I'm trying to hit the whole, you know what I'm saying, bars button and shit like that, cause the shit was freaking. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you know, you know, you know what? I, I want to hit something freaking different, not the bars, but I mean, let me let me hit this one. Please don't take forever. Come on, man. With your two hours, two hours.
later. As soon in as in studio, you just slave yourself. Why am I waiting? You just played yourself. Wait thief, wait thief. You just a wait thief, wait thief. Look like a wait thief, wait thief. Talk like a wait thief, wait thief. You just a wait thief, wait thief. You just a wait thief, wait thief. Look like a wait thief, wait thief. Talk like a wait thief, wait thief. You just a wait thief. He talk real fly. All right, first and foremost, man, let's just get in here. All right, uh, man, that beat is freaking dope as freaking hell. I honestly, uh, if I was doing the That Dorky Award show like early, and I'm I'm doing it freaking today, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying there there definitely is gonna be an award for beat selection, you know what I'm saying? For you know both the individual artists, but also um, you know for each submitter freaking too. I feel like scripts. Um, you know what I'm saying? Who initially sent, you know, these three records. He's both a rapper, a producer, uh, and, you know, he has a team of artists that he'll work with, you know what I'm saying, from time to time. Sometimes the records aren't things that he has, you know, produced or whatnot, but he'll send a lot of their, their work to the freaking show. And almost every time, why do I always start off with almost when I'm literally, you know, no, it's like every time. Every record, every submission that he sends is, you know, top notch. You know what I'm saying? Mixes are freaking there. The, you know, the artists are freaking dope. It's different. It's something, you know, that doesn't just feel like a typical, you know, we've heard the type of record before type of freaking shit. Uh, and I appreciate that, man. Like you working with, you know, the the artists that are willing to do something different, but also the fact that, uh, you know, you, you know, support that, the fact that they make it at all. Uh, you know, you guys give your thoughts in the chat. I'll read that off and then we'll get into the second song. See what's up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bossy View was like walks in dancing and shit like that. Hey, exactly, right? You know what I'm saying? You got to do some kind of weird freaking shit. Like, STA, you know what I'm saying? We're like, cook, dog, cook. Listen, man, that shit, you know when you inspire some shit. You know? That's basically what happened in there. Uh, double, double, you know what I'm saying, man? Or do double, man. Do double. Is it like Doctor Do Double? Is like that's if I was to add, and you know, help you complete your name, I just add a doctor in front of that, and then you know what I'm saying. You get you you complete. You know, Doctor Do Double, and then of course people would be like, oh, it's like Doctor Do Little and shit like that. It, it immediately gets them to remind themselves of something you know what I'm saying familiar, while also being like, you know what, it's kind of cool because it is different. You know what I mean? And then we'll see, of course, how, you know, the, the style of everything is. But uh, let me see. You said Fun died. You know what I'm saying? What's my song? No, nope, not yet. She'd still be in the free line. Let me see. Mad respect. You know what I'm saying? Do that, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Like the obscure beat. Exactly, man. Listen, as I said before, when it comes to anything that's a Griselda type of freaking shit, something that's maybe like, you know, Alchemist freaking, you know, themed or something, you know, I'm already all in and, you know, you, you pretty much, you know, won won me over uh because these type of beats really make you want to go in and shit like that and even let me remind people of freaking something right now all right no matter how i freestyle on the freaking show if i come off or freaking not i will always if i were still asked to get on the same song or something like that i'm always going to go in and write my verse freestyling is like one sort of style and even like a whole different version of me because i'm trying to See if I you like whatever comes to my mind. I'm freaking saying I'm not necessarily trying to stay on a full freaking topic, uh, in some cases, and it's a test for me always to just see like what I can freaking do and like have fun and shit like that, right? But if I'm writing to a song again, it's that bar for bar, wanting to figure out every single line and like thinking about what the beat like. The beat reminds me of like you know some kind of mystical, magical you know, kind of, you know what I'm saying, random, you know, shit, shit like that. So I'd probably pull out, you know, different lines, you know, on, on some, you know, fantasy kind of freaking shit, some evil scientists, you know, kind of shit and I like that. Let me see, hold on, uh, before I move on to the next one, I'm just going to add this one to the playlist and then move in to the next all right second up second up don't you get at me little now don't you get at me little now i'm trying to get this right okay the second one we got a video right joel q let's go ahead and put this in my bro you got food let me see chicago 
Giants featuring Jill Jaju. No, Jill Jill Laju. Hold on, let's go into video mode, man. Hold on. Let's officially go into video mode. Let's run you back a little bit. Make sure it can run. Okay. Bring that into full mode. Come over here. Add the freaking name. Take it into the freaking cusp. Face palm, face palm, face palm, face palm. Yo, check, non-change with the face palm. Vince Vaughn's been in space loss with his face gone. Still a race cause and a faint yawn. It's a space ball. Stay chill or remain calm. Take pills every day. Nah, I don't take pills. I just smoke. Uh, wake up to riches, my life a privilege, not cause I'm special, I go the distance, I know I'm gifted, I know the difference, no time for interviews, no time for pictures, go and get the money, snow so I'm a sunny, so cold when I flow, your nose is running, hit at the hit, I'm cool like pot bill, jerk wings, my girl cool with oxtails, risk taker, I make moves that make more, hall of fame before I Nine, I'm Frank Gore. Uh -huh. Niggas can't rap, they diss and make war. The throne empty, I take mine and take yours. Too good at it. The beat already fire, I push wood at it. I never run from a challenge, I just stood at it. Can't too far to move timid. Try hard or die hard, I'm Bruce Willis. My words like landlords, I move niggas. I've been great. What else to prove, nigga? The sensei, still student, but more teacher. I've been ahead. Get used to scorekeeping. Just not you. Get used to floor sweeping. I know how it feels to lose, it ain't easy. I'ma tell you like Jigga had told us. Can't leave rap alone, the game need me. Uh, Jilla, nigga. I like that the already. The was stuck and was loaded my luggage. Your telly's yeah. on buggies. You smell what I'm puffing. I swear it was nothing to walk up and sacks to get fly. Yeah. Go off if a little nigga buzzing. My closet yeah. disgusting. My lady seductive. I'm not yeah. with the fake handshakes or the hug. And you play me as busting. My AK is rushing. Ain't no way to tuck it. Giannis, I buck it. You wake up the drama. I wake up the commas. Two wives be the label. Hill hop be the genre. Master my ink. I should work for the monsters. You in my city can fill up a concert. I'm worth a cool little hundred. My black ass. I didn't want to stunt too hard. I'm a jackass. Jilla got a whole bunch of clips like snapchat money off rap chat right in my cash app who about to do me as good as i do me she Ooh. sucked the dick for the fame she a groupie Ooh. i slipped and fell in the pussy like oopsie yeah. icy like gucci but thugging like boosie yeah. trapped like a rock and i treat it like whitney and bobby and pookie joel ali oop me you like to act like the bitches you drewski you shit that you rap about straight out of movie uh -huh. i live it i done it i'm off it and own it a gift to the present i live in the moment live you couldn't it. live what i lived in my past you, you can just tell where my future is going i'm winning i know it the women are sorted they Pretty and gorgeous, we fucking record it. I like the women, I'm dealing with brown. I like the liquor, I'm sipping and pour it. Life is a lot, but you gotta embrace it. Look all your fear in the mirror and face it. So you can manifest all of your dreams. Say what you want, then go get it and take it. I'm back to the basics, my back on the ropes, but I'm actually waiting. Been practicing patience. I got a knack for spectacular saying, super saying, a vernacular damn. I was surviving off noodles and spam. Now I get tomahawk, medium lamb. I got the boy, girl, girl, boy flow. Simply put, you get stuck in the trance i stuck to the plans i hustled the brands i started the wave you followed the trend you should be lucky i'm letting you win thou should not fuck with my family friends chief key so i'm back from the dead don't like none of you rappers i actually said niggas be bitches bitches be bitching i don't understand all the bitch that's a niggas don't understand how to switch on my niggas get in my bag when they get in they feelings still bumping wheezy because it ain't no ceiling ice on my neck is the only thing chilling i'm older and wiser you play with my guys and you going to get shot out the shot like i'm Pfizer. you going down I'm a Mary J. Blige, your word to line, Muhammad Elijah, moving in silence, money and violence, music and fashion, fly as a pilot, Jilla the meanest, Q is the nicest, loaded the bases, we are the giants. There is a thing that I was like, I don't know how the heck, I don't know got it in my island, then I was like, I don't give us the heck I'm a dude with this all them chapters the island, then I was speaking like Jilla the island. That's why I love that one too. Why don't you just be sitting skipping class, man? Oh shit! We gotta run it back. <laughs> we gotta run it back on that. We might have to. We might have to hit that thing or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Also, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna keep it completely freaking real too, right? You know what I'm saying? I wanna completely keep it, keep it real, right? You know what I mean? Just so people freaking know, you know what I mean? Like that he, he we, we, we getting, we're getting running backs uh, uh, on this, right? And it is more than two minutes, right? So for the people that that think. 
People only like short records, and they're never gonna get, you know what I'm saying, ran back ever again. There can never be too many books, but living without the internet would suck and shit would get weird like too many cooks. If you're always getting robbed, there's too many crooks. <laughs> living without the internet would suck and shit would get weird like too many I'm telling y'all. So, for those who don't know, when we do do the running backs, I do a little bit of the, you know, pre-review just to get my, uh, my fresh ideas figured off and and then, you know what I'm saying, I, uh, you know, will run it back, of course, or whatnot. But while well, everything's fresh fresh, and, you know, freshly squeezed out of my brain right freaking now, man. You know, the beat was freaking dope, you know what I'm saying, from the jump. Once again, as I said, uh, every record that has been sent to the show by, you know what I'm saying, Daniel freaking Scripps, I have felt to a freaking T. The beats are dope, the mixes are dope, the artists are, are dope, and it always feels like I'm missing out on this other side of you know just dopeness and so like that honestly we've been feeling like that most of the freaking day we've been having a lot of great you know what i'm saying songs and stuff like that um but i'm talking about this specifically with uh daniel scripts because he you know does send to the show a freaking lot when he does pop up if it's a three song back to back you know what i'm saying it's literally like a three for three kind of situation where all of them are you know it's it's hard to pick if you only could choose one to sort of like put money into, like they're all, you know, kind of freaking dope. First one, you know, had that same, you know, sort of vibe. We could like literally do that same thing, freaking run that back. Uh, but we'll do this one. And what was I gonna say? Uh, how he freaking rapped on, how they how they rapped, you know, was freaking proper, you know what I'm saying? On both ends, you know what I'm saying? They killed it, had bars, had a, had a you know, slower kind of freaking flow and made everything freaking work. Um, and there were just some, some lines in there where I'm like, that was, that was, that was, that was freaking dope and shit like that. So we're going to go ahead and run this one back. You know what I'm saying? Give your, your freaking thoughts. What did you say? Pause how much you had third verse, you know what I'm saying? Anchoring, you know what I'm saying? Like a heavyweight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jilla, eh. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you know what I'm saying? Great work, lyrical flow, you know what I'm saying? The content, fire, cool beat, uh, too as well. You know what I'm saying? Down on this freaking track. Uh, yeah, that trans bar, man. Like that was honestly, that was a good. That was one of the best bars I heard in a while. You know what I'm saying? In terms of, especially like trying to, you know, like it's, it's a, it's a current, a good timing. It's not like offensive. You know what I'm saying? And and it just, it just, you know, uh, 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 hits in the freaking right way or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead. See if there's anything we can also freaking catch because there was a lot of dope bars in there. One more Hello. game, one more game. Uh, two for two. Wake up to riches. My life a privilege. Not because I'm special. I go the distance. Hey. I know I'm gifted. I know the difference. No time for interviews. No time for pictures. Go and get the money. Snow so I'm a sunny. So cold when I flow, your nose is running. Hit at the hit, I'm cool like pot bill. Jerk wings, my girl cool with oxtails. Risk taker, I make moves that make more. Hall of Fame at 4 9, I'm Frank Gore. Niggas can't rap, they diss and make war. The throne empty, I take mine and take yours. Too good at it. The beat already fire, I push wood at it. I never run from a challenge, I just stood at it. Can't too far to move timid try hard to die hard i'm bruce willis my words like landlords i move niggas i've been great what else to prove nigga the sensei still stupid but more teacher i've been ahead get used to scorekeeping just not you get used to floor sweeping i know how it feels to lose it ain't easy i'ma tell you like chicken had told us can't leave rap alone the game need me <laughs> uh jello nigga before you was stuck and was loaded my luggage your tellies on buggies you smell what i'm puffing i swear it was nothing to walk up and sacks to get fly go off if a little nigga buzzing my closet disgusting my lady seductive i'm not with the fake handshakes or the hug and you play me it's busting my ak is rushing ain't no way to tuck it giannis i buck it you wake up the drama i wake up the commas two eyes be the label hip hop be the genre master my ink i should work for the monster you in my city can fill up a concert i'm worth a cool little hundred my black ass i didn't want to stunt too hard i'm a jackass Jilla got a whole bunch of clips like Snapchat, money off rap chat, right in my cash app. Who about to do me as good as I do me? She sucked the dick for the fame, she a groupie. I uh. slipped and fell in the pussy like oopsie. Yeah. Icy like Gucci, but thugging like Boosie. Yeah. Trapped like a rock, and I treated like Whitney and Bobby and Pookie. Joel Ali me. You like to act like the bitches, you drewski. Shit that you rap about straight out of movie. Uh -huh. I live it, I done it, I'm off it and own it. A gift to the present, I live in the moment. Live you couldn't it. live what I lived in my past. You, you can just tell where my future is going. I'm winning, I know it. The women are sorted, they pretty and 
being gorgeous, we fucking record it. I like the women I'm dealing with brown. I like the liquor I'm sipping and poured it. Life is a lot, but you gotta embrace it. Look all your fear in the mirror and face it. So you can manifest all of your dreams. You say what you want, then go get it and take it. I'm back to the basics, my back on the ropes, but I'm actually waiting. Been practicing patience. I got a knack for spectacular saying. Super saying, the vernacular, damn. I was surviving off noodles and spam. Now I get tomahawk, medium lamb. I got the boy, girl, girl, boy flow. Simply put, you get stuck in the trance. I stuck to the plans. I hustled the grands. I started the wave. You followed the trend. You should be lucky I'm letting you win. Thou should not fuck with my family friends. Chief T. Sosa, I'm back from the dead. Don't like none of you rappers. I actually said, niggas be bitches. Bitches be bitching. I don't understand all the bitch that's in niggas. Don't understand how to switch on my niggas. Get in my bag when they get in their feelings. Still bumping wheezy because it ain't no ceilings. Ice on my neck is the only thing chilling. I'm older and wiser. You play with my guys and you going to get shot out the shot like I'm five. You going down, I'm a Mary J. Blige Your word to our line, Muhammad Elijah Moving in silence, money and violence Music and fashion, fly as a pilot Jill of the meanest, Q is the nicest Loaded the bases, we are the giants Chicago Giants, that's my name Jill. They got like too One last thing, one last thing It's like, I like the, the energy um, you know what I'm saying? It's like they come with the right amount of the right amount of energy while also kind of you know not initially having to scream like right in your face and uh, you know what I'm saying stuff like that. So hold on, let me add this one as well to my playlist. I gotta get back into my. I don't know why it does that. I still have to figure it out. Hold on. Yee! Okay, let me go back in it. Again, that was Joey Q, Chicago Giants featuring Jelazu. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. It could be Jelazu as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying Jelazu and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jelazu. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Shape pop. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, uh, let me see. So I put that link in the chat for y'all. Y'all can go freaking get that. Also, the freaking name is freaking there. So the flow carries everything, man. You know what I'm saying? It's fluid and fire ass track, man. Exactly, though. But like, and like I said in the chat, right? I said I love bars that make you want to go harder. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of makes you start, you know rethinking you know maybe certain approaches to certain songs that you have right again there are some times where we take very simple approaches to freaking things and you know you do have to think about like that's why this is why i i, I like writing the most right because you do have the time to think about those dope lines like what can i say freaking here that would be dope that maybe nobody freaking said or whatnot when you're freestyling there there's always that chance of you just kind of saying the same thing that not only you have already said a million times on the same on you know other songs you know but the same thing that other artists have also said you know as opposed to you being able to get in there, come up with a concept or, you know, uh, uh, getting with a sort of freaking theme and the freaking thing. We do have one last freaking record, man. Let's see if he can go once again. Three, four, freaking three. And again, this three song about the back submission. Back up on my bullshit, trapped under the attic. I tried to think I'm grown, but then I'm still in the magic. I tried to race a car, then crash flew in the traffic. Started acting like a fool, like Zach Galifianakis. You know what I'm saying? So hold on. Last one. This is also possibly a video. Unchi and Panamera PX Rim still breathing. Sounds like it might be something more real. Yeah, look, 
Already got the low, no need for dropping it You either struggle with me or you was watching it I tried to show them love, they gave me opposite See first I do the ice and pour on top of it It's funny how you lose when you on top of shit Really got this off the floor while nobody was mopping it I ever get my foot up in that door, I'm probably locking it I used to put the hanger in the door to shoot the sock in it Trying to scrape the extras off, just so I can pocket it Standing tall with just my back against the ropes I lost my brother, then my dad That's when my family lost the hope Feel like death been getting closer Got me mixing all my feelings together Shit like mimosa Can't wait till this shit over uh, Like where were you when I was grieving? It wasn't no blessings, I was sneezing Money coming, y'all was leaving Don't feel alive, but I'm still breathing Ain't complaining They ask me how I'm doing, shit I'm maintaining Yeah, yeah, I'm still breathing Double cups, I'm still leaning yeah, I lost people and I'm still grieving. Been trying to live cause I don't know when I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. POE shit, man. Pirates over everything. Put nothing above it. Look, 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 I've been one of them ones. Kept a drum in his gun for profit. I'm not a prophet, he just one of his he sons. Heard they still sleeping. Guess he was sipping that Robitessin. I know the stresses when niggas trapped and don't know the exit. See, it's different when they still on them porches and you on Porsches. A lot of niggas round, you the one that they view important, so you gotta move. I pass them plates when it's a lot of food. He lacking faith amidst a lot of screws. He trying to knock a nigga lid off, he catch him, you know it's action. He know he packed it before they could get him, you know he whacked him, it's the world. Win. I think about it in the pearl bins. I chase a dollar till the world ends. Yeah, I'm still breathing. Double cups, I'm still leaning. Yeah, I lost people and I'm still grieving. Been trying to live cause I don't know when I'm leaving. Yeah. Marathon, shit not a race, we keep going My brody lost faith, pray for him and keep hoping Day to day with niggas, stay cautious, don't play with niggas Ain't wait till tables turn, got another table nigga Fuck what niggas saying, need them wiped off the surface All these shells I dodge, still breathing, I got a purpose Ain't going back and forth with a nigga, this not a versus Money talk, get niggas chalk, you just a purchase Man, I miss my dogs, I can't even lie Shed a tear, look up in the sky like Nigga, why you gotta die? Nigga, why you do that shit to me? Thinking about our history, just memories Can't make no more, my nigga, rest in peace Yeah, yeah, I'm still breathing, still breathing. For them niggas think it's sweet, we still creeping Yeah, 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 yeah Still eating, still eating. Smoke by the boatload, still cheaping Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm still breathing Double cups, I'm still leaning yeah, I lost people and I'm still grieving Been trying to live cause I don't know when I'm leaving Yeah One more time Okay, hurry up with the freaking claps, man Listen, you gotta be right on the Okay, we can go away here for you to uh, give your clap, claps in. Hold on, let me make sure that that, that thing don't fucking go and then we just come over here. Seriously, bro, you two? You two? Which one of y'all? No, listen, which one of y'all wanna go? Really? Okay, which, which one? Listen. Which, okay, no, 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 let, okay, you wanna be glitchy glitchington over here, all right? What is let you continue? Get it out. I feel like it's, it's just vomiting. Vom vomiting the claps. Oh my god, bro. Why? Why? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god. Seriously. Alright, stop. Alright, stop. Alright, stop. Alright. Jeez, man. Good thing that wasn't a skimmer clip. Um so big freaking salute this one right here you know what i'm saying a little bit more life music but without the sort of like piano centric you know kind of freaking production right you know what i'm saying often again life music is that pain and struggle music and stuff like that that beat and the sort of sample sort of takes you to the same uh realm and listen he gets in he raps he freaking does his thing it sounds uh uh like you know what i'm saying pure content actual you know what i'm saying there was still within the freaking cuss nothing that's that's freaking basic uh, and you know some some real street shit and uh, the quality in the video in all of 
the submissions that were videos sent today were top notch. You know what I'm saying? Very professional. Uh, you can always just tell what you know what you're freaking looking at and, and and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The the colors and different things like that will often freaking pop. If it's black and white. You know what I'm saying? That often you know still helps you know videos as well. But you know, man, man, man. <laughs> Three records. What was your favorite? This was mine. This was mine. That was that was that was still mine, man. Like that has you know that has a bounce that I think Timberland would fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I could see Timberland. You know, oh man, I wish I made that shit. Yeah, you know I mean, and and you know, I I definitely would be up to like you know remixing or doing some kind of freaking shit for me. So for me, number one, two was freaking dope as well. We were able to freaking run that back and shit like that. Three was also dope. You know what I'm saying? In a different lane. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like all of them, you know, deserve you know whatever kind of accolades. You know what I'm saying? Come to them. Like nothing was. Uh, 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 really whack, and you know they're not really in competition. You know what I'm saying with each other, but simply three songs you wanted to show us from these. You know what I'm saying artists who make dope records. So once again for these submissions, <laughs> and listen, we are in a little bit of a concert right now, man. Consider ourselves. Let's just pretend we're like you know in the moment when we have these sort of like back to back skips and situations, right? Uh, little mini concerts, uh, you know, if we were a show a little bit like, you know, American Idol or The Voice, where you're not necessarily, I don't consider you guys like competing against each other. We're not in like a battle or anything like that. Um, but I do like when you guys can sort of like, you know, like which, which, what's my best song out of freaking these that, 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 you know, I, I've sent through and stuff like that. We'll see, of course, uh, what, Mr. Do Double as freaking sent as he has a three song as well. And, uh, you know, vote on your favorite, you know what I'm saying, on freaking yours. Searching for the master sword, you guys are really bad at spitting rhymes and you ain't real and have no skills and so I mastered George. I could have been killed running past the horde of zombies when I crashed the card and smashed it, blasted four magic doors. And man, you know how all these bastards are. I'm like Aladdin when he chops Jabbar inside a lamp for acting hard when all he had to do was spit a rap or just beatbox to go distract the guards. I got a hundred rupees planted on my master card. Don't make me taste it. Listen to my new mixtape and mention it to all your raving pigeons. Okay, so do double. He said these are all off of his solo album. I've been producing and writing for about 20 plus years and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's see, uh, you know, what 20 plus possible freaking years of work, you know what I'm saying, can conduce to you, of course. Uh, and, you know, I appreciate you you as well hold on let me just put in uh the thing while we are right here excuse me do you want to eat bean and cheese sandwiches with freshly squeezed prison juice uh i don't know what that is do do i was gonna say do little do double when i need help We'll see, man. If you, 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 you. <laughs> yeah. Life is streaming in, revealing bodies next to me. Grab a cup of coffee, time to face my destiny. Another day, another dollar's what they say. I'm so poor, paying attention, I blink the weeks away. Trying to make a difference while I'm living on the surface They say I'm a success but wondering if it's actually working I look together but I'm a broken down actor I look grounded but I'm falling to disaster Everyone's seeing something I'm not seeing This ghost is floating through this life and it's having big feelings Another anxiety don't show you gotta keep it hidden Even if that thing you're holding on to is slowly killing Audibly comfortable the tales I tell my foes Come outside the lines, I need to practice self-control This ain't no joke, it may be funny, but I'm no longer laughing I'm sick and tired of being in the rooms where punchlines happen I don't know if you know this, but I need help Not with anyone else but myself I'm pretty sure that my pulse is slowly rising I know that deep down inside that my body's slowly dying I don't know if you know this, but I need help Not with anyone else but myself I'm pretty sure that the temperature is slowly rising And it looks outside like the world around is slowly dying A news flash 
on the TV about the war again I'm struggling to get both of my kids up for school at 6 a.m. Another mass shooting and more threats from Putin Search around my house trying to find where my son's shoes went There could be sunny skies in the perfect temp But we focus on the story where they're killing innocents Or the next prize possession that has no permanence Let's hop it off with stupid misunderstandings that are purposeless It's impossible to talk any logic logical With people who are broken and who have no honor code Let's write it off to whatever story is convenient You say you understand and agree, but really don't mean it I keep trying to put my faith in humanity While living in asylum with no patience and insanity I guess I just need to focus on my own family Because they still believe in this man and a better me I don't know if you know this, but I need help Not with anyone else but myself I only have the I'm first half, sure I think slowly rising. I know that deep down inside that yeah. my body's slowly dying I'm pretty sure that the temperature was slowly rising And it looks outside like the world around is slowly dying There's a lot of freaking shit When you got a freaking beat then bro I got a freaking spit I don't know what the hell I do But freaking there's a lot of times where you will be hopping in the pool and freaking there's a Man I like that man Listen tonight 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 <laughs> I'm t- I gotta go through I gotta th- I gotta go through my episodes and honestly like number the you know the sort of you know start numbering everything and like making any- everything into seasons and stuff like that because like you know there there's there are classics you know honestly like every single episode. I feel like I, you know, there's there's almost a luxury of too much content that I can, you know, make into the standalone, you know, sort of like spotlight reviews and stuff like that. Because uh, there's always, you know, the, the talent like this that, that comes out. Um, oh, I think I got the second half now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So I got your second half. So he upgraded to a takeover freaking skip, essentially. Um, which is six songs, you know what I'm saying, back to back. We'll go ahead and press that button in just a moment and then uh, put in that freaking second half just so we can continue on. But in terms of this record right here, man, uh, it was very different. The beat and the production, you know what I'm saying, that you were, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, sort of getting under with is um, uh, very epic um, and felt like something that when when it comes to like a music video potentially, uh can you know garner you know uh something either animated or just just a lot of production value i don't see something like you know simple you could like you know go to the woods and you know film one of those kind of just like you know or or do something where you're in an insane and silent uh, uh insane asylum or uh abandoned apartment or something you, you could do some some of those but also it feels like there's there's a lot that can that can be you know what i'm saying freaking had here you know what i'm saying again embarrassment of riches of ideas that we can sort of freaking have uh he could be like you know simply walking uh trying to you know go from one location to another and every like you know so often there are flashes of like people that seem to be following him or uh you know on 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 ceilings and shit like that you know creatures or or whatever uh you know just in in terms of the freaking song or again you know if you go with sort of like what you have in the uh image of the actual uh album cover kind of freaking thing right there uh you know you kind of do the song under what you know what i'm saying like if that if that somehow is possible where you know what i'm saying as like a band or something like that you know what i'm saying you as the sort of lead you know what i'm saying singer slash you know some rapper could be in the uh you know what i'm saying underwater playing or on top of the water somehow like we don't know like how you're in the water at all and 
maybe just like a clear glass kind of thing that's see through when it comes to the the freaking camera or something like that. Like you know, y'all know how they get creative freaking ways and shit like that. But there are a lot of things, man, that that song brings to sort of like make it happen. Send it back to the freaking show. Essentially, when the video freaking comes out, there may be a small amount of freaking areas that could use a little bit of a you know what I'm saying mix, but it's like close to that professional freaking level. So keep it up, and of course. We'll get on with your other submissions, but first I must upgrade you from the three songs. Searching for the master sword, you guys are really bad at spitting rhymes, and you ain't real and have no skills, and so I mastered you. To the takeover, skip. When you're down in the dead, one day in the dead, if you're not in your bed, then it's off with your head. And the land of the dead, or return of the dead, or God with the wind, wait, what's wrong with my head? When the down in the dead, one day in the dead. If you're not in your bed, then it's off with your head. In the land of the dead, or return of the dead, or go with the wind. Wait, what's wrong with my head? Alright, and also, little secret on the freaking show, man. If you pay for a, if you pay for a takeover freaking skip, uh, you do also not have to wait for the giveaways at the end of the freaking show and stuff like that. We all like we cannot be at a hundred yet at all on the freaking things. You'll still be able to spend the giveaway. Well, so before we finish your freaking thing up real freaking quick, since you sent it and upgraded to that takeover, uh, da, 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 da. give me a number. Uh, I need a number from you specifically, one to ten. Uh, just because again, I'm gonna give you your golden ticket right now. And then I'll continue with the rest of your stuff in the lineup and stuff. As soon as this thing comes, come on, give me the. I got a golden ticket. I got a golden chance to make my way. And with a golden ticket, it's a golden day. All right, so double, double. I mean, do double. Uh. <laughs> With he was like 46. He said five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Spin the wheel. Whatever it lands on, you feed. You feed. You feed. For everybody else, again, we will be doing a giveaway at the end of the stream. If you could ride out with us, stay your ass awake. It's Friday. Y'all ain't got no job. You ain't got nothing to do. As Chris Tucker said, right? Uh, we gonna get you high tonight. Uh, well, you're either gonna get an insta, well, insta skip. It was almost gonna be a chicken mask massacre skip. Insta skip, which is freaking uh, good as well. Now these skips are, it, it is a skip for one song, but it is essentially the fastest skip on the freaking show and stuff like that. Essentially, if we're in the free line and you put in one of these skips, we immediately stop whatever song we are playing, get to your song, play it, review, react, and then get back to the song we were playing before we hit your freaking insta skip. However, if we are already in the skip line, what the insta skip that you put in turns itself into is a, well, it skip, it basically skips a, into the next skip in the line basically you know what i'm saying so say if we have like five different people who have all pit skips in right if you send an insta skip we take care of whatever current skip we're in the middle of and then you skip ahead of that line basically as the person who comes next um but you don't stop the you know skip in the freaking line and show that so just a freaking heads up and you have to, in, in order to actually send this in with a certain submission, all you'd have to do, like on our next episode or whenever you, you want to use it, just make sure you hashtag, uh, hashtag free skip and then hashtag insta skip in the subject line of the email of your submission. Capiche? So remember that. And then we will, you know, I'll sort of credit you for a freaking thing. Uh, let me just see where we're at. Let me see where we're at. Let me just see where we're at. Let me see. All right, so hold on. Uh, I'm just going to put do double. Uh, and then in 
against the skip. All right, let's continue on in the show. Appreciate y'all freaking patience and uh, everyone's freaking feedback in the freaking building as we freaking rock through. Um, I think I gotta go pull up the other three ones. Those freaking come through, right? Make sure you do send those if you haven't already. Uh, but I do have, so I need help was the first one. Uh, and because these are all SoundCloud, you know, I guess I'll just ask people to think about these. And again, which one would you want a music video for if you only had one choice? I wanna be free. This one is called Voice Inside. They say easy come, but no one is coming They say easy go, maybe that's why I'm always running Need to deal with the situation, I'm playing games Need to stop my imagination before I go insane There's a lot I can't control, so I hold on tighter I usually turn to flight, but I wish I was a fighter When things get low, I'm trying to get higher Searching YouTube for something to inspire I see what I don't have, and I put it in a wish I see what others have, and I grab another fifth My dreams are constantly destroyed by my reality My conscience is constantly reminding me of tragedies It's tragic Focus on the I don't have it Forget about love while I try to grab it I'm going further down that hole while I'm chasing that rabbit Fighting my anxiety with sleepless nights and bad habits I wanna be free of this voice that's deep inside of me words but we all want a title people believe what they heard and turn homicidal it's a sea of inequity streaming to us directly linkedin and facebook are influencing immensely i can subscribe for all the reminders choose to focus on the status while reporting on blinders do better is the phrase while we stumble through this maze always striving for something but we're losing our ways we get a little taste of fame and the appetite grows we need to make a name while the individuality goes much is made about nothing, but we don't make enough Need to drive a better car or no more expensive stuff Only so much breath before they put me in the ground Limit the beats in my heart to turn it all around And I need to die a billionaire So people will stop and finally care I wanna be free of this voice that's deep inside of me Telling me, freaking, I used to freaking watch movies with Bill Bellamy, also while eating celery. A lot of freaking times, man, I also know that there's freaking some way where I could sell a bee and freaking get this thing that'll freaking make all this thing and bring a freaking little. First of all, big freaking salute, you did the whole day. That one I could put a little in hip hop. The son of Frankenstein, these niggas be taking lives. I created a monster, world's That's ready crazy. to take your lives. Frightening, it. it's like you're still indicting this king. Uh -huh. I'm just writing this pain, used, used to, to write, write on the it. train. That's no right. boss, just sag names. Right. No disrespect, uh -huh. then the mag aim. A right. hundred yards, that's the, the mag range. Black range, tattoos, rap from where my man slain. Brand new chain from Willie Rocks, that's it's a dead chain. And you niggas is fucking up. Now, first of all, man, uh, once again, like, you know, and this one was different, right? The, this record, uh, compared to the freaking last record, two different um, sort of freaking lanes almost. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, this one takes on even more of a, you know, straight hip hop. 
live band kind of situation like you know the roots could back you up with this one and you know you go in and you know perform your freaking song kind of situation which again you know i would 100 percent recommend if you don't already have yet you know a sort of live sessions performance kind of you know a thing where you go in and you kind of like you know perform a lot of these songs live with the live band and you know or tiny desk you know i guess they'll they'll sort of do that today uh, with some of the, uh, the uh, bigger artists, but honestly, like you have the, um, you know, the feel in a lot of these records that you know give a vibe that that I think people would love to hear. Uh, and I had to ask him a few questions, man. I was like, you know, who made the beat? Cause the beat was dope. It's him. You know what I'm saying? So big freaking salute to that. Uh, big salute to uh, you know. I, I also asked him if he you know started freaking singing or you know rapping first. Like what was the freaking thing? And I guess he he started like with both. And um, you know, initially the reason I asked is because you know you do sound natural in sort of like you know both freaking sides or whatnot. Um, and uh, you know, like that that that's some freaking artistry, man. Uh, I appreciate you as well as many of the other artists tonight for. You know, keeping things consistent uh, with a lot of, you know, some good music. Yes, we have had a few dorky don't play that throughout the freaking night. We've had a few things that do, you know, need a lot of freaking work and stuff like that. But still, um, you know, we, we've had a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, like these to, you know, burn up the freaking day. And again, I don't know. Like now, I don't even, like, know which one out of the freaking three I'd, I'd want the sort of, you know, video treatment for just freaking yet, right? We have a third one that we're going to freaking check out. And then, of course, there are three more freaking after, uh, you know what I'm saying, this, which will, you know what I'm saying, go and check the email to make sure that they were seen. But uh, give your thoughts. Because I used to be in a metal band, punk band, jazz band, 70s, kind of, that, see? That makes sense. Wonder if it's Your influences make sense as well. Unbroken. See, here we go again. We dance dude. around the fragile things as we think what's unspoken. I know that we're both better now, but now and then I think of how did we ever really fix the thing that was broken. Myself up from this depression. 
Once again, all three records completely freaking different. Um, you know, uh, he took these some, the something for everybody. You know, what I'm saying approach at least with these freaking three. Um, now I will say, I don't think you need you know out of tune and and things like that. I always feel like for you know most artists, you know it'll be a little bit of a distraction, um, especially depending on the song. So a song like like that with that kind of production, you know, just needs a, a straight up, you know, legit performance from the artist and stuff like that, right? We want to feel like we're getting the live uh, performance, you know what I'm saying? Akin to the last one a little bit, or like a live, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, you get almost like a, a, a beachfront kind of almost island somewhat, uh, you know what I'm saying, vibe, but also something, you know, uh, you could do it like a guitar, a straight up, just just the guitar, and you sort of, you know, going in, singing that freaking song, you know, doing the damn thing. Um, uh, but yeah, man, not freaking bad, you know what I'm saying? This one was also full song structure as well, four minutes and 24 seconds of, of record. Uh, uh, you know, saying, and again, Unbroken, uh, this was the third of the six song, you know what I'm saying? Back to back take over skip that we are freaking in right now. We're gonna go ahead and continue on. <coughs> Sorry, no, did you say you, you were, were bumping Atari? Atari? That's the game system. Hey, listen, are we gonna play all these games at the park? Now, uh, the take over skip, of course. Uh, let me press that freaking button again just so people know what we are in the middle of right now. And we have about three more. Um, not three or three takeovers, but what you done in the dead? What day in the dead? If you're not in your bed, then it's off with your head. And the land of the dead, or return of the dead, or God with the wind. Wait, what's wrong with my head? What you okay. done in the dead? What day in the dead? If you're not in your bed, then it's off with your head. And the land of the dead, or return. A return of the dead. A return of the dead. And and you just dead. Let me see. Uh, just trying to make sure. Do I gotta refresh? Do I gotta refresh? Let me uh, see. I'm just trying to get the other ones uh, right here. Shout out to everybody in the freaking building. And again, happy freaking Saturday. As we roll through, where are the? Other okay, what was that? I see two videos down here. Uh, and then is this SoundCloud maybe the other one? I guess it was like hidden in there or whatnot. Uh, I guess the order is like this. Okay, let me try to figure pull this in. We'll throw that over here. Cut these down. <laughs> All right, God's part two. Is this one of the ciphers he was talking about? Do double. Let's go, let's go. Michelle, class is in session. 
question so you can stop guessing who saved by the bell. It's a wonderful life. I just got my wings. A seraphim, drunk of rebel and the blood of the fiends. Floating from hard and shadows. High ground like saber blazer. I'll face off a baby shadows. Swayze status. I jump rocking ground angels. I think I pack lightning. Sarah can check my baggage. The overhead compartment has hit my head. Battle the pilot. Ate it like a corn beef sandwich. He's a kosher meal. Guess the king of the Jews and Christian gods. Spread it on gang signs from cat races. Gucci for rap to make the duck in the goose. Think you fly food. We call ice the matters. Spit like a tuna gun. I'm gonna be back. Jason to rest. Place the best for up. Yo, yo, I drive through the valley of the shadow of death. Just left the drive through, got a big Mac and some pep. I'm broke, baby girl, don't be acting for shit. I give a quarterback here, sacks on your neck. I earn everything, I don't have to ask for respect. Out of this world, now to the touch when I rap it's a pest. When I got beat up, I was all sad and depressed. So I came back like Bruce Wayne, put a bat in his chest. I didn't bat an eye when I swung a bat in eyes. I'm that sick, took a dump after I went back. Some like to burn down bridges, I burned a whole damn village. I'm brew this off the Guinness, pop you in the opera spinach. It's many that I spit it, throwing snares in the skillet. The drums up in the biscuit, spilling tea, so what's the brisket? Don't even try to risk it, these gods on some misfits. They aim and never miss it, like consulting with these mystics. Ballistics, shooting at these critics with linguistics, sadistic. Turn these little cynics into gimmicks. The barbarian that'll bury them if they mimic. Long wood between your girl's legs like she playing Quidditch. I cap a prima donna while I'm stacking up this village. Flipping birds at the honor like I ain't even did shit. The audience is living, they thinking it's so horrific. The ambiance narcissistic, but really optimistic, quite cryptic. Even though we keep it idealistic, simplistic, we the shit bitch if you miss it. Motherfucker, you don't even know. My mother was so broke, she used to be homeless. Move back with her, now we really making money. Trap star, bitch, you can keep the hundred or just blow it. Making moves on the low, yeah, my bitch ain't noticed. Breaking bad like bitch, fuck the police. I'm in my bag, ain't nobody holding me. Oh, too sad, ain't nobody loving him. Okay, damn, stop that lovey dovey shit. Play around, we on round a hundred clips. I don't hang around with no clowns, I get rid of them. Like, why you mad? Fuck your man's obsessed with your ex. We don't give a damn, we outside flexing what we could have had. But that's alright, I'll let time pass. I yuck my ass, I'll smoke some weed, I'll blow some gas. That's fine with me, I'll ditch my past. I'm from the slums of the dirty day five. When nobody's your friend, they all rivals. Feast on the arrival of the almighty savior. Leave a bad taste in your mouth, so don't savor. Bars dipped in honey, chipotle, it don't say. Fuck what you're cooking if it ain't got no flavor. Cushion OJ, the hunger, the old oh, yeah. I give you the blueprint, but that's my last favor. They hating like a ball chick, like he ain't got track. Nine to five in the office, you know it's all facts. Uh. But if you're still undecided, you can check the way that I started. I'm Poseidon. The city was divided. I'm bridging the gaps. Miami hip hop brought that shit back. I know they hoping I just sit back and keep smoking. But I show no emotion. Where's my gold mask? Do double with the gods and the wolves and look around. I'm in heaven or a wolf's den. Debbie's finest rhyming with the gods of iron. I murder with a smile because I kill him with kindness. I flip the script. You gotta read me Japanese. Just the tip, P and V records with the T's. A crew with two is gonna be chilling down in the keys. My click will eat well with deal making the double cheese. You live once, I'm a midlife crisis. I feel the squeeze must be Miami vices. A couple of shots with these bullets won't kill ya. I'm so hammer slapping ammo getting to ya. One year later, with game is double controlling the fitters. No eat the gods, creator bringing 40 with players. Flying through space, invaders defeating boss with players. Loving up the game with God, more behaviors. Ah, honestly, man, hold on. That's what's up. 41st side of 12th Street. I'm well connected. Niggas know me. Back in, you know I got a kid in the hobby. Gun shopping. The end is getting real close. Police killing kids. The streets is no joke. It's like no hope. But watch me brush it off. We control the game, the mother rapper saw. I'm a boss, been like that since a little kid. What I like about freaking this right freaking here, 
Um, is oh hold on, let me see if I got that that cipher. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Playlist to that Doki cipher <coughs> to be somewhere around freaking here. Uh, as I'm freaking doing that, man. Listen, uh, this is one of the few freaking ciphers that, like, you know, honestly had a lot of artists on it. And, you know, I think every artist killed it and you weren't checking for the clock. You know what I mean? You weren't like, oh, another artist, oh, another art, you know what I'm saying? Because every artist was killing it. So you're like, man, you know what I'm saying? You got some heavy hitters, some spitters, um... And each of them, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, came through and did their freaking thing. You know what I'm saying? Well put together. Everybody had freaking fun. It was good quality. Uh, and that's definitely, you know what I'm saying, what you want to freaking do. You know what I'm saying? When you you have a, you know what I'm saying, dope community, you're able to freaking get together. And, uh, uh, you know, definitely should should be a lot higher on the, uh, the echelon or whatnot. Um, uh, you know, so I want to remind you to, you know, continue to promote that. Never let that, you know, uh, get behind the wayside or whatnot. With anything that you truly believe in, uh, always remember that there's going to be someone who has not heard of you or heard one specific. Bro, I've had people who have been watching the show for like three years who just now went and like, oh yeah, I've listened to this album or, you know, this specific song. I didn't, man, this song is so freaking dope or whatnot. I never know you had it or whatnot. And I'd be like, I played that song several times on the show, you know what I'm saying? And so like, you never know when someone's gonna have that time to sort of listen to something and, you know, really embrace the, the stuff that you do. So always find time in your day, week, month, throughout the freaking year to promote all of the stuff that you like in some way. If you want, there are certain freaking apps that you can sort of like automize to sort of like have it specifically post certain things at a specific time on certain platforms. Um, so that way you can do a lot of the the work in like, you know what I'm saying, one day and just like have things go out. Um, and, 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 you know, but again, there, there are a lot of things that are, that are, you know what I'm saying, dope, but this does need to get, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, more freaking eyes and shit like that. Glad I could freaking, you know what I'm saying, put it here. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and uh, am I still logged into my freaking thing? Because I can I'll post the freaking thing out or whatnot. I'm going to go dope cypher. Matter of fact, I might have to do that more freaking often and shit like that. I feel like if you make one of my playlists, uh... I'll freaking make a post about it on my uh, YouTube and shit like that. Hold on. That's if I'm able to freaking do it. Uh, I'm going to put made the uh, that dorky cypher playlist. That dorky cypher playlist. And listen, I still haven't heard, by the way, I still haven't heard, um, you know, I know K Slay had a few ciphers that, you know, apparently were like 50 artists, uh, like 100 artists, something like that. So I still got to freaking see how that feels. Uh, I might have to do some kind of, you know, reaction, even though it's probably freaking late. Man, nigga. I, I have so many, like, reactions that I have to still freaking do. You see, uh, Dirky, uh, okay. Cypher, playlist, uh, and then I'm gonna go shouts to the gods. All right, there we go. Bam. All right, let me freaking see, what'd you say? Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying, I thought, you know what I'm saying, classic A-ball, MJG vibes, hell yeah, man. Uh, Dudo said, you know what I'm saying, just sent you a link to, uh, for the Insta redeem and stuff like that. Uh, let me see, let me see, even a VOP kosher type figuring in it. Uh, let me see, do you mind if I use, um, my insta for the part one for the part one what uh me confused or whatnot you know what i'm saying um for the 
Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, did I? Yeah, I'm so freaking confused. Let me see. Uh, wait till this fall. Um, well, I mean, we're still taking care of your current takeover and stuff like that. So the Insta would basically be put in after the year, uh, after this thing is, you know what I'm saying, put in. So basically you're adding an extra one. He said part one of the, you know what I'm saying, uh, cipher or whatnot. Uh, word or whatnot. Yeah, so we'll we'll do it like that just so we can make sure we get things in. I'm still in this uh, in this email. We have two more freaking here, and then we'll be able to freaking come back to that. And you know what I mean? I feel like it'll be a nice little quick break from the uh, the freaking thing. Let's go ahead and jump into the other YouTube one that we do have. All right, uh, let's freaking jump in here. If your mama doesn't throw about your dad and your pista, your dad and your pista. This one is the streets that I miss. You can give any information whatsoever where it was recorded. All that good stuff. Who made the beat? Ooh, ah. Matter of fact, I wanna say, ah, ooh. Matter of fact, where's Ja Rule? A lot of times, these people are freaking don't even really know what the hell they about to do with it. I'll never forget the day the phone call came in. On my way to a business lunch when I heard the ring in. Mom told me they found you at work in the morning swinging. Trying to steady myself when the world started spinning. It didn't register, but the words met consistency. Had to finish business meeting like a worker bee. Then pulled to the side of the road and cried instantly, mourning the loss of the branch of my family tree. The family gathered at my house that night. I held my brand new baby boy and I was hanging up tight. All trying to rearrange the broken pieces. Thinking about the ex-wife, new wife, and the three little nieces. I knew my path, but this new street's a little different. The rest of the world kept moving with disinterest. We made time for each other, but now I'm more deliberate. Because deep down inside, we all miss him. And this is where we gotta be. spot in my life my big sister celebrate her birthday today if we were still with her 365 of the days she was the gift giver her little brother right here well i really miss her it was the pandemic and i wasn't allowed to visit they said even in the end she had a strong spirit she would pray for me rebecca and both of my kids even though her body was failing the soul never did two grandkids and two amazing daughters i see them today and i see their mother she may have left us behind but she left behind love and i keep thinking her for still taking care of mom this intersection of life that can stifle you i need hope with these memories that i rifle through because these streets they can eat you alive when you look up to god and you ask him why this is where we gotta be You know how to play piano? This is where we gotta be. Like I know it's a sample, but I know just asking. I came from in that place. It's streets that I miss. I can hear you calling me. Like could you play these chords like on a on a regular? I hope that one day I can go back to the streets that I miss. This is where we gotta be. But I'm missing my own family. I know where I in that place it's streets that i miss i can hear you calling me picturing the way that it ought to be Facts. i hope that one day i can go to the streets that i miss <laughs>
This for every nigga with a grind This for every nigga with ambition This for every nigga with a drive Be great Be great Be great Be great This for every nigga with a passion Believe in your skin Believe in your Um, listen, so, uh, reason why I asked about the piano freaking thing is because, man, 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 if this was, if, if there was any song, you know what I'm saying, for you to freaking, you know, go do, you know, and honestly, I, I remind artists about it all the, all the time, like, you can do all kinds of versions of your records, and, you know, sell them as individual, you know, songs, and, or perform them freaking live, right, so, Essentially, right, if you were going to do the Grammys, you go, you start off small, you end big, right? You know what I'm saying? You start off, like, maybe with, like, a, a guitar or something like that. Suddenly, drums come out of freaking nowhere. Those freaking do the damn freaking thing. Uh, the, you know, violins or, like, a saxophone, whatever, right? You have a big grand kind of situation, you know, something like that in the Grammy kind of performance. You do a more intimate, like, you know, coffee shop, you know, um... Uh, a, a, a tiny desk kind of situation you know you yourself on the keys playing those freaking chords or whatnot and literally doing the song that you have with no drums just you by your freaking self spotlight on you and you know initially you kind of alicia keys in it and, and stuff like that that right there um again like i said if you get in and do a, do a few you know live kind of session situations um, that are very professional, you know what I'm saying, both in, you know, how it's recorded, um, but also how it's freaking shot. Like, you know, that it's it's a step forward to people being able to see you even more as a real artist, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, just, just, you know, that they need to look out for uh, and, you know, to, you know, help sell tickets to your, you know, shows or whatnot. Anytime that you guys are... You know, possibly not necessarily having having, you know, trouble, you know, selling tickets. But, you know, it, it is one of those things like, you know, with most people, you got to find, you know, the, the you know, people that are going to be valuable for freaking certain certain things and, uh, you know, have the, you know, what I'm saying funds for whatever the price of, you know, said freaking ticket is. Um, and in most cases, if you really just want to motivate anyone, even those that are randomly just online to actually buy tickets to your, you know, events and shows, they just need to see you in those live settings. Like, you know what I'm saying? See how you react to an audience and, 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 and control the crowd and stuff like that. If they can see them having fun and you, uh, you know, looking at you on freaking stage or whatnot, they're definitely going to want to you know be a part of you know what i'm saying that and stuff like that but this was you know what i'm saying also uh you know what i'm saying freaking dope uh you know of course was freaking there conviction of course sorry for your uh loss and i always want to uh remind y'all that like this is why uh you know just like music itself is and has always been you know something something you know a uh, uh, therapeutic for, for those that do make real music when it's not just let me get on a freaking dope beat and say some random words it's like not nah, like tell your actual story talk about the things that you've actually been through um uh, the people that you've lost and you know you'd be surprised at how many people can relate because they've been through the same thing going through the same thing like you are often going to be like the theme song for a lot of people who are going through things and like knowing that they can get through it because they see you actually, you know what I'm saying, doing that. So always know that it ma it does matter when you guys take that real piece of yourself and, uh, you know what I'm saying, if you can get out there. Uh, give y'all thoughts about what y'all thought about that one in the chat, man. So he could do a video to that for sure. Um, you know, uh, it would be, you know what I'm saying, a, a little personal and stuff like that, but it'd also be... 
I think the best, you know, uh, uh, a way in some cases to sort of keep the memory of certain people, you know what I'm saying, alive or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? If there's any kind of like, you know, pictures or, you know, footage that you'd be comfortable with sort of, you know, showing just like vaguely or silhou silhouettically, you know what I'm saying, in the background or some something like that. There's, there's There are always ways to sort of do that if that was something you were, uh, you know what I'm saying, interested in. Even if not, you know what I'm saying, just the words alone, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like um, it's easily one of those, you know, black and white at a desk, uh, you know, pinning pen to paper, words flying off the page onto the screen, you know what I'm saying, kind of stuff. Hey, we can see. They keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. This is what helps me try to figure out this thing called life. I'm saying, I'm saying. That's exactly what, uh, you know, most artists need to freaking realize. This is why words, though. This is why certain people have always had a problem with, like, mumble rap. And, you know, the artists who don't really care about sort of, like, what they say so to speak on the records you know what i'm saying like the words you say are important we need to be able to know if we relate to what you're saying we want to walk down the street in slow motion to some shit but it has to be you know what i'm saying we want it to feel like it's our theme song and stuff like that that's all it is uh all right we got one well no we we got we got at least in the the specific freaking takeover he did also send in the uh insta skip that he freaking won or whatnot so after these after these after Life, but I get back on my feet again I will open any door Even if I have to beat it in I've been powering up myself And reaching other levels Traveling on the seas of life A turbocharged vessel 20 years to decades To double through the records Now I'm ready to build Something special with my own record I'm gonna be breaking records At a record's pace With the dreams I chase Don't need to be a king You're dealing with an ace uh, I've been working so hard For this moment But at the moment I never work so hard To keep it going Gotta keep the money growing With the business that I'm closing Keep my lyrics flowing When I feel the pressure Steady growing up uh, Chilling with the gods And knowing Everybody's knowing every drop in the water could send waves in the ocean Sometimes you gotta let the world see your emotion And sometimes it's through a speaker with a lyric that is golden Sometimes it takes a hold of me This feeling that's deep inside of me Please don't get me wrong I sometimes struggle with the building blocks Feel like I'm not building fast enough with all the ticking clocks Need to find another way to provide with the falling socks And at the end of the day, I want something on the rocks But this time, it's a little bit different I'm on a personal mission I'm putting heart and soul in every note It's making the difference I got a bucket list with a couple things I need to check I'm swinging for the fences so I don't have a regret I want my wife and kids so proud of me I want to go after dreams without apologies I know the path is difficult with enemies The way that I can do it is I have to start with movement I used to have the type of tendencies Where I would hear all the hate and the weight off me But this moment in my life I'm thinking differently Because I ran out of fucks and I know that I can do it Sometimes it takes a hold of me thought I'd be able to actually do this It's been on my bucket list my whole life To do my own solo rap album 
and I appreciate each and every one of you who inspired me and supported me in doing this. First of all, peace to the gods and the wolves. Much love to Noe, Sage, Joey De Silva, Murder, Dr. Folk, Drew, Maker, Tali Rod, Stellos, Coop 45, Mowgli, Ben Workin, Art, Banto, Lucky, Smalls, Osphorus the Buff, Sofa King Sad Boy, Light Travel, Michael M, Kobe, Shokan, City Boy, Clyde Marley, Dubious, T Pro, Wrath of God, Arise, Lionel, <laughs> Little Gummy, Sweet Jesus, Belief, Orion, everyone from La Blanche, Jackson the Dirty Five Cypher, Wolfie, Richie the Ghost House, and finally to my boys from 16 Bits, Adequate, Jesse the Mind, my brothers, if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be here today, that I care about you guys so much, and most importantly, to Rebecca, Rose, and Rob, I love you. I almost felt like the perfect, uh, like, ending song to the whole, you know, situation. That is, that's like the outro to the album kind of song right there. Right? Even like how you ended the, the song with the shout outs and stuff like that. It makes it feel like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, I felt like I was at the performance, you know what I'm saying? And you, it was the, the last performance of the freaking night and you were... Sort of, you know what I'm saying, locking up and stuff like that. And of course, if there was a live band and stuff like that, they'd end it in a certain way uh, that'll, you know, make it feel a little bit freaking better too. And then you'd hear, of course, the clapping from the freaking people, which would be dope. Um, uh, now, the only criticism I do have about this one was a little bit in the mix on the freaking chorus and stuff like that. Like, it did feel like there were certain things that needed to be, you know what I'm saying, turned down and blended, you know what I'm saying, a little bit better. Uh, always remember when it comes to, you know, uh, doing certain freaking things, you know, layering things freaking right, panning, and, um, you know, getting the right EQ on, on certain things so it doesn't sort of clash. Like, the sample on there, that, yeah, yeah. like, I, I, there's something that doesn't feel like it's, it comes in clear. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, you know, if it's a sample being played on top of a sample kind of freaking thing and like, you know, the the sort of the sometimes needs to be isolated on that freaking part before the other part, you know, comes back in. Uh, if it's, you know, like, I don't know, but I did, I do want that part to be, to come out a little bit freaking clear. I think the chorus and sort of like what you've done to it is still, you know what I'm saying, uh, perfect. Everything just needs to blend well so it doesn't, you know, it's not so harsh on the uh, ears and stuff like that. I appreciate the four minutes and 21 seconds of record as well. And uh, yeah, hold on. Let me see if there's anything else. Space with the dreams I chase. Don't need to be a king. You're yeah, dealing with the a off. I've been working so hard for this moment, but at the man, moment, like, I never. Man, like man, like that beat, bro. You know, it's, it's it's it brings you back, man. It thinks you think about the sort of you know the the sort of things that you know might have been played on record players just as the 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 records right where the sample like comes from type of freaking thing um and listening to those songs you know with that type of production just vibing out um you know it just it has that feel good right so you know family barbecue kind of freaking situation or you know what i'm saying any anything like that you know could be sort of done music video wise for that the soul is my life, you know what I'm saying? I'm a sucker for freaking soul. Needs uh, more freaking work. You're spot on, you know what I'm saying? Man, you have a good ear. You know what I'm saying? Working on that, you know what I'm saying? True, true. Their E was way too much. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Last uh, song on my album. There we go. So, big salute, man. You know, you know. Man, honestly, I'd have fun helping you guys sort of picking, like, where songs should freaking go or whatnot. Like, that's one of the funnest things to sort of freaking do. Um, you know, it, as as you're going through trying to pick your track list and, like, what should be the first song versus, like, the last, uh, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, you know what I'm saying? Like, always try to go through those numbers or, you know, something that's always fun to do. 
Now we have one more, of course, because you did put in the Insta. I am crazy in the rain, like trying to change a baby in the rain. And zombies aren't afraid to feel the pain. Your brain will disappear like David Blaine. Oof. Barely had no time to play no games. I just want to rhyme and stay away from lames. I be writing every day, making beats like I am Dr. Dre. Yeah. Even though I should be locked away, I'm not, man. I should get down and pray. I just want to fly and run away. Try a gun and buy another cake. I'm about to drop another tape. Be lots of brother, stop your money. I'm about to Drop another tapey, lots of. Man, listen. Uh, God. This is the right one, part one, right? I think. Yeah, because you just did that like 22 minutes ago. Okay. But it's supposed to. I think. I think. I. Did I. Did I play part two first, essentially? Like, hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me go back in that thing just to double freaking check and make freaking sure, right? Because essentially, like, you know, people are going to be like, deja vu, man. Wait a second. Weren't we just... Weren't we just... No, Sammy. You weren't just... Let me see. Skiddly do. I skiddly do now. What do you say? You say, yeah, you're right. You said... It is, so yeah, we played part one. Oh, wait, so God's part one, God's part freaking two. Didn't we play that for you one? Hold on. Me so confused. Let me look through this again. Oh, see, every time, I don't know what's happening, right? When I'm clicking in this other email right freaking here, right? Um, It doesn't show that YouTube link. Like, it shows there too. Hold on, I got to go down freaking here. Oh, there's part two. Let me see. Let hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Uh, hold on. I think you're right. I think you're right. And it's just the same beat. That's essentially. The beat. No wait. It looks the same though, right? You titled it part two though. Okay. Well, this one looks like it starts exactly the freaking same, but it uh, I guess freaking changes up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you you tripping me out, man. Trying to figure this out as we go. Part one. We listen to part two first. It's getting hot, check the temperature. My pen's a load of derringer. It don't have to be the fourth for me to claim a miracle. I'm not seeing Luke, I have you ever seen one tear it up. An iron dome, brass played a pair of nuts. Orion's throne was abdicated to him years ago. A vibrant home created nothing short of a miracle. It's a miracle. My specialty, gift and doubt, lyrically You ain't fucking with me like a vowel of celibacy Ain't use lyrical in the verse now for a century You in this game confused like buying a vow in jeopardy I'm the hometown hero, local celebrity Booking La Blanca next in Nashville, Tennessee I could run game in LeBron sneakers Beautiful minds, seen more lines than palm readers You gon' need more than a gun, sword, and Satan's pitchfork To battle me, you gon' yeah. need all the gods yeah. on Discord Whatever the deadline is before bedtime, I met mine. I had the right just to rest fine on many occasions. The extraction of my state of mind into words, into woe, worlds, into strange lines. And this is the result. Some say that it feels like a cult, how I be gathering people, but it's my default. I use these patterns like a pole to lead tall. Buildings underneath my feet, I really can't see y'all. I'm flying. A man that still holds a gold iron in his left hand. Plotting the next show with old Ryan I stand out from a pride of killers with old lion And run the Serengeti, I got the animals all hiding If you need monetary support, call Biden Cause I ain't got a goddamn dime to give you more prices Teacher told me to get a job, employ violence Anytime I write, I leave the naysayers all seen Into the paranormal, camping out at Chernobyl Beware locals of a werewolf, wearing logo A pot's purple like Merlot on a fox fur coat Rappers looking like scarecrows in crop circles Sip scotch in haunted houses, watching chairs float. Drip mops tag my name on the walls of Jericho. Tenors at home base till I found my Barrett's home. Music out your stereo spread quicker than Sharon Stone. Made noise in cities off the grid to sounds of silence. Powdered vitamins, quarter pounders from Thousand Island. Idea bubbles are clouds with lightning. Enough buzz to unplug and still power a house appliance. East Coast with giants, what's a South bias? Lace my album at Pirate Lab, work down to the science. Selfies on grow ops, photo bomb by mountain lions. Find me in the kayak, Sama Hayek. All praise is due to the most highest. A pop put a rock block, don't be pressing with the rock dirty. Always on the move, always in a hurry, but my patience has been mastered, so we're not plastered. 
disaster rates off filthy humans. Turn your hood into ruins. Tomahawk cruising. My verbals leave your brain bruising. Brain oozing. Snarf up the nostrils. From that pure raw. DSM bricks on deck. COD nigga. Bad boys. Rap gods. Yes, sir. Of course, I'm here to save the universe with no best verses. Curses, curse of a witch doctor. Incinerator hot. Never flop. Never stop. A movable objects. Ball of dirt. Spinning center equals winning. Hardcore rap bitch. Never sing a pain. I've been bringing for eons. Fuck all your peons. Morons be gone. Lean it off. Free off. Fast hands like Deion Sanders. Best yo with the nasty face planter. Enter Sandman. Yeah, no mistake in why I'm taking this new level of rap. I be on the front line. It's a full rebel attack. Never settle for the crap. They forced to hit. God tear, so of course I gotta cross the bed. Pay attention to the money when the cost appears. They be shouting out numbers like an auctioneer. They ain't family, they more like foster care. Got their hand out waiting when the boss is near. They all square. Boom is true by spin the block. To prove I'm the dude, everybody need to watch. Birds out of view, spread it, I can see the top. When I rap, it's a gift, can't put me in the box. I fear the exceptional quote to the people. First class with the delivery, hope it reach you in time. If you wanna follow me, fine. I'm from the bottom, but I'm showing you I'm top of the line. Yo, D.O., this is Pope B. Might as well, money more, they got a stick. Show you how some fire smell. Try to tell you motherfuckers from the get. But it's hit, lift you up and put you down. Now you really high as hell. My lapel match my strap and my teeth match my shells. With a pocket full of bag. Creeping past the 12, read my mail like I'm fresh out the tip. Like Rick Listen Rob, here, man. he taking souvenirs, got a chain full of ears, yeah. Uh, play my shit when he cook white, show you what a motherfucker wolf got look like. Uh, Move my wolf right, about to slide like I'm Bishop, hit up my brother Drew. Go pick up in the pickup, yeah. and big up no emotion, got a track full of kills. Right. Uh, I cannot get Rick Ross out of my mind, like quite freaking literally man listen listen to me right freaking now man like it it would be one freaking thing if he simply sounded like him but the fact that he looks like him freaking too man you know what i'm saying it's like the spirit incarnate Right freaking there, right right up freaking front of whatnot. And honestly, I'm not freaking mad, man. There's something in there that, that you know what I'm saying, he's hitting the style, you know what I'm saying, freaking right. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? And you guys have your own Rick Ross on this Don't shit. ask about my mask, you know he in the Godzilla's. Don't ask. Again, shit you heard, all this shit's an MC Red, but then again, nice. she might be a little killer. <laughs> yeah, he killed it. Uh, <laughs> we were almost done. We were right there. So that one was four minutes thirty-five. And listen, it was not deja vu. We it was a whole different, you know. It it was, you know. I'm I'm curious because again, we got to listen to it freaking backwards, right? You know, what I'm saying we listened to part two first, then you know, what I'm saying we listened to some of the other freaking records came back around. Um, you know what I'm saying to part one and uh 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 you know uh what well so my first thought is did was there a version where you had both versions all together right where you had all the artists that were on you know part two and the artists who were on part one and it was one sort of whole full-on connected thing but then eventually, you know what I'm saying, people started saying it was too long, so you maybe split them into freaking two. Or was it always a plan to sort of split it, split the two up and, and stuff like that? Was it an event? Like, how did everything really come together? Because it's all, you know, professional or not. I, like, that's what I'm most impressed with, like the professionality between everybody, the different styles that are able to freaking come together. Uh, just everything about these records are professional or not. And one of the hardest things that you know, sometimes it's it, it, it to to get you know proper on a record with that many artists. Sometimes is the freaking mix between all of them, right? There's a consistency there. Not sure whether or not everybody was recording in the same place or whatnot, but everything sounded you know consistent. I didn't I didn't hear anything or anyone that you know was so off that I needed or wanted something you know chains and stuff like that so these were all you know very professional and and very well freaking put together and as you know what i'm saying paul said man these are things that i do think need to be you know appreciated and put in uh some kind of freaking situation or whatnot uh so you know kind of can uh congrats 
I was on here recording with my mobile rig. Not bad, man. Well, it looked good, man. Like, the quality, the sort of lighting and stuff like that. Like, it seemed like it seemed very freaking professional. And, uh, you know, keep it all freaking up and stuff like that, man. You know, we in here. <laughs> All right, as we proceed to get you what you need, hold on. Trying to see where uh where we're at, man. Big freaking salute. And uh we'll probably gear up in under an hour to uh you know what I'm saying, uh do the official giveaway for everybody else and see uh what is up. Uh other than that, let's continue on in the lineup to see who we are able to play today. Meets uh Brazinuka. Uh, we have you uh, coming up right now. It's always good to get another, uh, how you say, hit from a uh, lady such as you. Uh, when you come through, <laughs> I don't know how I can do any of these accents and shit like that. I just, my mind, it's weird, bruh. How the hell do I have ADD, ADHD, and... I forget, I forget a lot of shit, and somehow I remember a lot of freaking shit. You know what I mean? I forgot how to jailbreak an iPhone and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, but I do remember how to play the next song. Let me freaking go in here. What is this? Aha. Oh, run! Everyone run! There's a monster! She's getting you! Peace out, Dub. Just music. Shake it real fast like an earthquake. Little booties, big booties, make their booties shake. It's a real love, my man's that booty fake. Shake it. 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 Shake it.
First of all, uh, there's, uh, this, that shit scared the sh- crap out of me right now. You know what I'm saying? First of all, when it first started, you give people no time to freaking adjust to this shit. You know what I mean? That we're just already in there. Uh, you know what I mean? I felt like, I felt like, yeah, yeah, like, like I was pulled into a speeding vehicle, you know, going <laughs> like 88 miles per hour with like music blasting in the fucking car at the same time and shit like that. Like I, I didn't know, I had no idea what was happening, what was about to happen and shit like that. I'm just about to walk across the street and then all of a sudden, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm just being pulled along. Uh, so I would say, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of a mix when the, not, when the you know, it, it can have a better freaking intro. We'll say that, right? Uh, and then, you know, first half is I. Brazy Luke is like the best part of this freaking song and shit like that. I love your voice, of course. Uh, you're always pretty much the best part of, you know, most songs that you freaking, you know, hop on. You have a good voice and a good energy. Um, and you sort of rock the style freaking the, the best and stuff like that. I see, I was like, I prefer TikTok and shit like that, man. I know, I just, I don't want the line to freaking grow again and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, I waited all this time to, to you know, but it'll, it'll, it would feel stupid if all of a sudden, you know, it gets cut, cut again, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I just got back, man! <laughs> But uh, I will bring it in, uh, provided that I stream tomorrow, and you will be able to hear the song there. How about that? I'm thinking about it though. Yeah. I'm going to play a certain amount of freaking songs for you guys, and then. We will uh, head into give away freaking mode and shit. Look, I never thought that my best homie was snake on me. That's uh. what I get for misjudging, so I replaced homie. Okay. I'm still misjudging, so isolation was placed on me. Uh-huh. Thought I was nothing, but rapping really made me something. Damn. Depression on me, I thought I could run away from it. You did. But it got stronger. I prayed to God every day on it. Me too. I had to have faith on it. Wanted to break, homie. Okay. Dream is calling so steep, I had to escape from it. Grinding, right. hustle like I'm the finest. Watching all my surroundings, cause snake niggas around me. Uh. Music was always timeless, uh-huh. but nigga, this perfect timing. Them hoes was always declining, but now they mine is rewinding. Their pressure had made a diamond. Vividly, okay. I was blinded. I you knew that I had potential. Diamond. These fuck niggas was lying. Was fucked up inside my mental. That trauma had left me crying. A nigga had felt like dying, but God told me keep trying. So I had to decide. Go for it or die. Discipline made me wise, adverse and it made me tired. Rather go through the pain, cause regret it, eat you alive. I went through the storm and rain, but now the sun has arisen. My nigga, look in my eyes. I mean, I like inside? what you're saying. In my but... past, it was fear, but now it's a lot of pride. Ducking classes for right. years with my niggas and How about this? I'm not gonna give you a dork, you don't play that, right? But. <laughs> <laughs> it's a more noble, it's a more noble, you know, sort of, you know, it's like a dork, you don't play that, but it's just like a, you know, it, it's a potential, but sort of still doesn't meet, you know, where it needs to, because, you know, you kind of didn't really do a mix on this, you know what I'm saying? You kind of, it feels like you just recorded it. Not only that, but if you did write it, at all right um you know it does feel like you know you you read it and stuff like that it's a little blended in a performance so there is a version of this that you know could be a lot freaking better if you go and you know re-record it with a lot more you know confidence and stuff like that get a good mix on it so the vocals and everything sound nice add a you know good amount of reverb uh you know saying uh a compression get the eq right all that good oh man uh but also um you know you need to work on the timing of how you're rapping on the freaking beat and shit like that you know once again i did say a little bit freaking earlier that most artists have a problem once the drums leave the actual freaking track for some reason 
a lot of you guys just like all of a sudden you like have no idea you know you, you don't have that internal metronome and in most cases like you know i think producers will put on the metronome for the artist but what do you guys do you record yourself what do you think happens when that happens right when you guys get in there you essentially don't go to another studio so they can professionally, you know, do the the right freaking things to put you in the right place. Um, you know, and you record yourself, you're going to do a lot of, you know, just sort of like amateur decisions sometimes uh, and not having the ability to make sure that you're on freaking beat or not even being able to hear like when the you're off key or something like that. Like you just need to be a, a, a perfectionist. Eventually, you guys will be able to freaking get there and stuff like that. It's no freaking biggie. Uh, but things like that do need to be uh, fixed and stuff like that. Give your freaking thoughts in the freaking chat or whatnot. Of course, we'll read off from freaking few. See what the you think. What did you say? Four out of freaking 10, you know what I'm saying? Off beat, you know what I'm saying? But bars are freaking there. Yeah, man, like that up. I don't think people understand, man. Like when you're off beat, it, it, it kind of throws off the record a little bit, man. Like we hear what you're saying, the conviction, the freaking story, the you, you, you talking about the things and, and stuff like that, but like, you know, it loses the authenticity, the sort of like, you know, we should, we should never really be thinking about anything but the song itself and how, you know, dope it is, right? So if, if there's a good mix, if there's a good performance, um, we're going to forget we're in a review show for a little bit. We're not going to be thinking about the imperfections and things that still need to be done. So always take that to heart. We got Trino. Yeah. Oh my God. Trino. This one might be too loud. I kill these beats, remind me of Assassin's Creed You feeling bad, I can't get no apology I'm my head, nigga, get pissed Sociology, pop in with the prodigy Haters, they ain't stopping me I'm a boss nigga, I still go cause it's green Heard you like the old me I remind you of sugar Every time I'm improved, they know I get gooder They may ask you for a feature I go solo, I don't wanna be ruined It's just me and bro, I might have to tune in Can't on these tracks back and forth, I'm assuming They ask me to rap, I might not do it I just like support, listen to my music Always the hater that say you can't do it And if you listen to nigga, you stupid I got a Jolly Rancher and I go chew it Boy, I'm a star, I don't cover Jewish I'm on a high level, but I might fall off So don't push me, I'm kidding these raps I find it a good day I'm going so hard that they might repeat the whole thing these niggas so lame, I heard them with bars, I don't even remarks, me spinning back, it's a comeback, I'm going so hard, nigga, I run that, like a quarterback, nigga, I can't beat you, because you I gave the last, uh, I'm gonna give you the same thing. That's the last fail I'm giving out, every other thing is gonna be a dorky, don't freaking play that or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? uh but this right here listen where did we go wrong with this one right you know what i'm saying now this one was almost, honestly the opposite of the last one yet also the same exact thing the feeling of how you were rapping on this freaking track did not feel you know like it, it was like 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 you were really present in the freaking track and shit like that you had a certain amount of energy yet also were very monotone and sort of like how you were rapping like i didn't believe Sort of like what you were were saying. If it, it felt like you were just staring into to, to space, and like you know bouncing up and freaking down and, and stuff like that, but with like no expression really on on your face and stuff like that. Uh, so you know, there's there's more that can can still freaking happen. You were flowing. You kind of got in there with, with some kind of consistency, but the mix wasn't right. Uh, however, you're you're recording. You know what I'm saying? That needs to sort of you know change. Uh, you know, as I usually freaking say, record however you can, yes. But do always be aware that, you know, your early recordings, if they're not the best mixes and stuff like that, you know, people are going, they're going to listen to what they can. If it's not, you know, done right, they'll probably, you know, cut it off a little bit freaking early and stuff like that. And your goal is to make them want to get through the entire freaking song, to feel dope, to, to really add it to their playlist right along with some of their favorite artists and stuff like that. And I believe that you guys freaking can do it. You guys just need to, you know, be consistent with, uh, you know, the quality um, 
that you can sort of like you know put out and stuff like that and outside of figuring that man i don't know what to do so uh what you say can i get everything on a dime you know what i'm saying i spent listening to that man you know what i'm saying i do not have like a reverse button I don't have a reverse uh, button and stuff like that, but you know, if there's any consolation, you know, the the dorky don't play that style of uh, said uh, miscompilation, uh, which is not a word, but I'm well, maybe it is a word, you know what I'm saying? Who freaking knows? Let's go ahead and jump back into the free line, of course, man, as we do the late figuring down the thing. He said, Can I get a refund? It's like, what is the equivalent? There's a lot of times where like people freaking they don't even really know what a chicken is, but I don't know what the hell I'm about to do, but I'ma lift up. I hope that this song ain't freezing and dope, and if it ain't, then it sucks. I don't know what the hell to do, but if you have watched. Yo, I'll go for my baby, she asking me oh how I'm doing lately. Stress, stress and daily, car and break, can't feel so lazy. It's too low. Why is everything too something right now? Don't leave your bros for a lady. Can't trust no one, stop moving shady. Demons in my head telling me I'm crazy and God can't even save me. Can't even tell anyone, can't everyone. Stop the UK. My mom plays a combo safely, pray God just takes me. Yo, I'm stressed on my head, face so red. Can't even move on my bed. I hear voices every night saying, I want you dead and I want you dead. Right now, I can roll up and smoke by Z. I'm trying to spread happiness, that's why I said I don't eat unless my family's fed. You'll spit this bread, you'll spit this bread. Positive vibes, positive guy, but then I was on suicide. They used to ask me to lie and say that I'm alright. Should I do it? Should I hit that button? It'll be a dorky, don't play that though this time. <laughs> yeah, let's begin do it then. Alright. Listen, man. You know, it had it, it did have potential. You know what I'm saying? It did have potential. Um, but uh, it was way too freaking low. I don't know if it was, you know, uh, YouTube specifically turning your record down. Like it, you, it does sometimes. You know, if you don't have the mix right, uh, it will, you know, cut it down about like, you know, negative. 6 dB or some shit like that. Just research the luffs and then you'll shiam shan. Um, but then there's the aspect of you just not getting the freaking mix right, right? It was just kind of freaking low. And essentially, the way you want to view things, uh, anytime you upload a freaking record anywhere or it is uploaded, uh, compare and contrast your records, man. Listen to this one right next to uh, another song professionally from one of your favorite artists or something like that and like just put them both on a freaking playlist and listen to them in a back-to-back -back fashion or whatnot quite literally though if you listen to things on youtube specifically you know that there's a volume knob and it goes pretty much from you know there's no number specifically but you know you can go from essentially what would be like zero to freaking six to a to, to hundred right uh, and then it doesn't go past that 100. So if it's already at 100 and we go to a record and we have the the, men, the mentality that want, that makes us want to crank it up a hell of a lot more, but we can't. There's literally nothing that we can do. You know that something is wrong because if we were to go to, you know, a Kendrick record, a, a M, a J. Cole, like whoever, uh, you know, the volume is going to be freaking proper. We're going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, hear everything. We're not going to be complaining. We've had many records throughout the night that have been, you know what I'm saying, freaking dope or whatnot. So we do know that something is at least wrong in that, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 area. But you already know what it is, man. Look, let's go ahead. Let's, let's, you know, I feel like we're, we're almost at, you know, mean the capacity. The London is in a building, big up, freaking tell them. He's that little man, you know what I'm saying? You ought to know what it is. 
Let me see. I know I'm not important. Mr. Ali Otto. We shall plop you in, but then after this, we might uh, go for the freaking giveaway and then freaking head out for the freaking night so we can head back. Head back tomorrow. A lot of times, may not want to borrow a dollar, but I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with a holler at all of y'all. Freaking, I don't even know what to do, but you know what the devil will probably freaking out all of us. I'm gonna head to this screen right here. Do it a couple of times. Yeah, I know I'm not important. Look at my life, should've been a boy. Look at their pay, could've paid my mortgage. Worth the pain away, you're snug to do their way. It doesn't matter. Use the pain to paint the ladder. Tip it over, glass is shattered. My little bitch can't get no better. I smoke nicotine like it's a cola. I put codeine in my soda. Coughing up some bloody bola. Can't sit calm and thought I told you. Don't wanna listen, I'm scared of the vision. I'm dreaming, I saw my own death. Then when I wake up, I get to the smoke and I'm rolling before my first breath. That's the pain, it never ends. Lost some money and some friends. Pick it up and start again. Only question now is when. Lost some money and some friends. Pick it up and start again. Only question now is when. That's the pain, it never ends. Track out cause this shit you put out How about I take your fucking lyrics Shove it in your damn mouth All this anger built inside What the fuck is this about How about I take your fucking body Then I drag it down south Where it's hot and it's cold Where it's not and it's old I don't care anymore I just want your fucking soul hey, Watch my sadness turn to anger About to explode I'm the only one that's hurting No release that I know I need the cure to depression But it won't happen I'm stressing They take my life out possession Just like a demon possession I need the cure to depression But it won't happen, I'm stressing to take my life out possession Just like a demon possession Yo. Now the freaking people be chilling, man, when I'm rapping Matter of fact, I'm about to like go and tell you that I've been back And I always, oh, did my freaking thing Oh, that's freaking cold My thing like reset on the freaking thing Are you serious? No, I'm, I'm talking about something different <laughs> Right. Don't worry about me. Um, essentially, uh, listen, antagonists would really rock with that or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys may not know who uh, they are. Essentially, it's a two-person sort of like rap group that uh, you know come to the show and stuff like that. They often send to the show, and their style is very much like Three Six Mafia inspired, you know, and it'll sound like older Three Six Mafia, you know, sort of freaking stuff. Uh, and this was very much, you know, what I'm saying akin to that, but like with a little, a, a little bit of a better, you know, what I'm saying sort of quality. And I feel like, you know, in terms of you know collabs and and stuff, they definitely would. You know, cross each other's paths and, uh, you know what I'm saying, take freaking suit to uh, such a situation and stuff. So that's definitely something that I would, uh, you know, wouldn't mind freaking seeing and stuff like that. You know, to each his own for everybody, you know what I'm saying, who may or may not rock with it. If you do. <laughs> uh, let's, listen, yeah, let's gear up for the freaking uh giveaway and stuff like that let me make sure nobody actually sent a skip or nothing like that though just so i can gear up without any interruptions and stuff so right now the submissions are freaking closed and we are stopping all remaining stuff except for the giveaway we i think i've taken too many drugs and i'm in another universe and i was trying to get buzzed in the studio and do a verse but now i'm seeing an image of coolio on jupiter if i was in the hospital i probably want to do the nurse out of all 80s movies i'm watching ferris bueller first i'll walk right up to a bully and be like
like, homie, do your worst. If you don't got any gas, a freaking Razor scooter works. This one ain't for the kitties, so Super Steve, you can curse. I really I'm wanna grow down. up, cause I don't wanna go down. Yeah. Someday I'm gonna blow up, they love it how my flow sounds. Yeah. You hate on me, but so what? I know you wanna throw down, yeah. but I just wanna throw up. Someone give me a bow now. Uh-huh. I just wanna be a dude, chill up, but I'm always dealing with the badness. Yeah. Right. I just wanna be up on the beach, up in the white, chilling with a bad bitch. Uh-huh. I just wanna live up in the city where they hear me and they go bananas. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna hear the world and every little girl is dealing with a sadness. Yeah. I wasn't nice in class, I would always like to laugh and always get in trouble from my teachers cause I'm writing raps. My bad. Vanilla ice was trash, I'm never on a righteous path. Nope. I throw a diaper at my wife and then get sliced in half. All right, all right, all right, all right, oh. So Seriously, bro? So we're at the Give Up Hui right freaking now. If you have never been here, welcome. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much we are, you know, during the regular show hours, right? Pretty much we play music, you know, from y'all all day. We've been live pretty much for six hours and 49 minutes. Usually I'm live a lot freaking earlier and we're able to, you know, go... Uh, you know, till, you know, 420 and all that freaking stuff. And, you know, it's at least an eight hour stream at the very freaking least, sometimes a little bit longer. Um, you know, but we play submissions for free. And then there are those who, you know, will want to skip the line to get played faster and get more than one of their records played back to back. In those occasions, the more people that actually pay to freaking skip the line, the more the ability for us to get to these type of giveaways freaking right now. All you have to do is be in the building at the time of the giveaway freaking starting and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So like as of right now, uh, pretty much like I ask everybody to, you know, uh, hashtag dork squad in the chat just so I know that you are coherent know what we are doing and acknowledge that you want to be a part of the giveaway right so i'm gonna hashtag door squad myself just to double check you guys know how to spell it and stuff like that because there are some times where i do giveaway skips and all i do is require you to hashtag that but if you don't spill it right you will disqualify yourself you'll be gone you will be gone my friend my hand. Uh, okay, so we got STL in the cusp. We got Pusty Fail in the cusp. In every STL, the McGuffin files. You know what I'm saying? Hi, howdy. What's freaking good? Is that Dick McGuffin or a whole different name just under the McGuffin? Well, actually, no, you didn't put Dork Squad yet. I need to know you want to be a part of the giveaway and stuff like that. If you're not Nick McGuffin and you're a different, uh, you know what I'm saying, person or whatnot, welcome to the freaking show. Pretty much during the main show, you know, we review music and from indie artists and producers and bands and stuff. And we come here at the end of the day if we reach at least 100 and the amount that people end up skipping the line via Yo, nonsense and sir, Mike, this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes Birdman will talk to an actual bird like I'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite Don't make me put you where actual worms lie Don't like my old shit, I'm thinking you were high Like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye View when I'm cool, better act like you surprised Head to McDonald's, I'm about to steal your fries then- Birds eye view when I'm cool, but view when I'm cool, view when I'm cool, but 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 that would have been crazy if it like looped. All right, so STL, uh, I think I had closed band lab already. We are freaking good there. We didn't freaking bring back freaking TikTok. Uh, but honestly, wouldn't that be that would have been nice though, right? To bring them back for the freaking. All right, man, y'all popping up, and now y'all all of a sudden a part of the giveaway. Everybody would have been sending songs, bro, and shit. And I would have been like, nah, we ain't going to play your song, though, but we're going to give you a thing for next time and shit. Uh, but then what if it's, like, a shitload of freaking people? I don't want to feel like, what the hell? What have I just done? Uh, now, um, okay, so STL, let me see. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, oh my 
my gosh, man. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to figure out something. I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna do, but you know what you know what I'm streaming. All right, uh, we're gonna hit that countdown button as well, man. So if you haven't already, hashtag Door Squad so you can get on this wheel. Sucker! You got about a minute now. If, like you don't freaking do it, you ain't gonna win shit. You're gonna be freaking over there acting like a witness who don't even really think that they've ended up on a hit list. Uh, for somebody who freaking chillin', you know what, I don't even really know if I'm freaking willing to be like I don't even really think that I don't think that you think I don't even think that you think that I think that I'm on the freaking ceiling Also, freaking all the people that will tell you that I don't even know if I freaking want to hit the door So what am I talking about? What am I doing now? What am I doing? What am I? What am I? What am I? Do it? What am I doing? No, what am I doing? No, what am I doing? No, what am I doing? So far, STL. Is it really just gonna be STL? Hey. It'd be a first. Wild Park Run. That might make me wanna still do one uh, at the beginning of like tomorrow's stream, though. Do I need to do something special for the people? Cause a lot of freaking MCs. They don't freaking want to Well, Mr. STL, you know what I'm saying? Lucky you, my good friend. As a matter of fact, uh, I will spin the wheel twice for you. For riding out. Like, you you know what? Like, you know, you've accomplished the equivalent of the person who keeps their hand on the freaking car by the end of the night wins the car, you know what I'm saying? Type freaking shit or whatnot. You know, it's not usually how we do things around here, but essentially that only seems freaking fair, right? Uh, and so, uh, give me two numbers. The first one is seven, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm giving you two spins, but no respin. Right? So that means all prizes are final or some shit. Luckily, I have no whammies on here. Whammy. That would be some interesting, though. Have some kind of like, ah, uh, shit. Are you going to win a free mix and master? Or oh, it might be either one skip or a free mix and master. Ah, you were that close for a free mix and master. One skip. One skip with this one. So a free, a free beat figure right there. And then, hold on. One, two, three, four. All right, man, come on. Mama needs a pair of new shoes. Almost had a free mix and master right there. Come on, what is he going to get? QS Dork Radio. Okay, so this gives you the option to either, yeah, again, you know what I'm saying? If we talk about QSJ Radio, shout out to freaking uh, uh, Dave, you know what I'm saying, who runs that freaking show. When and if he is live, if you take the QS Dork Radio skip, you get to use that skip on his show as well as my show, right? So it's one skip each for our shows. Or if you choose to, you can... Uh, trade this in for a two song back to back skip, and uh, you know what I'm saying, and then you can do that, but yeah, you can trade this in for a two song back to back skip, and then you also have that other skip freaking too. So technically, you have a two song back to back plus a one song. You know what I'm saying, but you didn't get the free beat, man. Uh, let me see, yeah, yeah, thanks, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just walk back up, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, thanks for your opinion, man. Listen, I appreciate you, man. You know, it's all love. It's all love. You know, you never mean no hate. I want to uh, enjoy yourself and, <laughs> and for you to enjoy yourself. Uh, hold on. Let me go and write you down. You said two song. So you have one song and a two song. A one and a two and a one, two, three, four. STL uh, one skip plus two song back to back. One skip plus two song back to back. All right, man, you know what I'm saying? Did you just say, I did. Uh, let me see. What did I? Yes, do. So three skips and a two song about to back. Yes, sir. That is indeed what you have. And now I shall travel into the wilderness. Whee! Um, hi, my name's Nonsense and I rap a little. I make beats while I'm chewing on a bag of Skittles. I used to say L-M-N-O, L-M-L-O-P while I pee on a yellow pillow. Don't sleep on me. It was 1993, I was sitting in a treehouse watching Willow I was awesome but slow, I'm on my lawnmower, man shit Playing VR games till I turn into a damn sim I don't wanna dance, click my heels, go to Kansas Used to wanna get a record deal, but I can't just Give up all my music to some people that I can't trust I be in my feelings like I'm making out with Mantis All throughout my life, I've been given many chances Doing this so long, I don't think I ever can quit Homie, I'm a gamer, I'll be playing till my hands slip couldn't do the mannequin challenge cause I can't sit still Back on my dork shit, this one's for the orphans Staying up late, should've been sleep before 10 6 in the morning, you can't just ignore them Kids having kids, having kids with abortions Drink all your juice and replace it with more gin You'll fall asleep while they're taking your organs You think you're cool, but this dorky has more friends Wait up, hold on, let me stop the recording Listen, I'm spitting this with my nose leaking But I don't care, you need to know that I'm so geeky I got fans who play everything for show weekly The game don't need me, you're so needy Listen, I'm spitting this with my nose leaking But I don't care, you need to know that I'm so geeky I know you're down with the dork squad and no PP Shout out to ODB, I ODB I don't wanna rap and flow without no reason I was just a kid in school that they were teasing Cause I couldn't read or write, I'm always leaving Homie, no one back and bro, it's hunting season You don't wanna fuck with me, my eye is bleeding I be in the jungle, baby, climbing trees and um K.O. told me, homie, only call me when you gotta be where we can let loose He also told me, try not to spit about a zombie trying to eat a dead moose I try to do it, but I'm always stupid and forget which freaking way my head screws I can't sleep cause I'm hearing noises and think something underneath my bed moves you are constipated, man. I really just don't like show the boys music, homie. I am not a hater. Well, that any sells emulators, the illegal homie. You are not a gamer. I hope you jump off of a building while I'm standing next to it. Like, homie, catch it later. I'm like a baby with a detonator, about to blast off. I don't give a freaking crap if you think I'm old school, like a flat top. I rap my freaking ass off. Show of hands if you think I'm that soft. You can find a Kelly with karate kids in Miami, probably getting waxed off. I don't know. Two in the morning, fell asleep when I'm yawning, waking up on the lawn, I'm sitting
see them blue and orange People follow me to school and copy me until I stopped and put my music on I'm just crawling like a zombie knowing I'm a Nazi probably in his uniform Born identity homie you been warned My brain is so Bye. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not just kidding. <laughs>